this unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. You size those waves. But there's a catch. First, they must find each other. Go, go, go. I'm marooning eight men and eight women on opposite sides of a deserted island. We're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month, with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. As tropical storm season rages around them. It was just like when we used to get moored in Iraq. Will these two small groups be able to survive? Shit. And when they meet, will they pull together or tear each other apart? Men really f you. This is almost like a holiday, Paddy. If they don't get some of my f tits, they'll know about it. You're doing my f bedding today. <laughs> right, we've got man down. Hey, 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 hey. Came out here looking for adventure. I think we've pretty much found it here. Let's get your right in there. <laughs> Shit! I'm about to abandon eight men and eight women on a remote Pacific island to see if they can survive. They will be utterly alone. No one seems capable of doing anything unless they Google it, and I'm guilty of doing that. If you're stripped of everything, the only thing that's left is you as a person. I like to think I'm a strong character, so I'm putting myself to the test. I'm marooning the men and women separately, starting with the women. Neither group has any idea the other will be there. Even the hardest military training that I, I've been through will not compare to this in any way. I want to do something so extraordinary that it proves to my daughters that I have no limits. OK, ladies, this is your island, OK? This is a gnarly, dangerous part of the island. Don't mess with it. I've always played by the rules and played it very safe, and this is the first time that I'm going to prove that I don't need the rules. I'm very critical of the modern world because we take so much for granted. I think this will show what a modern woman is. We're fighters. OK, I'm going to try and get you in just round this corner. Really frightening. I'm getting the women as close to shore as I safely can. Ahead of them is a 50-metre swim, fully clothed. You're going to drop us off here? Yeah, it's terrible. Do not take it for granted. Respect the power of the current. This beach might look nice, but we're at low tide. By night time, we'll be gone. Use your energy while you're strong. Get stuck into that jungle. Life is about how we react to the hard times. Let's get you guys in. Go, go, go! That's the first group in the water. You've got to swim hard for sure now. Look after each other. Strong riptides mean the women must get to land as fast as they can. One of the first ashore is Army veteran Hannah. Can you just pass me my leg, please? Like, yeah, in 2007, I was on guard duty out in Iraq and a mortar detonated directly underneath me. Let's go! Coming back from Iraq felt like there was no way out of this horrific life that I was in. But what drove me every step of the way to fight to survive was my daughter. <laughs> Come on, mummy. <laughs> my biggest fear is that maybe my legs held me back. I don't want it to define me. I'm not the Hannah with one leg, I'm Hannah. I'm going to 
drown me. I'm Hannah. I'm an architect. <laughs> Like in Wonderland. I'm a doctor. She's the doctor. Yeah. Let's us out of here. Bye. Bye. We'll make it, girl. Always oh, such a weird feeling leaving them, and it's like I know what's ahead of them, and it's not fun. It's time for me to go get the men. I'm putting these men and these women on separately. I'm doing that for a purpose, because I want to see what happens when they start to form a community on their own, and then what they can achieve together when they meet. Right, so we've got... two machetes. I've given both groups some basic tools and only one day's supply of drinking water. You know, the jerry cans, they are really heavy. So if we get a stick to each one and two people to a jerry can... Yep. They'll be filming everything themselves, helped by two experienced camera operators living in exactly the same conditions as everyone else. We're laden. I'm, I feel as if I can hardly walk. Girls, are we near enough ready to go? How far do we think it is? When it gets dark, that's when we'll call it a day. Cassie isn't sure about moving. Can I suggest something? Is this the wisest thing to be doing? I think at the moment we've got somewhere for us to camp. But this beach is we've going had to disappear a tide We in. just need to move. This, this isn't going to be easy yet. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here if it was easy. Let's just push it and go. OK, let's see where we get to. I've done quite a bit of extreme filming um, in the past. I've been in jungles, I've been in deserts. But there is always a let-out clause that, at the end of the day, you go back to your hotel and you close the door and you're away. <laughs> Hoping to prove to myself that I can actually, you know, go the whole hog, survive in a place that isn't going to give me any co creature comforts whatsoever. Right, so let's load up. Let's, let's go. go. My girls, we all Woo! in? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be really tough, yeah, but I reckon we can make it there. This island is covered in dense jungle, which is home to potentially deadly animals and insects. But to find a safe camp, the women must head straight through it. This is fucking real. Like, we're in a fucking jungle. Shit! <gasps> iguana! Shit! A fucking iguana! Ah, oh, fuck. Can't help thinking the other way. There must be beautiful yellow beaches. Let's see. Request for a, a pause quite soon. Now I'm going to cast the men ashore. I would describe myself as an alpha male. The only way I can measure my balls is to go on the island and see if I can survive. I'm a young British Muslim. I think I've got a lot to prove because I'm not only representing myself, but I'm representing a, a community here. I don't think I'm in a midlife crisis. I just don't want to work and die and be the richest man in the graveyard. I think this is a big adventure. Just trying to find a place to get you ashore. It's rough and it's rocky. 100,000 years ago, people did just walk about on islands with nothing and have to find their own food and water. I work in an office. Can somebody normal like me survive? OK, guys, listen up. These seas are dangerous. Fucking hell. Oh, my day. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm dropping the men on the opposite side of the island to the women. Neither group knows the other is there, and they're separated by two kilometres of thick jungle. This is going to be mega tough. It's now down to you guys to define yourselves. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Good lad. OK, that looks out of it, isn't it? The men must fight against dangerously powerful undercurrents. Take our time, boys. Oh, shit. See you all right, boys? OK. Well done, mate. Come on, mate. Well done, mate. <laughs> God, that was a hellish swim, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought we were going to die out there. 
Right, right, yeah. Just get, let's get in there, like a plan, and like, let's crack on, because time's precious, yeah? OK, I'm Daniel, or Dan, and I'm uh, the doctor. Um, I'm Elliot, and I'm a chef. My name's Simon Middleton. I work for a car insurance company. I do have massive management uh, experience. I took Tottenham Hotspurs to the treble on footy managers. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've done that twice. Where's <sighs> 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 Brad? You all right, mate? Yeah. Catching his breath out, you pal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's, let's sit down. Let's sit down for two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm into my toys, you know, I'm into my segways, my phones. On the island, I understand everything's going to be stripped down uh, from me, and, and, and that's the exciting thing about it. I think it helped me um, get closer uh, to my religion. I'm a person that can stress a lot, and that's very, very quickly as well. I'm not going to lie, I, I'll put my hands up. The main challenge for me would be to overcome that, and I'm hoping it, it does change. Uh, my life. You all right, mate? Is yeah, it just yeah. shock of everything, or...? Yeah, I don't know, my body, inside of my body, my stomach. Come on, my friend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. It's really a bit queasy. I want to cry for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting emotional. He's probably crying. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. It's all right, mate. This sort of landing on the beach is sort of makes you realise that we're here now and we can't go. <sighs> okay. He's gonna be like that for longer. We should just stay and do what he wants to do. Yeah. We right. shouldn't be moving with that. <laughs> listen, listen. But I think we're all staying with each other. All right. <laughs> The island is a sheer cliffs. This is a shocker. I've abandoned a group of British men and a group of British women alone on two sides of a deserted island. I might go for a wee. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a wee right here. Neither group knows the other is there. Uh, oh, I just farted. <laughs> <laughs> How's your first pee in the jungle? Minging. <laughs> Wet. Okay. Right, come on. What's that? <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah, maybe a snake. What was it? Snake okay, or something we... up right... We're not getting it now, girls. Come on. Later. He said he is for fucking dinner, 100%. We know where he is. We'll be back. Farmer Erica is trying to lead the women to a safe place to camp before sundown. Shit. If they get stuck in the jungle, they'll be sleeping rough alongside the island's deadly critters. We are now going into a place where there's some fuck-off thorns, OK? So keep your eyes open. I'm very own Rambo. <laughs> You've got a scarf and everything. She loves it. <laughs> Guys, I think we've just run into a problem here. It's dense. Oh, fucking hell. It's going to be dense. It's going to be dense. We're in the jungle. Positive thinking, girls. Do all right? I'm going to have to stop and do a bit of leg admin. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take this off. Of course. The extreme humidity is causing problems for amputee Hannah's stump. It's swelling. Every minute, every hour we're in here, it's swelling. Oh. There's something causing a problem in there. It's hard, it's Basically, hard. your stump shrinks and swells, depending on what you do. <laughs> the girls only have enough water for one day. Girls, don't guzzle too much. Just quench it slightly. Fuck, it's so hot, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. Real good! I'm fine, I can, I can keep going for now. Can you give her a hand, please? No, no, I'm good, I'm fine. I'll ask for help if I need it. Is it swelling up now, darling? My, it's swelling, but we've got to keep moving. It's going to get to a point where I can't take my leg off and then I'm, the whole team stops, so we need to get going. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. After Riz broke down on the beach, the men have decided they can't move on. He's in fucking bits already, isn't he? That's meant to. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's just skyboxed everything. I don't really know what we're going to do. I think we're just going to have to spend the night here. But this beach is the wrong place to make a camp. So a lot of these beaches may look nice, a bit like a paradise, but actually some of them are a poison chalice. 
A low tide, they're okay. But a high tide, the beaches disappear. It's going to get dark very quickly. We'll get a fire going and dry our clothes. I mean, what are you feeling? Is it just kind of panic? And I was just confused, shocked, and I didn't know what to do. He needs to pull his finger out and stop fucking wallowing in self pity. Just send you further under that. Simon and Ben are exploring. That's a palm tree right there. Palm tree means fucking coconuts, mate. The ones up there, they're going to be full of fucking awesomeness. <laughs> right. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm probably the worst Robinson Crusoe that's ever set foot on a beach, but it is the biggest adventure you've ever done in your life, you know, building dens and, and going hunting and stuff. It's every kid's dream. For the last 10 years, I've just been working, I've been raising a family. This is my chance to do something amazing, so I want to grab it with both hands. We just found our first ever coconut. The only thing I don't like is... Maybe it's not for the camera. What are you like? That's my it's... coconut. I just found that. No, the first but when one. you're drinking it, it reminds me of like something else. <laughs> Tastes good though. It's slightly off point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Girls, her legs hurt. I'm having leg dramas. Okay. Oh, I don't want to let the team down. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to stop us. Is that not a beach over there? Can you not see a beach? Erica, you're the queen of everything. If there's a beach here, if not, you're fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead to me. <laughs> right, I'm fucked. They're going downhill. Gonna need hand. Ready? All right. Oh, I've got you. I've got you. Right, I've got babe. you. Good. 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 Cheers, mate. This is a fantastic beach. Come on. Yeah! Do you want to hand down? No, I'm gonna go on my bum. I'm not proud. I need a hand just to this pot a bit. Hang on a sec, let me wedge that. In. Yay! <laughs> this is the fucking beach, mate! Oh my god! Never thought I'd be able to do something like this ever. <laughs> you did us so proud! <laughs> oh, you got me here in one piece! <laughs> I just can't believe I'm here. What an adventure. Yeah. Home, sweet home. To say we're proud is a massive understatement. Yes. I'm buzzing. The gruelling three-hour trek has led the women to the north coast and to the island's most habitable beaches. Oh, look. So what is it, a sea almond? Oh, yeah, sea almond. It's not. Well spotted. Yay! Fucking hell. No, 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 no. This is our dinner for tonight. That's rotten, isn't it? I think my face just turned inside out. I'm going to get in trouble for not doing work. Right, guys, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Fuck me! And I would like to ask you something. No, you? I really... I'm not going to listen to anybody unless we find this sodding wood to make a fire. Since leading the women through the jungle, Erica has put the group to work, gathering wood to make a fire. I'm sure people are a bit sort of fed up with my bossiness. <laughs> I'm so desperate to make this fire. Erica thinks that we palm her off as a crazy woman. Like, she is a crazy woman, but, like, she's our crazy woman. And, like, she just tells us how it is. We've got a bow. The bow's fine. Yeah. Bow. You sure? Yeah. The bow's okay. fine. It's Great. just always good to have a spare one if you're standing around doing nothing. We're a good team. We're a formidable team. But I feel like kicking ass all the time. I've got uh, a lot of experience in this kind of shit. Baby. Right, let's get this fucking fire started. It's early evening now. Yes, there's fucking smoke coming off it. Everything is taking a long time because we're very hot and we're very, very tired. I'm, I feel as if I can hardly walk. It's glowing, it's glowing, girls. Oh, my God, girls. I've got a flag. Yes. Guys, we've got an ember and it's smoking. There we go. Yes! 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 Yes!
feel absolutely amazing. Fucking yes! I can breathe now. Well, Erica, it's safe to say I don't think we would have done that without Thank your you. very Thank important you. input. First time. Have some of that beer. The rising tide is now forcing the men off the beach. With sundown fast approaching, they need to move, despite Riz's fragile state. So I, don't, I don't think we've got that much time. I really think we should just roll on, man. So the plan of attack is we're going to hot foot each. It's going to be a bit of a march on, yeah? People need to have a rest, that's fine. We'll have a rest, yeah? Yeah, I know, but Riz is already finding it hard. We can't really afford to be carrying any passengers. This is time people need to kick on and, and, and we need to make a bit of a difference. Yeah, let's just fucking do it. Let's do it, yeah? With the tide coming in, the only escape is up the 50 metre high near vertical cliffs. Fuck me, man. This is hard. Okay, good. You all right, Riz? I'm going to take it slow. It's going to be hard for me. It's hellish. Okay. Loose ground and the steep gradient are a dangerous combination. One full step could mean serious injury. It is steep, it's seriously hot and seriously humid. That has absolutely killed me, that. Fucking fall off here, definitely brown bread. Careful, careful, careful. Anyone? Anyone out there watching this now thinking, you know what, it's fucking easy. I tell you what, put your name down, pal. Put your name down. We just need everyone up now and we need to crack up. Take your time, mate. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that five minutes now. I'm doing that as well, I'll pal. I'll start again. My heart is pounding really fast. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think he's worked this fast before. He might just have a heart attack or something. We need to fucking do whatever we're doing now. We just need to do something. Because we're just killing time here. The sun's setting, guys. Yeah, so, what are we thinking? Is I think we're going to fucking die in here. Hey, I'm not lugging that gear anywhere else. <laughs> By the time all the men have reached the top, it's too late to go any further. They face their first night on the jungle floor with no fire for protection. Right now, we're just sort of in shambles. Are we getting more leaves on this? Or are we just lying down now? A white spider about this size fell down my neck. They're hiding in the trees. They just fall down on your feet. Oh, God, that was a bat. Oh, my God, the size of that thing. God. It's fucking dark here. And I don't know how I'm going to sleep. Uh, what's this here? Is that a spider web? Uh, no, it's just a branch, mate. It's just a branch. What was that? Uh, Is that wolves? Sounds yeah, like wolves, wolves, doesn't it? Shit. I left my three-year-old child and I deployed to Iraq. And when I came back, my child had a disabled mum who was in a wheelchair for three years. I had to fucking survive for my daughter. All right, then, and that's you how it is, and that's how it is here. Then. When life gives you lemons, what the fuck are you going to do? I'm not going to curl them ball and give up. Yeah. Where are the knickers? Where are the knickers? The Victoria's Secret. You love Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret. Has anyone seen my bra by any chance? After the success of the day, the women are turning in. I'm going to try and get four drinks. If we don't get sleep, we're going to be about to use as a sack of shit tomorrow. We help with someone put the fucking air con on. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. I've got to get away. And now I just desperately get off here. Oh, yes. This is so good. Camera woman Cassie has woken the camp in a sudden panic. I can't do it. There's God, no way. You, I'm so far from being on Cassie, Look at me. When you got off the boat, did you think for one fucking minute you would have a fire, you would have got a bed made up, you know? Look, 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 look. I always think I can't do things, but you can do this. You, you can really do this. Okay. People need to sleep. <laughs> I don't think we're going to sleep tonight. 
Okay. Yeah, you are. It's just anxiety. It really is. It's a chemical reaction in the brain. Get a grip. Get a grip. It's overwhelming her, isn't it? Oh, I don't think she's mentally strong enough. Yeah. She does that overnight. We'll put her on that fire and eat her. With the exception of Riz, the men have had a rough first night on the jungle floor. Did you sleep at all, Fabi? Not really. Uh, yeah, I, might have I didn't think I wouldn't be able to sleep in the jungle because someone was snoring. I thought it'd be like a snake or a rat. Yeah. There's someone snoring next to me. I didn't predict that. How do you sleep, Riz? You know what? I slept pretty all right, you know. I got on a horrendous night's sleep. We've really got a good night's sleep, that's the main thing. Yeah, he's going to be taking all the bags. Two machetes, <laughs> windmilling, fruit jungle, <laughs> night in tea. Right, are we ready then? Yeah. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Having failed to make progress yesterday after Riz's breakdown, the men desperately need to find a good beach to camp on. Uh, but they're being forced to march without water, as have all but finished what I gave them. Are we going to find the water source? The biggest part is not knowing where we're going. It's crazy, isn't it? We could really do a Google Maps right now. Really do a Google Maps. Winky winky. Hi, this is our makeshift camp. Excuse the mess. Unlike the men, the women have already established their base. Right, so this is our fire. This is our walk-in wardrobes, where we just hang all our Chanel clothes. This is where the magic happens. This is our makeshift bed. Now get the hell out of my house. Unfortunately, one of the women can't cope with their new home. Cassie, how are you feeling? Um, absolutely terrible. I'm never going to be up to this. After her panic attack last night, Cassie wants to leave the island immediately. I just think you're completely shell-shocked at the fact that we've arrived on this island and actually there is nothing. This is tough on all of us. I feel incredibly unable to do the job I'm here to do. On Vance, I'm much better to go. I hope they take me away. It's difficult because we're such a small team and even if that pair of hands isn't as effective, it's still another pair of hands. Hi, this is Cassie. I'm afraid I've been that to shop to the gills. She's a little tiny bit older than me. Definitely not about age, because actually, you got us here. You're one of the most capable out of all of us, so it's definitely not the case. I'll have to replace Cassie, as she's part of the camera crew. But for now, I've no choice but to send in my safety team. She just sat there and done nothing, but didn't try to do anything. If that was me, I'd still be trying, trying, trying. Fucking lazy Good, see you later. Goodbye, you're not good to us. You oh, fucking signed to up to do it, you dickhead. It's just hard to understand why somebody would be so determined to leave after two days. And if I can do it with one leg, then she could have done it. It's a completely uncompromising, terrifying environment. And I just wasn't up to that pressure. I just wasn't. So what's our priorities? Water. The remaining women must now get back to the urgent business of survival. Their jerry cans are almost empty. Girls, good luck. Good luck. Good luck, girls. Hey, good See you luck. later. We're going to try and find a bloody water source because we're bloody thirsty. Look how fast we're getting through firewood. Oh. Oh, something's bit me in the woods. I picked up a pile of wood. Ah. Oh. Oh, I know, it's like a drill in my arm. I know, what was it? Oh, I don't know, it's swelling up, look. Oh, that's not mosquito bite to come up that quick, is it? No. Oh. Go sit down, go sit down. It, what's it oh, like? it just fucking hurt. Oh. Shit, wait, oh, that's a scorpion. Oh. This species of scorpion can't kill, but its sting causes overwhelming pain, lasting up to eight hours. I'm good with pain, right? I'm really good with pain, but fucking hell. I will never make this mistake again. <laughs> I didn't think to look. 
You always Dink. forget. Oh. It's a beast. The island is a beast. Ah. Shit. Ants. Yeah. It was going for your nipple, I think. Going for your nipple. Going for Kinky. the milkers. <laughs> Kinky bastard ants. Yeah. Oh my god. Fox. It's killing me. The men are desperately searching for a beach to make a base, but with no water, they're getting seriously dehydrated. Could do with a bottle of ice cold water. Oh my god. With no water, we're pretty damn poor. It's not nice in jungle, is there? Out as I'm lived in here is beyond me. <laughs> listen, listen. It's the waves. There it is. I can see the sea. Come on. It's the sea. It's a beach. It's, it's a beach. Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh, we did it. To make a base, the men need a beach that won't get flooded. I'm so pleased to be out in the jungle. Yeah. But I'm also thinking... This, this is not the beach. This is what? <laughs> this is a tidal beach. Is this the beach we wanted? No. No. I don't think so, no. We do not want to be making another fucking trek. It's gonna kill me, man. The men have reached the east coast of the island. They don't know it, but the women's camp is just one kilometre to the north. This beach isn't right for a long-term base, but it's thrown the men an unexpected lifeline. A freshwater stream runs into it. Chris, what's your thought? Just having a wee. <laughs> You're not? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were having a wee. <laughs> Living the dream. Can't believe it. We found water. Wow. Oh. And we just sat there and we just called ourselves off and it was the nicest feeling in the world. And I swear it's the closest I've come to ejaculating. There he is, Jenny. <laughs> The men go, desperately need to rehydrate, but they can't drink this water without fire. It needs boiling to purify it. This is really, really important, isn't it, lads? It's all proving too much for Riz. Half an hour into it, I'm thinking, what the fuck? Honestly, I'm hating it. Yeah. But that's normal. I, mean, I don't want to do it. That's a week ago, you were in Bradford, man. Huh? It's completely different. You're completely out of your comfort zone. No food, no water, jungle. Huh? That is now. That's what it is. I was going to be left for a week. I actually feel sorry for him. I'm not really sympathetic. Get involved, get stuck in. What I'm mad about is somebody else might have lit a fire. Do you know what I mean? You've got to work at things. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, there's loads of it. Dr Alice has just discovered a huge lagoon. Alice is just going to taste it to see if it's salty or not, because if not, we, need to, we can stop looking for water, because <laughs> this is not running out. Um, the water's a little bit salty, very eggy. I think, I think we can probably drink this. If water tastes salty, it is madness to drink it. Salt only dehydrates you further, but what's worse, this lagoon is completely stagnant and may contain toxins that even boiling won't remove. I mean, it tastes really eggy. It's salty, but, I mean, it's a little bit of salt. It's got it's a tiny salty. bit of salt, but it's not seawater, is no. it? No, it's not seawater. So proud of these girls. First day we got fire, second day water. Yeah, it's fantastic. Still looks like shit, but we boil it, we drink it. Let's have fine. a look. Yeah. It's really disgustingly yellow. 
With Dr. Alice away finding water, Hannah had to call my safety team onto the island to treat her scorpion bite. But it will take time for her to recover fully. This is fucking hurting me. I can't believe that. It's the worst pain I've ever experienced. I'd rather really? give birth to about 10, 10 more children. No really? way. Honestly, it's going be fit. Scorpion one, Hannah nil. Shall so we set that one down, please? As they prepare their undrinkable water. How long does it take to boil it? I'm not sure. Its colour reminds the women of something else. Everyone's teeth is pissed, haven't they? I have. No, neither have I. I don't get that. Like, why would you want to piss on someone's mouth? Like, well, I used to sleep with someone that always used to want to piss on me. What? He wanted to be on you? Yeah, he always wanted to piss on me. No. And I was like, you what? Why? I don't know. It's quite degrading, though. And I was like, no, you fucking can't. That is fucking well out of order, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I would be furious. Yeah. Just like, why? <laughs> Some people have got weird, weird preferences, they have. isn't it? What about you, Charles? What's your preferences? Old oh, men. <laughs> like Alan Sugar. Alan Sugar! Alan oh, Alan no way. No, I love Alan Sugar. That's a complete waste of energy. Let's do this. Complete waste of fucking energy. My fucking head's banging. To... I seriously need a drink, lads. The men are now in deep trouble. They've been unable to make fire and won't last much longer without water. If we don't make fire today, we're fucked. It's stressing me out now. For every man and woman on the island, this is probably the biggest challenge of their lives. And I know that each of them is capable of doing it physically. What I don't know is which of them are capable of doing it mentally. And that's the big one. We're giving up. We can't give up on fire. I don't want to quit. I don't want to let the team down. This isn't going that well, is it? Do you need me? Mate, well, we need all the help we can get at the moment, don't we? <laughs> Just get stuck in with fire now, mate. Let me see if I can do some more magic. For about an hour left of daylight. Don't go any faster yet. There's something not right there. Get all that just... There is no ember. Ah. Keep it, keep it, same, same, same speed, same speed. On, on the edge, mate. I'm on the edge. After ten hours of failure, most of the men are tiring. Boys, should we crack on with this? Yeah. Riz is now leading the desperate drive for fire. Same tempo. Don't go any faster yet. Just keep it, keep it, same, same speed, same speed. Don't go faster, Patrick. Yeah, don't go faster, just keep it same speed. Mate, that is glowing. I can see that in here. Let it light up, let it light up. Hand span lens, hand span lens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yes! 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 Come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I think this is Bart's together as a team now. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well done, Liz. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Who would have thought you'd be so excited over the fire? That's it's it. It's all changed. It's a different ball game now, isn't it? Yeah, the, the... I'm excited now. Are we having one each, Alice? Yeah. Barmaid Tilly is serving up the first round of water from a stagnant lagoon. Cheers. <coughs> but this water has the potential to make the whole camp sick, and drinking it could have dire consequences. I'm just topping this up. Oh, don't top it up. Just so that you get the no, remaining no, no, salt. No, no, no. Erica, it's That's important. Not... We've got two jerry cans of jungle juice, we're calling it. It's disgusting, but we're drinking it. Well, I'm afraid to say there's going to be no mouth swilling with our water, no. is there? It's going to be straight down the hatch. <laughs> is it being sick? You're right. <sighs> Last night, Erica and the rest of the women drank stagnant water from a lagoon. The water's making some of them ill, but no one's realised the root of the sickness. Are you drinking the I've had two glasses today. It just needs to drink more, even Sorry, if it I'm tastes spitting. disgusting. Hannah's orders: drink water, sit and shine, chill out. Okay. Woke up today feeling a bit sick. I'm finding it difficult to even drink water, but 
I know I just have to keep drinking it. This water's disgusting. So, basically, everyone's had a really terrible day. Um, Eric is struggling. She's been being sick. It just makes me realise how vulnerable we are. This beach does not want human beings on it. After stopping on a tidal beach... Oh, watch it. <laughs> Whoa. The men are now in retreat from the sea again. We're going to get washed out, aren't we? It's vital they find somewhere safer to set up their camp. We need to get going, really. I think the group common sense says they want to get on it and go. We're going to knock this camp down now, get dressed for the uh, little stroll in the jungle. You're not going in them pants? Yeah, I'm going in these, actually. Crushed her. Those and some knee-high boots is yeah. what he's wearing in the jungle. The pink yeah. latex. <laughs> yeah. I told him not to bring them, but he has. Don't, don't you know what it might be underneath this one? Yeah. The men aren't sure where to explore next, and Riz isn't looking forward to another trek. How'd you sleep, man? A bit shit. You didn't sleep at all? People just keep waking me up now, don't they? Cos apparently I snore. Riz's persistent snoring was too much for the other men. I just kept, like, shaking me. I did see Paddy. Oh, I just saw his hand go... <laughs> <laughs> Every single day, we can get on up in the morning and just fucking going on a trek. I'm tired, I just want to go back to sleep. Oh, it's going to be hard for me to get on there. It's going to be hard for us all, Riz. You've got to push yourself. That's a part of the challenge, uh, isn't it, Sai? Yeah. We asked for it. We wanted it. Holy shit. Is that a cyclone? I See, think that does actually look like it, doesn't it? Oh, man. A tropical storm is heading straight for the island. God, the sea is fucking insane. Let's go. There's a big one coming in. Big one. Whoa, here it comes. So storm season in the tropics is harsh and it's unpredictable. The weather can change in an instant, but to survive, you've just got to battle through it. Oh, shit. Fucking hell, fucking hell. Living the dream. Fucking hell, this water, man. I'm going for my first piss on the island. Get on, Ben. Boy, he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, yes. For some, the storm has brought welcome relief. It's so brown. Oh, my God. <laughs> it burns when it comes out. That is not a good sign. I'm going to say Ben's piss was basically one shade down from black. What do we all think about staying here today or moving on? That is a big decision in the rain. I vote we uh, make a move and I vote we move quickly. Boys, really I think the sensible thing to do is to stay. What well, you're doing is going to one bit destination to another bit destination. We've got more or less everything here set up. We're, we haven't got all set up here. We've got fuck all set up, apart from a fire. Look at that. Who would actually go right now? I'd like to go today. I'd go. I would probably go. What about you, Dan? You'd go. Uh, we can get ourselves covered. Lads, come on. Yeah, can't hide that fire in, 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 in these conditions. Yeah. This shit here, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> While we've still got some strength, right, and feel like feel like moving. It's about making the right choice. It's not yeah. about... It's not that yeah. we want to move or we don't want to move. I don't, I don't think the right choice is by sitting here. I didn't come out here just to fucking exist. Came out here to subscribe, to do stuff, not think, oh, don't leak fire, I better just stay here, what if there ain't any water? I didn't come here to do that. Look, I'm, just I'm, just I'm, I'm, I didn't do just that. Just cos it's not your Ever, race, everyone can do Don't let him wind you up. You're gonna blame me, mate, cos I'll stop you sat and blame you. Whoa, whiz, whiz, whiz. I'm not bothered. Everyone can do whatever they want. I've got my opinion, just as everyone else has got their opinion. You're getting into a strop on your face. I'm not getting in a strop. Do whatever you want. I'm not bothered. It just goes to show how volatile this environment can make you. The smallest thing, and you can just lose your nut. Another day in camp shit, yeah. doing fuck all while everyone sits on their hands. It's the stress. Yeah. The tempo's break. Day three, and the camp's breaking up. Yeah. I don't know if they're cracks. Maybe there are cracks. Maybe you'll just find, like, seven dead bodies floating in the sea at some point. It's 
So it seems Simon has gone missing. Hey, Chris, seen Si anywhere? No. Sorry about that, pump. Unhappy at being stuck in camp, Simon has disappeared. You know, this, this is quite treacherous ground. Anything could have happened. Just one kilometre to the north, some of the women are still ill. Hannah and Erica are trying to look for food. I feel bad. I'm sorry, Anna. You feel ill? <laughs> Today is a struggle. I don't normally feel sick, and this no. is pissing me off. Oh, shit, look. Oh, look. Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? Help! Where's he gone? Hello? Next time on the island. What the fuck? They're definitely girls. Boy. If you want to talk, put your hand up and then you can talk, yeah? Fucking men, really, to fuck you. Oh, shit. I don't think I've ever heard thunder like it. And it just kicked off my post-traumatic stress. This feels like my old lady. This unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Go, go, go. I'm marooning eight men and eight women on opposite sides of a deserted island. The root of the jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. This you know, is Jack Sparrow. real. As tropical storm season rages around them... It was just like when we used to get moored in Iraq. ..will these two small groups be able to survive? Shit! <laughs> and when they meet, will they pull together or tear each other apart? F***ing men really f*** you. This is almost like a holiday, Paddy. I'm stressed, I'm hungry, they don't get some of my tits and they know about it. I don't need these guys here. Well, we've got man down. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. Oh. Came out here looking for adventure. I think we pretty much found it here. Get your right now. Oh, oh, shit! shit. Five days ago, I marooned a group of eight women and a group of eight men on a remote Pacific island. God, that was a hellish swim, wasn't it? <laughs> Neither group knew the other was there. How was your first pee in the jungle? Minging. Erica led the women to a safe place to camp. <laughs> but they fell ill after drinking bad water. <laughs> Erica, it's not well! After failing to find a good beach... Oh, here it comes. ..the men aren't happy where they are. Another day in camp shit. As Simon explored the North Cliffs, the women suddenly discovered they may not be alone. Oh, my God! Jesus Christ. Hello! I've got the worst diarrhoea ever. Ever. And when I say diarrhoea, I mean it's horrendous diarrhoea. It's diarrhea I've never experienced in my entire life. Yeah. Some of the women have been sick ever since they started drinking water from a stagnant lagoon. They don't know it, but it's slowly poisoning them. 
It's good water taste rank, man, that we've got. It's just so disgusting. It's moods of hit a low. It's so uncomfortable in camp. It is just awful. Let's go. We're off. Hi ho, hi ho. Former soldier Hannah is determined not to give up and heads out to scavenge for food. I've made sure that the island has enough indigenous animals and vegetation to keep both the men and the women alive. But if they want to eat, they've got to find it, catch it, and kill it. Tell you what, I never thought I'd be able to do this on a false leg. Oh, got him. Look at the size of that bad boy. I joined the army at 17. There's a bolshie teenager. It gave me values and standards. I loved representing Queen and Country. In 2007, I was on guard duty out in Iraq, and a mortar detonated directly underneath me. But what drove me every step of the way to fight to survive was my kids. But it shaped me as a person to realise what's important in life. God, going over these rocks is hardcore, man, on this leg. That girl was an absolute inspiration. I can't describe how much I admire her courage for doing what she's done. I think I might take up rock climbing. Less than a kilometre away, the men have yet to find a hospitable beach and are desperate for food. What do we do? Kill it. Got a spear. Well, you want to go get it with that? How big is it? Right, oh, yeah, here. Just get it, Chris. On the splash get it, Chris. He's going away from us. Right. Get it, Chris. In, straight in. Push it in. You got it. Push it, push, push it, it hard. Go push in. Push it, push it. Oh. Oh, no, it's a bag. <laughs> Chocolate bar! <laughs> oh, that's a piece of wood. We are on the brink of starvation, and we haven't done anything because we've been on this godforsaken beach. It's been incredibly tough, a lot harder than I give it credit for. This is definitely no ride all on towers. What I would want to do is get a plan yeah. in action immediately and get moving, otherwise, we're going to miss low tide, and we are stuck here yeah. for another day. This morning, Simon spotted a better beach around the rocky headlands to the north. The men don't know it, but the women are based beside it. So we should really pack up and go. Males dominate the top flight of the chefing world because men are more bullish, more aggressive, and you need those attributes to succeed. The aim for me and for the island is for us to thrive. You know, it won't be like getting to the end and we've only eaten acorns for the last four weeks. To me, the biggest achievement will be surviving it and surviving well. All right, boys, pick up your stuff, let's go. We're going to, what is that place called? Utopia. Right now, these groups don't know it, but the biggest survival resource they have is each other. And there's no doubt that 16, of course, is going to be better, stronger than just eight. But that's only if they discover each other. I just want to find a home now. I just want a home. All the women who are strong enough are out foraging. Oh, my God! What is it? And has a mirror. It's a toilet seat. Ah! Oh. I think we should go and see if we can find them. Have you been this way before? Yeah. This morning, a man was spotted on the rocks, and Dr Alice is trying to find him. Do you think it was a mirage? Could have been. <laughs> we all are hallucinating quite a bit. Oh, my God! What's that? It's his food! <laughs> Tilly and Roz uncover some yucca. Sorted. An indigenous crop. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? I love the fact I'm surrounded by strong women. Always one of us that will pull the others up. Yaka, yaka, yaka. Let's 
push. Time is against us. This rocky terrain is treacherous, and each man must haul almost half his body weight, carrying water and camera gear. We've got a lot of kit, and this definitely does not look ideal. These rocks here are, like, super slippy. Ah. Right, easy, easy, easy. It's like ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah. Jeez. Talk about when you go, you go. Yeah. Can you imagine your missus out here? She wouldn't, she wouldn't do ten minutes out here, mate, unless it were a five-star hotel. Yeah. It is so physically demanding. A woman's not equal on physicality. So I don't think women would be able to do... They wouldn't have been able to do what we've done. Men are better at physical stuff, like fires, hunting, moving stuff. Women can multitask, allegedly, can't they? So they can do more than one thing at once. But anything where it's a physical exertion, then naturally a man's going to have the edge over your normal standard woman, basically. Shit, you all right? Yeah. You all right? OK? Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling tired, lethargic, but I've got my rocks to slip on and break my leg and I've got my jerry can. What more does a man need, do you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. What? Could you see a man? No, footprints, though. This is, the, this is the promised land? Yes. That's Two a big beach. huge beaches. Those ones over there? Yeah. That is what we're looking for, boys. There's a lone set over there. Footprints. Come round this way, come round this way. Don't risk it, come round this way. No word of a lie, you know how slippy it is. Isn't it? Days. Fuck on this island. Yeah. Shut up. I think we just found eight new friends, boys. Hey. Hey, all right. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. <laughs> Have you ever met a girl and your breath smells as bad as it does? I know, man. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Do you like you? Who are you guys? I haven't even got my bra on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. We've got some more hands. Oh, oh this is the morale needed. So you must, oh my god, you've been here the same day as I. Oh my fucking yeah. god! Oh, I didn't know that. Our camp is a mess, oh, by the way. Shit. Our camp's a complete mess yeah. at the moment. We didn't know, we wasn't expecting any games. Mate, this is absolutely nuts. What are you thinking? I've got a feeling this is going to shake things up rather than make things better. But you don't know. Wonder if it's going to increase our workload. <laughs> 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 Meeting was vital for these groups' long-term chances, but it'll bring a fresh set of problems. Now they've got to grapple with a whole new dynamic, the opposite sex. And I can guarantee one thing, it's going to be tougher than they think. This is a different girls' camp. <laughs> this is it, this is awesome. This is our camp? Yeah. Look, we've got Yaffa. Oh, nice. Oh, man, words can't even cover how starving I am. The women share their only food with the famished men. Oh. Oh! oh. oh. Sorry, how good does that taste, mate? Absolutely sensational, man. This is the first proper mouthful of food I've had. Yes. And I do. Smoke five. Five or six mouthfuls of that and the carbohydrates. <gasps> Really good. What a delight. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, so, so your name is? Cy. Cy. Simon. Patrick. Patrick. 
Christopher. What's your name? Sarah. So, so would you uh, like any of the boys? They're all really nice. My love. Yeah, he's up, isn't he? Would you like the older guy? Would you like the older guy? The big fat boy. GoPro's not in here, you know that, don't you? So you brought us boys! Ah! Oh my god, I cannot believe they're here. It is crazy. I mean, my prayers have been answered. Woo! I'm glad you lot are here, you know. Before, I was really like, I don't want boys on our island, I don't want boys on our island. But actually, it's quite nice. You lot are all right so far. So far. Keep up the good behaviour, right? After five days of struggling apart, the men and women have finally discovered each other. <laughs> You're all single? Yeah. That's exactly Apart from Zoe. Like Zoe's married. Zoe's the only taken one. Yeah. So, are you like a top chef, head chef? What kind of food do you like the most? Where do you cook? Do you get fed up with cooking? I've got so many questions. Mm. I cannot tell you just, like, the boost in morale that it had just meeting them. There's a chef there, so hopefully we'll, he'll be able to do something magical with limpets. I've always cooked really, like, seriously, just because I love it. So for, like, dinner parties and stuff? Yeah, DPs? dinner parties, DPs or families. Um, so I'd go and cook for them for a week. Oh, my God. And oh, then... my God. You could tell that everyone was so uplifted by just meeting some new people and having them around. This is our boudoir where we sleep. Barmaid Tilly leads the men on a guided tour of the camp that the women spent four days building. So this is like our kind of bed area. Really? Yeah. I mean, obviously it needs improvement. When it really rips it down, this is like a mudslide, as you can see. Yeah. The area the girls are staying on is, is awful. It's absolutely infested. It's crack as this, isn't it? Yeah, you can't stay here. It's just mud. This camp is a godforsaken place. It's, oh, it's horrendous. Would any of you chaps like a gulp of water? I love a gulp of water. <laughs> Still unaware their water is polluted, Erica offers it to the men. Okay, it's so it. disgusting. Don't suck, don't taste it. <laughs> it's just brackish. Rank, yeah. Oh, my God, Rob's gag. You actually can't drink that. <laughs> the stuff that they collect is swampy. It's got bits in it. It tastes and smells absolutely vile. <laughs> it can't be good for you at all, can't be good for you at all. Are you getting it from a river? Um, a little lagoon, a little lagoon, yeah. Simon and Elliot want to see where the bad water's coming from. Welcome to our lagoon. Holy shit. Oh, this is going to be, like, swampy water. As you can see, this swamp-infested rat pit, this is where the girls were sourcing their drinking water. Hep A, Hep B, topped with Hep C, and a small layer of typhoid. Anyone fancy a drink? Have you seen the camp? It's shit. It's disgusting, mate. Our one day, we're better than that. There's more firewood there than they've had in five days. It's unorganised chaos at the minute, and we need a bit more rule and a bit more graft. Just not that positive about this group. There's no doubt that there is strength in numbers, but only if the group can merge and work as one. The worst outcome for everyone will be some kind of power struggle. This car's heavy without water in it. <laughs> With nothing safe to drink in camp, Erica volunteers to help the men on a two-hour round trip to their original water source. There's no way she's going to be able to carry that. No. We'll have, we'll have to help her, won't we? We have to. This is fresh, clean, it tastes beautiful. Are you all right with that? Be here, look. I'm sorry, I'm going to start going, cos I'm so no cool. Way. When I was a giddy 24-year-old, I found myself at a rugby match at Twickenham, and the atmosphere just went into my head, and I did a streak. I'm very open, I embrace life, I embrace people, but I don't take any shit. After my divorce, everything was on my shoulders. A big farm with 35 people. 
I'm very confident in just getting out there and doing things. This is really easy. No? OK. I have had trouble with men being a very tough bird that does her own thing. Just grab mine and I'll grab Erica's. No, yeah. I'm good. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, oh. Erica, do you want me to grab it? No, I'm comfortable, thank you. It's that assumption that, you know, you're just a bird, you're just a woman, and get out of the way. That, my friends, is one strong woman. Yep. Look at her. What a powerhouse. Fresh water! <laughs> oh, my God, I can't wait for the water. The thing is, no-one's no. gagging when they're drinking, so that's no. a good sign. Oh, God! <laughs> that was worth the walk. After days of forcing down polluted water, the women can at last rehydrate. It's not the best world I've ever had. Having stopped the women poisoning themselves, the men, led by Dr Dan, want to find a new location for the camp. This is infested. There's no breeze going through. You're all bitten to hell. I don't think we can stay here tonight. So further down there, there's a nice area which is cleared. Is there vision of the sea? Completely open. And that's okay, why otherwise I'm staying yeah. behind or leaving. Yeah, well, there, it's there. only just there, so why don't you all go and have a look and see what you think? I think this is good. We could have, like, an outdoor fire, seating area here. We look at the canopy above us. This is, like, kind of English woods, really, isn't it? I've got a bit of a plan, right? Obviously, we're going to stay here, get this area cleared. This is OK. We'll set two sleeping areas up. I'm not sleeping here. I'm going to sleep next door, but that's fine. Why? Because it's in the jungle again. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Trouble. She don't like the jungle. She only slept in there one night. The thing is, it's dark at six, so we've only got seven hours, yeah. so we need to crack on. What are you worrying about? I'm not worried about anything. I'm fascinated by the change in everything suddenly, because the men are here. Suddenly we're helpless women. It will reduce our own satisfaction in doing things, because they're already sort of taking over. We want no trees cut down, we just want all the greenery gone. So it's I'll basically just a clear floor. Army veteran Hannah is glad the men have arrived. Miss, can I give you a job? We've been clearing all this area. Right. Around the edges is what we've raked off, and he's taken over to our compost team. Let me, let me introduce you to the compost team. She's taken charge of preparing the new campsite. I think we've got such a fighting chance, not just, like, surviving here, but thriving here now. Moving this camp's invigorated me, the bloke's coming invigorated me. This is what I know. I know that was my career. No working with men. This is my plan. We're going to work in a, sort of in a line, and we're going to work all the way across to the other side. Men are doers. If you give them a job, they do it. Yeah, you're right. That's 12 years in the military yeah. taught me that. Yeah. And then they feel that they're helping a woman. Mm. Really, who's got the power in that situation? Yeah. If you came round and went, right, guys, I tell you what, I think this is a great place, but what I need doing is I need that, 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 and that, that doing. And they'll do, do it. it. So remember, you don't ever lose the initiative. You always have it. All right, listen, you guys, come here, crack on. We've only got about three hours. Get your end up a little higher, I think. Maybe let's make a thicker um, nodule. Alice has asked Elliot for a little help to lay animal traps in the jungle. Uh, ah! <laughs> Elliot, he's a real sweet guy, really kind. Um, got a lot of time for Elliot. I was with a friend's kid the other day. She was doing, I spy my little eyes, something beginning with T. And I was like, tree, table, Tom, anything. And she's like, no, cheese. Wow. <laughs> Alice, probably one of the sweetest girls I've ever met in my life. For group morale as well, she's got a lovely atmosphere and aura about her. Anything you've got missing? No, he hasn't. And she has got an amazing figure. She's beautiful. She's a doctor. She's sweet. He'd be a lucky boy. This is a muy fabuloso outfit, isn't it? Muy fabuloso. Alice and Elliot seem to be getting on particularly well. I know they're both... Well, I know Alice is single. I think Elliot's single. So we shall see. Are they back yet, then? So what the fuck are they what doing? What are they doing? Just expecting everything to be ready when they get back. 
Simon, we're literally going to lay those poles on the floor with foliage over the top just for tonight and sleep on it. By nightfall, the new camp has been cleared. Men and women will be sharing a communal bed of palm fronds. There's going to be 16 of us on it. Wow. It's literally the first time I've ever slept in a bed with 15 other people. What a lovely fire, eh? It's beautiful. Well done, guys. What a pleasure to be spending it around here with you guys. After five days apart, the groups have a chance to compare their experiences. Have you pooed, Jay, since you've been here? Yeah. Have you? Twice, yeah. Have you? Haven't you? I have a big yeah. Do you go every day in Armway? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I don't really count it. Have you then? Um, no, I've, I ain't had one today, but I had two. I've had two since I've been here, so that's pretty good oh, going, really? isn't it? See you later. I like her, she's nice. She's a good lass. But there's some of them there. Amen. Erica. Yeah. She walks around, crazy woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's maybe two good ones, mate. It's our eight good ones. It's, it's frightening, mate. They're just going to expect food to be brought to them. Yeah. Oh, got a nice knot there. Can you feel it? What have I interrupted? Just giving her a bit of a massage. Quite therapeutic for me, actually. Yeah. Hannah's amazing. <laughs> She's been dying for me to touch her body since ever since the day she met me. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah was especially bossy today, maybe because she's used to being around men, like where she's been in the army for so long. She feels more comfortable bossing around men than she does women, which is nice. So how long were you out there in Iraq for in total? I was out there four and a half months and I was due to fly back the next day. And, and instead I went back in, a, in an air ambulance. I just remember hearing a massive bang and then black and then I opened my eyes and the building was packed so tightly against my face I couldn't even, like, move my lips. Um, and I knew I was going to die. What ripped my marriage apart was post-traumatic stress. Because I was convinced we were going to be bombed or we were going to be shot and I wouldn't let my daughter out. So I went mental. I went mental. Completely gone off the rails. And I lost Hannah for a lot of years. That's why I've come on here, because I want to know that I can survive. And this is giving my daughter another aspect to her mummy, that she can go, do you know what? My mum might, might not be able to do that, but you want to see what she's done. You want to see now how she's achieved, and that's why I'll never leave, unless I'm in a body bag. <laughs> Look at the state of the colour of this shirt. It was white when I got here. After six days, former soldier Hannah has marshalled the men to make camp. Morning. But sleeping rough is now taking its toll on all of the islanders. The worst night of my entire life, without a doubt. I'm sick to fucking death of sleeping like an absolute fucking peasant on the floor, in the mud. I think I had about an hour's sleep yesterday. Uh, £15,000, you too can sleep on this absolute yes. palace for the back. Yeah. So today's all about making beds. Beds. <laughs> Simon's decided enough is enough and wants to take charge. We've got plenty of time today to get beds done. The, the, the girls yeah. just have to sit and watch and learn how to make the bed. Yeah. And then they have to make them. He's decided to lead the group in an ambitious project to construct 16 individual beds. So, guys, right, so this morning, obviously, what we need to do is, guys, what we need to do... Right, I'll just talk first, yeah? If you want to talk, put your hand up and then you can talk, yeah? So, the bed situation, right, between me, Patrick, and one more person, we can knock the frames up and we will give you the bed. Yuck, 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 bloody fucking yuck. We can knock that frame up in 20 minutes. We give somebody that, they can just strut it out. I want food. I'm sorry. I'm going. OK, I'm going fishing. I don't necessarily say I'm going to catch anything, but I really feel, need to feel that I'm trying to find some food. Catching something should be your primary objective when fishing, just so you know, yeah? It's not about having a good time, yeah? Just try your best, yeah? Make sure you catch me some, preferably big as well, and fishy. <laughs> Fucking men. Pissing me off big time. Erica does what she wants. If you say out to her, she just storms off crying. 
She's a law unto herself. Crackers, absolutely crackers. Guys, who wants to go chop some trees down? Alice and Ros. Excellent. We just want long straights like that. Long, okay. straight and hard. Just how you long, like it, Long, straight Elliot. and hard, yeah, exactly. It's really dangerous, this. That's why we need to get round. As Simon builds beds, former soldier Hannah is leading a fishing party in a desperate search for food. Rob, do you feel safe? No, I don't feel safe. I don't think this is safe. It's hard. We need to get off this, man. Yeah, mate, I'm getting back. Wait, mate, I don't feel safe. You all right, Queen? I'm fine. Despite Riz heading back, Hannah and the rest of the men press on. Is that all right, sir? Find that knife. That wasn't too bad. I'm hungry, and so is the rest of the group. We can find like a good food source. I'm literally eyeing everything up as food. It is absolutely diabolical. Hopefully, you can come back and fish. I saw you climbing um, over those rocks, <laughs> and I'm just like, are you some sort of nutcase? I have this overwhelming need to push myself all the time yeah, because yeah. it was hard to it was hard to become an amputee. I've had loads and loads of stomach surgery as well, so that's why I've got my belly button should be there. <laughs> and they put it there, and it looks like a bum hole. <laughs> Hannah surprises me. I can't even comprehend what she's gone through to get to where she is now. And she's the most upbeat, strong, sturdy, together woman I think I've ever met. I just love that someone could be so positive in life when so much shit has really happened to them. Oh. I got a bite. Oh, come on. What happened? I couldn't carve this. No. Oh, I can't believe it. I was taking a hook. Oh. Yes. Line. Oh, floss the flip flop! No, the flip flop! Some of the group are struggling with it a little bit, I think. But for me, I just love to start and I'm looking for the group, which boys in. And just have a really brilliant day. What are you saying? By mid afternoon, Simon is struggling to put up even one bed. I thought they'd just fit inside it. Yeah, but how would you bind it if it, if it fitted inside it? What was our quota? 16. And we've done 16. one. We haven't done one. We haven't done one. We haven't done one, haven't done one yet. Nah. Come on, we've got to get one done. It's just, it's going to take us forever to make loads of individual beds. But we've never done one before, have we? Simon, he's funny about making his A bed. Not even one bed was made. Oh, my God, look at Erica's bed. Erica's decided not to wait for Simon. She's taking the matter into her own hands. My priority was just to get this thing done and dusted cos I'm just desperate. The way the guys are taking over, they've just stormed in and started changing the camp. And it disappoints me. I could fight this idea of the men being here, but what's the point? I'm not here to be liked particularly. I'm here to survive. And if I have to be rude and to talk with my mouth full, then so be it. Yay! Yay! Yes, Erica! Guys, she's not that bad. It's even Fonka friendly. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Married with three kids. Sorry, I'm going to pass on this one. Patrick, what's stint in for us? You're so, you up for it. I'll jump in there, Erica. I told you I'd get a bouncy bed. I got it. It's tiny, isn't it? It looks like a little baby's bed. Don't you fucking break it. Let me just have one seat, please. <laughs> All I can think about is coaching on a Sunday with my girlfriend. The truth about Chef Elliot has emerged. He's finding the mixed group a challenge. Being here and, like, having eight girls to hang out with reminds me a lot of my girlfriend and back home. I find it really, really difficult. Making me quite sad that I don't know what she's doing. You know, just make sure it's tight, so there's enough yeah. friction. Yeah. But just go through the loop twice, if you see what I mean. Alice was feeling a bit crap. Maybe she'd find out Elliot had a girlfriend. And then just go, oh, okay. And so maybe that budding flirtation earlier was just 
flash in the pan. Alas. There's absolutely zero libido out here. It's like a curse. So I personally think that actually romance is an utter impossibility. Although that's not to say that there hasn't been affection. Hold and pull. Come on, give it some. Uh, the fish here are just so strong. Yeah. Plus, you're so weak. <laughs> Look at that. It's a storm front coming in. Oh, my word. That looks very angry. It's all coming this way. What does that mean for us? I think a very wet night. He wants to push towards me constantly, yeah. though, doesn't it? With the storm rapidly approaching, no one has thought about a shelter for the fire. We've got a thunderstorm coming in, so we need a fire shower and we need to clear the area. We'll be on the floor here tonight, ladies, because there's no way we're going to be building a bed. This is the sort of thing that will make me go home, OK? Because we're all just bumbling along blindly. You're fucking men, really, to fuck you. This time of year, this island is hit by some of the most brutal storms on the planet. And this torrential rain that is almost like torture, it's either going to make them or break them. Right, is there any more leaves? Yeah. No. Where? Around there. Are they all cut down? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. With the camp in disarray, Hannah rallies the troops. Don't get stressed out. I'm not, you know, me. You are, you were a little bit stressed out. Yeah. I know you now well enough. <laughs> We have to bind these together. Further left, further left. Without Hannah at the moment, we would be a bit stuffed. She's a big character, you know? It's like she's on home turf. Stick delivery! I watch how strong she is, and I just get blown away by it. Oh, I do it gently, boys. We don't want that structure to come down. Hannah is pretty driven on sorting stuff out. We got the shelter finished and got the roof done and everything, which is sick. I'm so, so pleased. Jeez. It's going to kick off, isn't it? That's rain. Oh, he's coming. Heads up. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I hate thunder. This is quite a tense storm, isn't it? It is. I reckon this could be a full nighter. Ah, you bastard! Ah! What did you do? Ah. Have you been stuck? It's definitely a sting. Stand! Where's it then, Stan? We've been stuck by something over here. Where is it? On this finger, yeah. There. It's going numb. Shh! Dan, what do you think it is? It's like to be a scorpion. What? Uh, Rizzy, yeah. these scorpions here are going to give you a nasty sting. Last about 12 hours. I don't like this one at all. Oh, oh, whoa. I don't think you should, Bob. Two, three. Oh, God, that was loud. Hannah, <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah, I imagine so. Nothing. Nice. It is a mistake. I'm going to use a very small needle. I can put the local anaesthetic in there. Doing good, don't worry. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. Thunder like it. It's the bang, and it just reminds me in every way. Yeah. Yeah. 
of how um, evacuated we feel. Um, and the fear that I felt there. Ooh. I want another big lightning bolt. Yeah. It was just like when we used to get more in about. I used to lie there and think that I wouldn't get home to my little girl. <laughs> just the awful memories of fear. And um, I hope, I really, really hope that one day I'll just feel normal. Last night, former soldier Hannah endured a gigantic thunderstorm that only stopped at dawn. Another really, really rough night of sleep. I slept for maybe 20 minutes last night. Camp is wet, destroyed and morale is low. I guess that's what happens. <laughs> Absolutely tips it down. What's the matter, baby girl? What's the matter? Just chill, just take your leather. Phantom limb plates. What's that mean? Just when your body makes you think, feel like your leg's still there. I just don't like being in this much pain. Is it your leg off? Why don't you just take your leg off and chill for the day? Have you had what any painkillers this morning? There's no point in me taking anything. Let's go and we'll sit down. The noise of the thunder triggered off flashbacks from the war when she had it, so she was very scared, and then she had the pain. Poor girl. during lightning all last night. I think it was a bit difficult for Hannah to make her think of, like, the bombs. You can't believe, like, someone's gone through that much and, and yeah, she's so resilient. You're so strong, Han. You are. I, I, I just think I underestimated how much of a toll this would take. And it's just been getting steady, steady, steady worse. OK. And then it's not real pain, so I can't have any other yeah. pain relief, so I don't know what I can... what can be done. Doctors Dan and Alice are very concerned. And have you ever had it like this before? No. Just not one for a big fuss, you know. I was anxious, that's not it. It's going to be another thunderstorm. Yeah. Come on, love. Come on. What is it? It's really the pain. Is there anything going on in your head? No. Nothing in your head? No, it's just a pain. How do, you normally, how do you normally get over this? I've never had it this bad. Really? No. Not this bad? It's just weird how you're in this environment and I've known this girl for a week and I'm classing her as my friend and I'm so fond of her. And um, to see someone that you get, you've grown so fond of over such a short space of time, in so much pain, and you can't do anything about it, it's really, really upsetting. Do you want to say, it's like, like medicine's going to help? And when you're in this the environment... The thing is, you're not in your home, home environment. Exactly. She could have been at home, so she'll know what position to get into, she'll know where to go, yeah. she'll be around people that she knows properly. I understand it. Yeah. <laughs> She's in absolute agony. <laughs> Awful. Poor girl. It's really sad, isn't it? Horrendous. You're such a strong girl as well. <laughs> You've never had it this 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 bad before, huh? I've never had it so filthy. This feels like my old legs. Oh no! I literally can't stand the people. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hannah's going to be going, Hal. No. Right now? Yeah, I think she's going to be going. 
is psychological. It's very difficult to treat. After eight days, Hannah asks for an evacuation from the island. I share one. Do you read me? Hi there, yeah. Strength five, strength five, over. Hannah has got severe phantom limb pain. The thunderstorm triggered severe um, pains in her legs. She's, she's not in a good way. We are on route as we speak this morning, over. <laughs> Boat's coming in now. <laughs> OK, huh? One, two, three, and go. <laughs> you're the bravest girl in the world. You're the bravest. Jen, you're amazing. <laughs> Just seeing her in that much pain, it was heartbreaking. And it was so upsetting because she's such a strong woman and she wanted to stay so badly. <laughs> More than 220,000 British citizens served in the military in Iraq and Afghanistan, and many of those obviously went through traumatic experiences that they're never going to forget, and in many ways, which still shape their lives today. And unless you've experienced post-traumatic stress, you can't imagine it. She's touched a lot of hearts on this island, um, just through showing how strong a human being can be in the face of adversity. And I think with her going, it feels like a little hole's been made. <laughs> it's so horrible to see someone in that much pain. You can't even help them. You can't do anything. <laughs> I'm crying like a fucking prick, and she's there like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I really, really hope that when she gets better, she doesn't regret leaving, because she's done the right thing. It was just so horrible to see her like that. And I think we've lost such a big member of our team. Hannah always had a way with the men, and now she's gone. Um, the question is whether anybody will fill those shoes um, in that respect. And to be honest, I don't think they will. Next time on the island. Who'd have thought that such a lovely looking place would be such a hellhole? I get so fucking sick of it. What the fuck have I done to her? In my opinion, your opinion is bollocks. <laughs> Come back, you're being pulled away! Fuck, where's Rob? I have no idea where Rob is. <laughs> This unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. Oh, wow. Look at the size of those waves. I'm marooning 16 men and women on a deserted island. So we're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. As tropical storm season rages around them. It was just like when we used to get more dinner at. Will they have what it takes to survive? Shit. This island is sucking all energy out of us. Everyone's positive apart from you. <laughs> 
is almost like a holiday, Paddy. Oh! Came out here looking for adventure. Wow. I think we pretty much found it here. Dear one, dear one, it's yellow. We've got a medical situation here. Ten days ago, I cast away eight men and eight women separately on this deserted island. Oh, what a day out there. Riz struggled from the moment he arrived. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. She skyboxed everything. Oh, my God! We've just seen a group of people. After five days, the men and women discovered each other. So you brought us boys! Is that a cyclone? But the brutal conditions were too much for two of the women. It's a completely terrifying environment. <laughs> it was just so horrible to see her like that. Uh -huh. Those that remain are now on the brink of starvation. It's frightening there. What we're going to do? Honestly, I'm hating it. It's sunny. I shut my eyes for a second, I could almost feel like I'm on holiday. And then I opened them on a deserted island with no food. <laughs> the islanders have now been here 10 days, but they've eaten almost nothing so far. It's the most hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I tell you what, I'll never ever do anything else again. I'll never put myself in a situation where I fall without food. Their meagre diet of coconuts and limpets isn't enough to keep them going. Our bodies have started to, to shut down on us, and everything is a struggle. Two. Three. You all right, mate? It's just insanely difficult. Insanely difficult. And disheartening. You all right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just stand up too quick. It won't get me. It will not beat me. I will not let this place beat me. Right, let's get some food on the table tonight. Despite his weakened state, Rob has been continuing to lead hunting parties. May the pig be with you. Uh, I'll do the race of death. It's what this tribe do in Africa, where they chase a deer till the deer collapses, or till they collapse. The tribe won't stop running until they die. Watch it on Discovery. Watch out for those spiky wings. The men head straight into the jungle in search of something substantial to eat. Yeah, that person just wants to hurt you, doesn't it? It's like the worst seven dwarfs. Bitey, prickly, nasty, deadly, spiky. And our favourite, dysentery. I've ensured there is enough wildlife here to sustain the islanders. But if they don't have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it, the bottom line is they won't survive. It really is that simple. Need sweet to eat. Yeah, no. I love animals, but I don't see them in the same light. I just see them as food. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah, yeah. I would describe myself as an alpha male. When it comes to getting involved with any task on the island, I'll be the first one there, hands in, knee deep in shit, whatever. Being a camera guy, I tend to travel quite a lot. I've filmed people surviving in jungles, in the Arctic, but I've never been a part of it. I've always had in the back of my mind, could I do that? I'm not scared of spiders, I'm not scared of the dark, I'm scared of failing. I don't want to fail. This is supposed to be where the famous hang out. All that noise. Something like going into the water. The men reach a lagoon, which is home to the Cayman crocodile, the island's most dangerous predator. Yeah, I think there's something in this water. I felt like some people were moving closer. Probably a Cayman up top. Oh, God. Would a croc just come diving out? Or... Yeah. They'll sit there under the water and then, boom, out it comes. That's dangerous. I'm going nowhere near that, mate, honestly. They basically do a death roll and they grab you, spin you around until you drown and stuff you into their den and wait till your meat rots. I ain't going nowhere near that water, me, I tell you. It's not worth it. Boys, boys. 
I saw that. Riz spots one of the island's wild turkeys. Boys, 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 we're going to have meat tonight. Shani hates sand. I hate sand too. Shaney and some of the women are also desperately hunting for food. What are we searching for then? The iguanas like to live in night like, coves. Yeah. What was the best way to kill them again? Stab it. Yeah? I'm a management accountant. I think my strengths on the island will be using my brain to be able to do things. I currently live at home with my mum, my dad and my sister. When I get in 90% of the time, there's a meal cooked for me. I don't really do a lot unless I, I need to. <laughs> I think I'm quite a daddy's girl. Awful, I know. <laughs> it makes me sound awful. <laughs> yeah. I think being on the island is going to be the first step of me growing up. I found rope. Reckon that's something we could use. Fuck, that is heavy. We found a massive rope. Maybe we could make a, a fishing net. I think that is the one thing that we don't have that is, is vital. In a survival situation on a deserted island, one of your biggest resources is the junk that washes up on the beach. If you're resourceful enough to turn that into your treasure, you're onto a winner. Look how fucking massive this is. A fishing net is a key survival tool, but trying to make one from scratch is a huge challenge. We have a production line. Some of us untangle, some of us are tying, then we should be all right. Fucking hell. If it doesn't work, they will have wasted precious time and energy. It's going to take so fucking long. First rule of net club, there is no net club. Second rule of net club is catch mother... Fish. Yeah. I, honest to God, have my fingers crossed, my legs crossed, everything crossed to make sure that that does work. I'm really getting frustrated now. After the turkey trail went cold, it's been a failed day in the jungle. What's annoying is out there, it's here in a tree, like, kind of over there, like, mocking us up. Like, I'm over here, you'll never catch me. The thing is about animals is that they're the masters of evasion, designed in life to keep away from people like us. And we're designed in life to be sitting on a sofa in front of the TV. Oh! Feeling dizzy. It's because it's we haven't eaten, man. So I'm really back to camp. Rest up. It means the whole camp will go another day without food. I am starving. I just physically, mentally uh, cannot go any further. But when you have to live it 24-7, mate, your head just goes mental, man. I think anyone bearing food at the moment would be cast as some sort of demigod. Unfortunately, we're just demi-losers. No, full losers. Never mind, guys. With being a dad, I provide for my family. And at the moment, I don't feel I'm providing for my surrogate family now. I, I feel like I'm maybe letting them down a little bit. And that is why I think I'm kicking myself so badly when things don't go right. Yeah. I win, you stupid piece of wood. Ah! Stand on. I do not want to start eating people. Do you? <laughs> I don't, but I will. The question is, who's getting eaten first? I thought it would be me, because I've got chubby thighs, and there's more meat on it. I think Chris could be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, He's got a bit of meat on him. Actually, me and Chris are done for, so actually, we won't talk about eating people. <laughs> I'm done. I would eat anything. Pig's ass all the works. Should we wipe it first, or? Yeah. <laughs> it's always about wipes. Like pig's ass all. It's a new delicacy. Patrick's food fantasy involves a fellow islander. It'll be so cool to meet up. Yay! I'd love that pub. There's this little old pub mm. with walls that are, like, eight foot thick. It's that old. It's like oh one of those God. tiny old cottages yeah, from yeah. The Hobbit. And you go in, and they only serve, like, roast beef. That's it. Really? Um, and okay. the Yorkshire pudding so this big. So we go on the walk first. Yeah. Yeah, pub yeah. lunch. Alice are really, really, we, we get on really well. You know, I think, yeah. We fancy each other a bit, but, um... Then we drive back to... You can show me the carbonara. I'll do the salad. Yeah. 
eat that, get a bit drunk. It's gonna That's happen. a perfect day. So far, there's been little romance on the island. Someone wanted to have sex with me now, I'd probably be like, fuck off and just lay there like a sack of potatoes. And tell them to order me a Chinese, I think. Normally, I think about sex quite a lot, but on this island, it does crazy things to you. Your libido just goes way down. I've had these out the entire time. No flirting with me whatsoever. For Riz, living with women is just an extra challenge on top of starvation. Kiss my ass and be envious of this little ass of mine. Struggling there, I'm telling you. End of the day, I am a Muslim. You know, I've been uh, live with women that are you know, half naked. Harder than what I thought it would be, you know. Right, everybody can have your attention, please. After 11 days on the island, he calls everyone together. Basically, I want to start off by apologising for making the decision to go. What? No. I'm around a group of women, you know, half naked, which in my religion and culture, I shouldn't really be. But that's not the main reason. I mean, I've struggled laws physically, mentally. Obviously, you've seen it for yourself. I just wasn't getting by. Riz, would it help if we didn't walk around in bikinis? <laughs> no, no, no. No? I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself that I'm letting, you know, everybody down. Riz asked to be taken off the island immediately. He's, obviously, he's not happy. But we knew it was going to be hard when we signed up for it. I feel like he could stick it out. Going home? Going to my family? Leaving all you that behind? Uh, I know, I'm sorry, I, should be, I shouldn't be smiling, but I can't help it. It really pisses me off, in a way, because I think he's got more in him. When somebody walks out on a group, it's easy for the remaining members to feel a bit betrayed, maybe even angry. And the danger is that it opens the doors then for others to follow. It's now more vital than ever that the group doesn't lose heart. Right, team, is there any one thing we can do? Crack on. Crack on. Crack on. <laughs> Should we crack on with this net? Uh, um, the only way I can start this is by saying um, I I'm in absolute peace. The group awake to further bad news. Ah, oh, my word. Bob's in a pretty bad way at the moment. He's really taking a beating and um, he's struggling. Pain, you can feel it going to your eye socket. Your sinuses, your whole face, it feels like that bone. It feels like someone has just clubbed you with a piece of wood around the side of your face. Rob has developed a tooth abscess. Dr Dan has no choice but try to operate despite the primitive conditions. How serious could this be? In this environment, it's dangerous. Uh, if it gets any worse, and he'll be off the island. The islanders have been marooned for almost two weeks. But so far, they've eaten nothing substantial. Drive me fucking nuts. With no toothpaste and only one washed up toothbrush between them, <sighs> key hunter Rob has developed an agonizing tooth abscess. How's it going? When a doctor approaches you with gloves on, always be worried. There's a risk here that it becomes septic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it needs to be lanced. Dr. Dan decides to operate using the camp's basic medical kit. And so we're going to open the scalpel as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the surgery with Dr. Dan. <laughs> it's slightly different being in a doctor's surgery, isn't it? So we're going to be very, very slow. This is going to be horrific. Don't, oh. don't touch it with your hands, your hands are dirty. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hello. That is grim. You're pretty gruesome, isn't it? There it is. Beautiful. Pass out. Well done. Brilliant. OK, done. Spit it out, Matt. Spit it out. Spit it a bit. Oh, yeah, that stuff is rank, whatever that was. All right, Rob? Yeah, we're Sucking up my head. Well, good. Thanks, Doc. Thanks so much for that. Really appreciate it. 
Right, let's crack on. My mind is strong, my spirit is strong, my body is weak. It's just a hard slog and it's getting harder. Sex on the island? No. <sighs> that would be the filthiest sex ever. Yeah, like where would you even go? Oh, you'd have washed for like four weeks. And also it'd be like, oh, someone's probably shit here as well. <laughs> that is rank. To save the camp from starvation, Shaney and some of the women have been trying to make a fishing net from scratch. But it means others have had to do the more physical jobs around camp for the last few days. Mending the net, it's like embroidery, actually. It's not a very difficult job. It's hard work getting wood, I can tell you. So I am working damn hard. The daily jobs get shared out every morning. So I'll start the meeting, yeah? Who's going on water today? Who's on water? The water run is a back-breaking two-hour trek. Right, so who's going to go there? We can go, but I think the net, we all... I just want to get this done. Yeah. Well, we just don't get any water then, do we? We need a fishing net. That's, like, priority. You've got to remember, though, you can't drink the net. Yeah. People who did the net yesterday and who use less energy than others should be doing the net again today. I disagree. So I'll have to go. I'll have to go then. Ben will have to go. I think I'm going to choose some sedentary jobs for the next few days. So yeah. Eric made a bit of a dig at me. I think what she doesn't understand is the net is the most important thing we have at the moment. So if I do spend more time on it, it's worth it. Ugh. It's killing. Oh. Fucking hell. It's getting harder, isn't it? I'm shaking up in on one yet. It does it take eight people to be sat around weaving a net? I can drag it out there. Right, Paddy, you feeling vibrant? Yeah, I'm feeling yeah. awesome, man. Rob is feeling well enough to head back out looking for food. Bet you were really good looking when you were younger. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, she went there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think your day can't get any worse. No, that's exactly why I didn't want to say it, because it made it sound like you weren't now. You are. There's the shell of a man right here, right now. Whatever. You know you're a good-looking guy. Well, that's very sweet. Thank you very much. If anyone needs me, I'll be behind the tree having a cry. <laughs> How hungry are you? Uh, I've just read my stomach's just gone. Oh. I don't think I've ever been this hungry in my whole entire life. It's so tough to just keep pushing on and keep checking, but if you don't check, they're not going to come out and say, hey, check under this branch. And there's a mango bush just behind you, Rob. Woo! That ain't going to happen. On mental, I've gone absolutely loopy. This experience for me is becoming a lesson in starvation and exhaustion. I literally just found a bit of coconut on the floor from yesterday that turned into sort of a ball of sand and mud and just ate it. Who'd have thought that such a lovely looking place would be such a hellhole? Would you say if we carry on like this, we won't survive? We just need fuel. That's all food is, is fuel. We're running on empty, boy. Yeah. Guys, last but strong has been completed. Yay! Well done, girls. Fucking awesome job. Five days ago, this net was just a washed up rope. Net, mate, is looking sweet. Now the camp hope it might feed them. I was a little bit dubious to start with, but if we can catch some stuff, well, you know, hats off to them. It's quite nice to see that something you've made could potentially bring in the food for everyone. So all we've got to do is find the right spot for it and we'll catch a ton of fish. The swimming the nets out is a potentially dangerous task. In this part of the Pacific, the seas are unpredictable and with strong currents, and those currents can easily overpower even the most capable swimmer. He could. He's probably going to need our two strongest swimmers, whoever they are. It's not me. So we need. I'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'll happily swim out. Okay. Come on, Fisher people. Let's do it. Right. Da 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 da
fingers crossed. It's like watching your baby, isn't it? Being born. Well, good luck, lads. They want to swim the net out into deep waters oh. and find some rocks to tether it to. Whoa, shit. You all right, boys? Yeah, you got it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice, he's in. Basically, they're going out to deep water now. Just hope we can get it set. I'm more sceptical of things that are not planned out properly. That's quite a pull there. Boys, where are you going to tie it to? They're battling against the fast-moving rip currents. Oh, shit! <laughs> That hasn't gone quite to plan. What the fuck's okay. happened? Um, just swam it out about 60 metres. As we set it out there, we thought it was in a good position, let it go, and then just carry on going. So it's gone? It's gone. So we've lost the net. We've lost the net, but no fish. We're back to square one. It's absolutely soul-destroying. All of that, complete waste of time. It is insanely hard. I want to inspire our group as much as possible. I want to not look like I'm struggling too much. Uh, inside, I am. I'm, I'm inside. I'm really struggling. I'm like fuming. I'm like literally nearly shaking. Yeah, fun time. Despite the terrible setback, some are finding moments of enjoyment. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh. So sweet. God, this is so nice. Student Patrick is spending more and more time with Dr. Alice. Would it be possible to have a romantic liaison? Well, you know, in the most arduous um, situations, war, famine, any kind of suffering, men and women tend to get together. This is almost like a holiday, Paddy. A little bit of flirting going on today. Ah, so nice. Oh my god, Paddy, that's great. You have such a nice waistline. I think Alice is pretty cute. She's such a nice girl. She's definitely a marriage material. Right, ready, Shaney? I might just put my bikini bottoms on, even though they look minging. With no food and camp, Erica and Zoe want to count on Shaney to help them forage along the coastline. I need to put boots on on my right and flip flops. I don't know, darling. You're cool. It's not a fashion show. You don't have to get angry with me. The whole point is that we're going to get food. I'm not going if we're going to be in bad mood. Oh, we won't be in bad mood. Just get on with it. Be careful. Oh, it's a bit windy today. I think flip-flops were a bad choice. Uh, so, yeah. that looks really rough over there. Yeah, but we're not going out there. I'm not walking around there. Come on! we to try, though, Shaney, haven't we? We haven't got any food, so... I don't like it. It's too windy. I'm going to go back. God, I get so fucking sick of it. Shaney, I haven't been impressed with that girl since the moment I met her. I'm sorry. She has said that she's an office girl. Well, I don't think it's an excuse not to help out. She's taking the piss. I'm sorry, she irritates me. What the fuck have I done to her? No, I think she's upset about how much work is being done. I can't be bothered with this bullshit. Shaney gives up and returns to camp. You had enough, Shaney. Didn't even go, honestly, it's so rough. Erica? Yes, darling. Shaney wants to find out what Erica has against her. I'm trying as best as I can here, and it just feels like you're putting me down all the time. Every now and then, I just get a bit pissed off with you. But why? <laughs> what am I doing? My opinion is that you don't work as hard as everybody else, and I can't help feeling that. And in my opinion, your opinion is bollocks. 
Like, I do what the team needs to do. And if that means fixing the net, which you think is easy, and yet it's not physical work, but actually it was logical work, and I was probably the best person to do it because I've got a very logical brain. What, you want me to kiss your ass every time you do something? Guys, I think we need to remember that we've gone days without eating. We are stuck on this fucking island, and it's going to be really fucking awkward if you ain't getting on. Why don't we hold hands and make up, you know? I think absolutely not when someone's got that opinion of me. No way. Well... It's been done, the bread has been buttered, or whatever the saying is, so it can't be unbuttered, can it? What do you want me to do about it? Just keep your opinion to yourself. OK, I will. When you feel guilty that you might not have pulled your weight, you react. And there was a reaction. She's only 25, and I pricked her pride in front of everybody. So you want to fish off this end point here? But with the waves coming in like that, it's just going to knock you off, like this one. Pain in the arse. I've ensured the islanders have access to basic fishing equipment. Watch out! Watch out! They've been struggling on with homemade rods. Right, you fish bastards. This is going to get you. Ah. But after two weeks, they've had little luck. Nothing biting or catching. It's fucking annoying they're still barely subsisting on scavenged scraps. We had one square of coconut yesterday. That is ridiculous. I'm lethargic Honestly. as fudge. Are today. you? Yeah. We need food and we need it, we need it fast. We need it today. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. Shit. Oh. 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 All right, OK. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Glass of water. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hey, a glass of water, quick. Hey. Fuck. Can I get some water? Lift your legs up. That scared me, that has. Well done, Pad. You're all right. Keep taking nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, OK? He's wiped out, isn't he? Paddy just collapsed. It's fucking scary. She's so fucking scary. Are you all right? Just lay down for a bit, mate. I'll just stay there, mate. But we've had one meal, probably, if you throw it all together, in 16 days. So we are literally... We, we can use the word starving. The islanders now are beginning to waste away. The changes are reversible, but only if they begin to dramatically increase their food intake, and soon. And right now, it's not clear how they're going to do that. I could have hit my head so bad. I think it's probably a word of warning to us all. I think we get ready for rain in case it rains. So it's going to rain? Alice thinks it might rain. How does she know that? Just feeling there. Yeah. It might. Have you heard nipples are erect? Don't do that either. Keep ah, on ah, it. Ah. Right, let's go, Shinny. Right, bye, guys. Bye. bye. After Erica criticised her for laziness, Shaney's decided to go out on an all-day hunt with Sarah. I just want to be able to bring something home to the group. Yeah, We've know. fucking got to. It'll be easy for all of us to give up, but you just realise you have to keep going. Seeing this through is going to be the biggest achievements of all of our lives. <sighs> How much energy do you have left? Absolutely none. This is already killing me. I know the same. And I was like, what have we started? Oh, oh, my God, oh, my God. Shit. You OK? <sighs> yeah. Back in camp, word of Patrick's affections has spread. I think Paddy has a bit of a crush on you. Do you, do you think? I do. I do. No. <laughs> You are a bit of a minx, Alice. Shut up! Paddy, we, need, we could do the big sister little bro chat later. Have you decided you're Paddy's big sister? I've adopted him. He's my little brother. Are you all right with that, Paddy? Did yep. she consult you in that decision? Mm hmm That's yeah, the thing, fine. little brothers don't get a choice. Look how happy he looks. I didn't know that happy when I... He, he covers it really well. Paddy's so sweet. I really feel like I've clicked with him, but he is so young. Patrick, do you need a hug? No. Uh, what is that? 
Come over here, quick. Out on her trek, Shaney spotted something that could turn the group's fortunes around. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yes. Not fucking kidding! Woo. Oh, my God. Yes! We got that! Woo! It's massive. It's absolutely huge. Oh, my God. We have so much fish from that. Guys! Look what they've got. We thought we had cheering. What? Where the fuck did you find that? Oh, they've got to find a fishing net. No food, but a net. Oh, oh girls, well done. Whoever saw it first, I'll tell you what, amazing. This is sick. We can just untangle this. The feeling when I found it was honestly insane. I think it's one huge one. Yes. Topic. It's massive. Look oh, at it. On. Fish and chips tonight. We are back in the game and we have a shot now. This precious net still needs repairing to be effective. Right, girls, we were missing the knitting, now we can do it. Girly work. The main thing is, is don't lose it. Yeah, no, oh yeah. my God, no. After their struggles putting out the last net, the islanders are now wary of the sea. That rip is so fast. It rips you really far down south, doesn't it? I mean, basically, if you start getting taken by a rip, you just go with it. Can we have a plan if you get into trouble and we need to do some do shit? Like two waves is trouble. Two hands is trouble. Trouble. One hand is okay. Sweet. I'm not going to watch it. It's not my day to drown. If anyone gets tired, just let us know because we're going to go quite far. Good luck, everyone. Once again, Rob volunteers to lead the swim. This is hope. This is literally hope. The sea is just so strong at the moment. Shady, what would you do if they lost your net? Fucking fuming. I think we all realise that this is, like, a bit of a last resort for us. So if we lose this, it's going to be a bit of a struggle, really. Rob wants to moor the net out as far as possible. The biggest fish swim in deep waters. Things like this always makes me a little bit panicky. I know they're all fine, but you know, you just think, oh, I don't know. They're all in the sea like that. Yeah, I don't know. Things like that make me nervous. Yeah. They're quite far out now, aren't they? They are a long way out there. They are a long way out. Because of the lack of intake of food, they've got very few minerals and vitamins on board, and if they start cramping up or get fatigued, they're in trouble. This time, the net is successfully tied to an underwater rock. That's... that's done. Stay there, Chris. Stay there. But they still have to swim back. Oh! Fuck! Oh, what? I think they're caught. I'm drifting out, mate. I think you should come back. You're being Bloody fools. I don't like this. The fast rip currents are dragging them away from land. They're all going that way. <laughs> this is not good. This is a stupid, stupid idea. Look at them. They're miles away. What the fuck do they think they're doing? God, look how hard they're having to swim. Yeah, but the girls are still out there. This one's struggling. They don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Swim for your life. Swim for your fucking lives, you stupid people. Oh, shit. Come on, Sarah, push! As the swimmers return, one person is missing. Where's Rob? <laughs> Go on to Rob. I don't know, Rob, like, Rob, Rob you start swimming, I went back over to help Zoe, because they were like, you're going out too far. And this has just drifted him down there. It's dangerous, that tide is so dangerous. Yeah, I know. If you get caught on the rock, that can tide, it's like fatal. Fuck, where's Rob? I've no idea where Rob is, like literally. Rob! Rob! After successfully swimming out Shaney's fishing net, 
Rob has been swept away in the ocean currents. <laughs> I told them not to fucking go out. Rob! Oh. Sierra one is yellow to copy. Yellow, yellow, this is Sierra one, do you copy? It would be advisable to get a boat here, over. <laughs> be a situation. Uh, shit. We're not that bloody desperate to have our bodies swept up on the beach. No way of knowing if Rob is alive. I don't want any fucking disasters, and that's the only place we're going to get a disaster. We can cut ourselves here and fall and be bitten by things. We will live. That motherfucker over there will gobble you up, just like that. Rob's made it back to shore, but he's trapped alone by a cove. The only way back is around the rocky headland. So this wave coming in on that. Wow. Wow. Just do not mess with another nature, man. But really, really scary. Really scary. In hindsight, it probably was very dangerous, but I'm stubborn and pick headed. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Considering the disaster we've had, we're losing a net literally bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of where we could possibly be. It was really important we didn't screw it up. With Shaney's fishing net now successfully tethered, the islanders can do nothing but wait to see if it works. I shall have a fishy on the little dishy. I shall have a fishy when the water comes in. Nelly, love you. Oh, we're going to have a nice fish dinner in the morning, girls. Imagine that. Team effort on the net. I love the way everyone worked together today. I just want us to catch fish and have Yeah, yeah. Well, totally. Feeling. If we all sit here together, each with our own fish, tucking into it, all silent, happy, with full tummies, around a roaring fire, bloody amazing. It sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm really, 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 really want to catch a fish. Go si. we'll shut the nets. The rest of the camp's asleep at the moment, so we're just going to head out there and do it now. Hopefully, they might wake up to some nice little fish. Yeah. Here. I've been thinking about these fish out here, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Okay, do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out here? 
If the net's empty, the camp will be in desperate trouble. Without substantial food, they can't go on much longer. A bit nervous, aren't you? So, right, the net. Moment of truth. Shit. Oh. No. fish, but that fish happens to be a big old shark. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been so happy in my entire life. All my mates said go fishing. Yeah. I think it's better with a net. Yes, he's the one. <laughs> he's a big boy. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, guys. Shark time. It's shark time. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this shark will be the group's first proper meal since setting foot on the island. Look at the size of that. Man's worked. Well done, Rob. Well done, ma'am. Hey, well, well done, Shane. It's fine from the net as well. I'm all going to reap the reward. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's got a smile on their face. Yeah. I'm so happy. Everyone is just so elated. Look at that! So, El, have you ever gutted a shark before? Funny old thing, but no. We've finally cracked it. This is chapter two of the island. We are back in the running. From finding the net to fixing the net to swimming the net out. Yeah. And it, and it is exactly what this island's all about. Exactly. Team effort. First stakes going on. It's like what we've been waiting for, really, isn't it? Like, it's the payoff from everyone's hard work. Man, fish is up. Right, boys, I'm going to have this little bastard. I don't even know what to do. What? There you go, sweetheart. What's the menu tonight? Uh, I, I ordered a shark fillet and I got one. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. Fuck my bum with something. I taste. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just me, and it's in my mouth, and it's a lot of it, and that's amazing. Ah. Oh. Now I'm smiling. There's that smile. There he is. We've been fantasizing about food so fucking much, like, I just feel like, fuck the cream cake. Yeah. Fuck the fucking fry-up. Fuck the roast dinner. I've got a shot. It's just so nice. It's lovely. I feel like I'm on holiday. Oh my god! A full belly prompts a reconciliation. Give me a hug, honey. I'm sorry I hurt you. Okay? I'm sorry I hurt you. I feel like this shame. I apologize today. I said I'm sorry. So the little blip that we had is woof. It's just not important. This place teaches you that uh, silly things don't count. How patient have all of us been just waiting and waiting and working and working yeah. for, like, one meal? Do you know what I mean? That's a bloody good meal, though, isn't it? Yeah. But once again, Ireland, bring it on, you big fat bitch. I'm going to steal your fruits, eat your food, and then I'm going to leave you. Ha! Next time on the island... We're literally starving. My body is withering away. Look at this fucking body, skin and bone! Oh, 
I don't think my bum hole can take anymore. That's really dangerous. We'll kill ourselves. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. shit! Shit! This unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. Look at the size of those waves. I've marooned 16 men and women on a deserted island. Like we're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. real. As tropical storm season rages around them... Ah, oh, you busted! I have been stung by something! ..will they have what it takes to survive? Shit! Oh, my God! Oh. You're doing my f***ing today! If you think this is an holiday, don't come. <laughs> right, we've got to get out of here. Oh! Do you sting where it is? <laughs> You've got 15 seconds, but it's bloody dangerous. Big one coming. Get back! Oh my god! Oh shit! Full Sierra one now! Um, we had an accident to get here as quick as possible. Over. Men and women have been marooned for nearly three weeks and starved for most of that time. I've gone absolutely loopy. The brutal conditions saw a third islander quit. It really pisses me off. The remaining 14 pushed themselves to the limit to find food. I've no idea where Rob is. We've got a medical situation here. Their efforts paid off when they caught a shark. Fish! I don't think I've ever been so happy in my entire life. But ever since, the sea has failed to provide anything substantial. I ain't seen a fish. It's meant to be the tropics, isn't it? There's no fish. The swimmers just, just come back and they haven't brought any fish again. I'm so hungry. I am, actually. With nothing to eat in camp, Erica's been scavenging the beaches for food. Can't imagine how very, very, very bad I feel about this. There's a tiny little bird who was dying, and it's maybe a mouthful, but I'm hungry. And this chap, I'm just going to cut his head off. This. <laughs> I mustn't be a hypocrite. We're all hypocrites because we eat meat from a packet. This is real. So I'm going to try and dispatch this very beautiful little bird as quickly as possible. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have I cut it off? I would have done that for you, Erica. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I've just killed my very first <laughs> bird. Well, well done. I feel like crying all the time. This is desperate. It's hard. We really are being eaten from the inside out. Tiny little bird. Be all bones by the time we get it on the grill, but mouthful of protein on an island that's not giving us very much. <whistles> Ooh, it's key, it squeaks. <whistles> the group starvation is now causing physical decline. I can't remember the last time I felt this week. I don't feel I can do anything at the moment. I struggle to tie my own shoelaces. Um, and I literally just look at my body and it's withering away and it's horrible. I'm, I'm like a, literally like a skeleton with flesh on. Nothing to me at all. We're not eating anywhere near enough. We're eating maybe 
between 50 and 300 calories a day and we need two and a half thousand so uh, that's that's why we've lost so much weight anybody want to chew a bit of bone i'll chew i'll gnaw on a bone if i may darling no, my word that is that is small alice do you want to chew a bit of wing thank you The poultry diet is also causing wardrobe malfunctions. Can I just say that um, my bottom's out a lot because my, tr my, my bikini bottoms are too big for me now because I've lost so much weight. And that's why I'm wearing them at my bottom. It's not for any other reason. I'm honestly not being a bit of a whore. <laughs> Maybe. OK. I'm quite a driven person. I think if you don't challenge yourself, life's boring. I like to work hard. I also like to party hard. I'm single. I've dated quite a lot of people, but none of them want to make me their girlfriend. I just don't understand why. Um, I'm quite loud and quite out there. And so if you don't know me, that maybe could be mistaken as arrogant, but it definitely isn't. Yeah. So, hey. Singles. The men and women were unaware of each other when they were first marooned. When I saw the females, I was so happy for some reason. Just, Why do you think you are? I don't know. Just to see another group of people and, and it be girls and have different dimension and different way of thinking just made it so much more interesting. And I, was I was so, so happy. I was like, are you kidding and me? especially to meet a group of girls like but you. But it's quite nice to have, like, I don't know, it's quite nice to have a little flirt and stuff as well. Like. Oh, yeah. Love a good flirt. I'm really starting to get along with Sarah. I, li I like her a lot. We, we, we sort of sleep next to each other and chat a bit at night, keep each other warm. She's, she's a lovely girl. I love becoming unbelievably close to a girl. The sex is nice, but the chase is the nicest part. Yeah, 100%. Patrick is like my buddy in crime. Like, every time I look at Patrick, I feel like I'm being so naughty. So I want to share this experience with him. Uh, <laughs> so good. You got some. Oh yeah. My no, God. you definitely got some. Um, no, you got some. Some. I'm just trying to find it because there is so definitely a knot in there. <sighs> right. That's Let's roll, baby girl. Ghastly little island. Sorry to say. I don't recommend this to anybody, quite honestly. Unless you've got something to prove. I don't know what I was thinking of. Fed up, really. Fed up, fed up, fed up and hungry. Last night, Erica was kept awake by the smell of rotting shark guts, which the camp are still using for bait. If I see that bucket, it's still got that offal in it, I don't know where I'm going to put it, I'll tell you. Why don't I'm you throw it away, it. then, Erica? Because, Tilly, people keep telling me they want we it. We all ate it. Otherwise, I would have thrown it away. Don't get monkey with me. You just started the monkey, wrong. Tilly. You're sitting there effing and blinding over nothing. Don't treat me like a piece of shit, Tilly. She doesn't mean to. You know she doesn't. Oh, she's quite self-righteous. I've seen it before. She's a little sweetie, but she's got forked tongues. It's often when stress levels are high, that's when the social graces fall away and tempers fray. But when the margins of survival are so fine, their lives really will depend on keeping focused and keeping positive. I'm not going to apologise. Really nice She's obviously stressed out. Pigs croquettes. I don't like arguing, I'm sorry. Come on. No, come on. No, leave me alone. I'm fed up. I'm fucking fed up. Right, so I am known for losing my temper. And I think I've done amazing not fucking losing it the entire time that I've been here. Three and a half weeks, or however long I've been here for, I've managed to keep my cool. Now, this woman here is throwing her fucking weight around like no man's business. I don't understand. But you're acting like a fucking child. Do we have to be candy floss all the time? Hi, how are you? Everything all right? Good. No, I love you, love you. No, that's not real. Sometimes we have to get pissed off and show our true feelings every now and then here. She's 
Stingray! Yeah, Stingray! Yes, Pia, quick. A potential meal is spotted from the beach. Two Stingrays. Get in the water way further down. And pin it to the ground. There's one to your left, Dan, there's one to your left. All right. Bloody strong bit the barbs. Gonna put a bit more grunt into it. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Ah. I keep on going fishing. And the fish are so cunning here, well, all over the world, frankly. And I haven't got anything yet. Dr Dan is keen to be a provider for the group. So it's pretty embarrassing. I'm a fisherman and I've got nothing whatsoever. I am headstrong, I'm very competitive. But I haven't stamped my mark on anything per se. Oh, God, I'm feeling bloody tired now. Absolutely shattered. <laughs> ah! Fucking duck. Oh, getting the bejesus out of me. There's a baby heron. Horrible night's sleep. Me and Sarah were chowing down together. Kept each other going. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me to be like, let's spin in with the guy with the six pack on the island. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that was very convenient, wasn't it? He has got so much body warmth, I swear to God. He's yeah. like radiating. I was like, yeah. Jesus. You're one hot guy. I want to prove that our generation can do this sort of thing, and I think I'm the right person to prove that. I haven't been out of Europe in my whole life, so this will be the hardest thing I've ever done. Maybe I'm going to be seen as the young, pretty boy who's not going to do very well. Um, but see what I made of before you make that judgment. Where the fudge are they? Patrick and Sarah are hunting for the island's elusive hermit crabs. It's weird, when you don't look for them, they're always crawling around. I know. And then when you, when you actually try and look, not a single one. Where the hell are they? They all lock up into their shells, don't they? Yeah. And they hear the big dog come in. Oh. I can't wait to be full again. I think there's so much food in this island, like, that we haven't basically tapped up yet. What are we going to do? There's none here. We need to find some. It's like landing in a horror movie. Waste of time. Erica spent the morning fruitlessly searching for yucca. Just walked fucking miles. I'm very, very thirsty. Right. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> In camp, they've run out of boiled drinking water. Could have had it half boiled hours ago. We're thirsty, there's no water, and there are 13 of us here waiting for water. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. That fire has been oh. burning wood all morning. Lovely flames, lots of heat, no water on it. So I'm frustrated, simple. Oh, Erica, stop being so righteous, it's so exhausting. Yeah. I'm just thirsty, OK? Erica. And I'm just Everybody's trying... thirsty. There's no wood. That wood there, The thing I is, collected. though, Erica, that we've there, been I out collected. and we've all got wood. Do you so know what I mean? Why, it's not like you're so the why only wasn't one there that's any doing wood it. Because it's obviously been fucking burnt, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We're all in the same situation here. You're throwing your toys out the pram. I don't know what you're yeah, trying but, to achieve. But we all do things in a different way. Yeah, OK, but do you not yeah. think that it's having a negative effect on the group? But it's, it's like your comment, Tilly, when I said I'm, I had to sleep with that offal in my nose. It was disgusting then smell. Then you should have moved it. I mean, we're all tired, we're all hungry, I know we're all that, thirsty. Tilly. But if... Yeah, if... you want to throw a fucking paddy? That offal has been there for three days. I'm rotting. fully aware that it's been there for three days, because I've been smelling it for three fucking days. Yeah. Aren't you a bit upset that it's been there for three days? I'm not that bothered, because I'd rather use it as bait to find another animal to eat. So would I. Well, then. So then I don't know what you've just kicked up this whole thing for. Shit, you think we're not fucking being here the same amount of time? I'm not doing anything else. That's it. Right, Tills. I'm sorry about that. Don't be silly. Don't I'm be sorry. silly. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Come on. We're starving to death on an island here. Uh, so, uh, 
I think you're allowed to lose your temper. Look, Claire. What can you make me do that? Put this back in the sea, shall we? Shall we put this back in the sea? Erica starts throwing away some of the group's firewood. She's lost her mind. Don't put this back in the sea. It's just bizarre. What is going on? She's now going to push some wood in the sea. She dragged it about a foot from where it got washed up last night, so I guess she deems it as hers. Erica's just gone mad for some reason. I don't know what it is. She's, like... Picking up on everything. Picking up everything. T to be honest, like, for the oldest woman in the group, she's, like, acting the most like a child, and it's just, like, can't really be arsed with it, to be honest. It's pathetic. At least I'm honest. I I'll speak my off, mind. Erica. You, you guys You're doing all my just fucking head in today. Behind Tilly, each other's Tilly, backs. Tilly, come here. Oh, my on. God. Tilt, tilt, tilt. I mean, look. Look at this fucking boy, his skin and fucking bone. Going on like you're hey. the only one that hasn't fucking eaten. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's good for you. Oh, Tilly. piss off, love. Tilly, 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 don't rise. Tilly, 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 come on, come on. The group is just falling apart. If we carry on with no proper food, the, the group is going to start to fragment and start to split. Can we have a meeting, do you think? Do you mind if I chair, chair the meeting, guys? No, good idea, Dan. Yeah. Good idea. With nothing to eat and conflict in the group, Dan calls a crisis meeting. Should we get Erica back in? Just, like, yeah. dis group disruption, courtesy of Erica. Yeah. Erica, recently she's been ostracising herself from the group. She's argumentative, rubbing people up the wrong way. The last thing we want is a fractured group. Erica, call for Miss Rowe. No, just leave her. She wants to carry on about her business at her. Guys, should we just get this done? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Oi. Um, Dan wants to address the lack of food. I think the past few days, I for everybody, everybody, have been hard. I would like to do an expedition into the island and go off for two or three days. To look for food, hopefully yucca, and very, very hopefully, some meat of some sort. Survival skills, well, in my head, in my head, I'm great. I do see myself as a leader. When there's a trauma call downstairs in recess, if no one takes control, it starts to become chaotic. I'm very, very driven because that's my... I think that's my, that's my nature. We're in no way taking enough food in whatsoever. So I think we need to see if there's anything else out there. It's a massive island. Massive. This whole experience could be a lot more enjoyable if we could fucking eat. I've ensured the island has enough indigenous animals and vegetation to keep the group alive. So far, they've mainly searched for food near their camp. Dan wants to lead a breakaway group across the island to see if there's more elsewhere. If we don't try, we curl up and die, and we, we basically we're defeated. And I don't want to be defeated by this place. What's that sound? And it doesn't take much, but if we all did that... Yes. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Behind, behind, behind. Remarkably, one of the island's wild turkeys has wandered straight into their camp. Machete. OK, one team, one dream. What we're going to do is we're going to talk this turkey in now. Fuck. It's there, behind me. Just fucking smack it with a stick. Oh, my gosh. What did you describe it by the neck, yeah? The group can't afford to waste this opportunity, but these birds are highly agile. Block him, Shaney. Shaney, block him. Grab his neck. Grab his neck. Oh, oh God. Grab his neck. Grab his neck. Oh, come on, fall on it, rugby tackle. <laughs> grab it, grab it. <laughs> Shoot him. Don't give up, Tills. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Stay there. You can let your weight. Walsey. Brilliant. It's on, I think it's on one of these. It's hiding. It's right in front of me. Look where it is. What well, do you shame. need to grab his neck, yeah? Bring it no, stand, stand on it. it. Oh, stand on it, stand on his head. Wait, stand on it, stand yeah. on his head. And lift his body yes. up. Oh, yeah, that's it, good. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Yes! yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, this one, guys. Have we got a turkey? It's unbelievable how 
much you don't care about yeah. its life when you're yeah. this hungry here. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. That was like well massive done. team effort right there. Well <laughs> Excellent. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done. I've never sort of had an encounter with an animal before that wasn't my pet. And there I am ripping its head off, which is absolutely crazy. Erica, do you want to pluck it? Wow. No, I'm not doing it. Somebody else can fucking pluck it. Farmer Erica is the only one with prior experience in this field. Either of you ever plucked a turkey before then? Never plucked anything in my life. Apart from my bikini line. <laughs> I think you have to pull off that way. I don't know how Erica made it look really easy. She's clearly the best person to pluck and gut the bird. So take the time and show someone else to do it. I'm too old to care what people think of me. If I'm out of the group, so be it. I don't care. Paz, how are you feeling about eating this turkey that you killed earlier? I'm so excited. Oh, my word, I'm so hungry. I'm getting every bit off of this. Just everyone just be as fair as you can. I tried to pick off as much meat as I could. Who likes the head, guys? Can you eat it? Paddy, you, you, you're constipated now. I don't really care, man. Patrick goes to extreme lengths not to waste a thing. Boy, boy. You just eating bone there, Pads. You don't want to eat that. Why? They're really, really sharp and dangerous. But if, if you like eating a bit of wood, it'll do nothing. Don't eat it, Paddy. Oh, God, yeah, it's like wood. Your skin with feathers on, is that all right? No. No? No. What would you think? Would you like yeah. would you like skin with feathers? Well, isn't it? I might find some brain. Oh. Man, that eyeball just exploded yeah, in my mouth. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> just passed a stool. He's had blood all over his hands, blood all over the leaves. I'm not on about just, like, a little bit of blood. I'm on about quite a lot of fucking blood. Really? Patrick is suffering the consequences of last night's meal. His finger's covered up to there. Shit. He's dripping off his stool. It's not good at all, that. You need to stop eating so many bones and stuff as well. That's really not going to help. Was it at the end of the poo that it all came out or mixed in? All over each bit. Yeah. And, and then halfway through started dripping. OK. Right. I have to tell Dr. Dan. Ah, it was so painful. I can't describe it. I'm so scared for the next time I have to go because I don't think my bum hole can take anymore. I can go fuck herself. Erica and Tilly still aren't speaking to each other. I think I'm staying out of this one. I've tried to apologise. What more do you want? Did she not take your apology? I'm like, leave me alone. I just want to be left by myself. OK, I'll leave you by yourself for the rest of the fucking time you're here. Don't so fucking get on the wrong side of me. Why doesn't Erica talk to her? The thing is, I think Tilly wants an apology, and I don't think Erica knows what she's apologising for. It's difficult when it's mm. that situation, isn't it? In any group, there are going to be divisions. But out here, you just got to fight to stop people becoming isolated. Because when that happens, people become very vulnerable. Eric is upset. I'm not surprised. <sighs> what do you think about it? I think she's struggling. Yeah. And I think if somebody's struggling, you don't fight fire with fire. No, but I also think that there's, there's ways to struggle and there's ways not to, and she's just been, she's going about it completely the wrong way. I just feel really sorry for her. She's a different age group from the rest of us. She's ostracizing herself yeah. in the group now. Yeah, yeah. This place is putting ridiculous stress on relationships. Erica is mad as a bag of bees, but she's got a heart of gold, and I... You know, it is none of my business, but I will be fighting to make sure that this family stays together in my head. That is what's happening. You're right, Paddy. 
so much pain. Oh, pads. What's up? It's your bum. Is it? Yeah. Pain. Where's the pain now, pads? It's in my bum. In your bum. So in your rectum. I'm so scared, like it's. Mate, 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 mate. The pain is so listen, 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 unreal. Listen, 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 dude. In your rectum, there's a whole complex of nerves, and when they stretch, it makes you feel horrendous. It really, really hurts, and some people faint. Don't worry, I'm here all the time, and I'll sort you out. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Paddy still need a poo. Basically, yeah. Uh, he's got quite heavy bleeding, I think. Has he? In the dark. He's bleeding from his bottom quite heavily. It's really excruciating. I don't know what it feels like giving birth, but um, uh, if it's worse than that, then it's bloody horrendous. No, right, Paul. Uh, you're in a lot of pain. Sometimes, yeah. Same, same place as before. You'll have to get your ass out for Dan. He's got some rubber gloves as well. <laughs> He'll stick his finger right in your ass. But maybe we should go um, go somewhere else, eh? Should we go over by Chris's bed? I honestly think it's so important to talk about all this. I'm so tired and emotionally broken yeah. with all this. I mean, I'm quite emotional anyway. Yeah. But any tiny thing just gets me tearful, mm. and that's why I turn my back. I'm embarrassed by how I'm being, you know, because the island is breaking my back. It's as if I've been put on the moon, actually. That's how I feel. I feel as if I've been projected off this universe where my family is. <laughs> Come on. Nearly done. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Oh. Fuck. I'm fucking annoyed I've done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have spoken to someone's mum like that. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> so, mission accomplished. After about 25, 30 minutes of agony, Blood, sweat, and tears. I pass still and I feel like a free man. It's amazing. Recent divisions in camp have upset both Tilly and Erica. Tilly, can we hug? Yes. I really hate hugging like that. Me too. <laughs> it's just a stressful situation. This brings out like all the shitty parts of us out. Do you know what I mean? Know. It's love loads of <laughs> I'm all snotty. <laughs> <laughs> Erica is absolutely mental. Like crazy. I think I'll probably be like that in a few years' time. I hope I am. I'd be very surprised if I, if I meet anyone in my life again like that woman. She's amazing. You can't expect to find food on your doorstep. I'm going to do this expedition tomorrow. I'm going to go off on a big recce up the island and go off for two or three days. With nothing left to eat and Patrick better, Dan wants to relaunch his expedition idea. Should we have a show of hands, then? He's looking for a small group to join him. So I'd say maybe. I'll sleep. I'm going to sleep on it. Love to come, mate. If I've got the energy tomorrow, I'll definitely do it. So there's five. Good. I'm very excited about the expedition. 
I'd like to do a proper uh, overnight, maybe two overnights, and there's bound to be more food. Cayman, pigs, turkeys, uh, iguana, um, and maybe better fishing. And well done, Erica, for doing a full meeting without walking off. Yeah. Oh, it's good to have you back, well, Erica. I'm a bit of a stop at your cart, thanks. Really? I didn't know. Nice. <laughs> I can bite. She actually bit. <laughs> she actually bit me. <laughs> I've been jabbed for her bizana. Yeah. Tomorrow, I feel like I might go on some adventures. I might rub my partner and crime Paddy into them too. Hmm. You're ripping knickers for a headband. Yeah. Victoria's Secret's gone. Sarah has decided to join the expedition, together with Patrick. How's your wheel set, mate? All pumped and ready to roll, ma'am. Along with three others, they'll be led by Dan. What's the plan? I suppose just, 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 just to explore, really. We might have to camp down, but hey, we're camping here, why can't we camp there? And we've done it for the past yeah. month, so hey, you know? I think that Dan is obviously kind of an alpha male in his day-to-day -day job. Like Dan Dundee. You know, he's kind of really desperate to be able to provide something big for this group and come back and have everyone cheering for him and congratulating him. It's a feeling like, you know, we all want, everyone wants that to kind of be, be needed and be, be accepted as part of the group. With the camp so malnourished, it's vital Dr Dan's expedition succeeds. You should go as soon as possible. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. You picked up that knife, good to go. Let's do it, shall we? Right, it's been it? emotional. Out. Let's find some yucca. Love you. Yeah. 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 Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your food. Enjoy. What's up, dude? <laughs> We're on a little adventure together. Yeah. How you doing? Good, are you excited about today? Sarah, I'm here for you, babe. With that cute little ass. <laughs> It'll be the last big push we have really because we're absolutely down on our on our on our food reserves yeah we're all extremely tired we've had a bad night everything's wet yeah but uh, I'm still excited about it because if we do find something bloody hell it'll be fantastic yeah the island is surrounded by rocks which are exposed at low tide Dan wants to travel across them as hacking through the jungle would be far slower but the group must move fast if they get trapped on the rocks when the tide comes in, they could be in serious danger. We need to push really far, so we should be halfway around as it hits low, low tide. Yeah. That gives us a long time to get round whilst it's still coming in. Guys, just from experience, yesterday these rocks were particularly slidey. Uh, yeah, we've very done it before. Can. It's quicker this way, but I think I'd rather go through the jungle. You thought we just fucked? Fucking hell. These are well slippery, these boots. Oh. Think about it as a big step. Ready? Ready. Hold on. One, two, three. Oh, nice one, mate. Oh, teamwork. Am I in your way here? Do you know what? I'm just happy to be done that way, if that's right. Sorry. Yeah, of course, that's fine. Whatever you're comfortable with. What's happened? Don't know what they're doing. It's like the tide's moving, whether we're stood still or not, guys. I know. Let's get a fucking move on. They haven't fallen over, have they? I don't think so. Although Sarah is sketchy as hell on these rocks. Oh, she, I don't know why she's come. So I'm having really slow, guys? No. Just take your time, man. OK. Don't know fucking injuries. We can't hang about, man. I know. There's ground to cover. And if it's her we're waiting for, it's like, Sarah, go back. Yeah, I think Dan's going to realise, if he wants to lead this trip, that he, a good leader is someone that realises that everyone's got different capabilities. Yeah. And I don't think he does realise that. I think he's a bit frustrated, to be honest. Yeah, it's not fair, though. Everyone wants to do it. Yeah. It should basically just be Dan's trip and no-one else should come. He should go by himself. Oh, uh, I better hand fire and see what's happened there. Shh. There she is. Oh, God. If it continues, I'm going to ask her to stay behind because I'm not being slowed down for that. Absolutely not. Guys, we, we can't really continue at that pace. The whole reason that we've come is to leg it around the rocks as fast as we Dan, can. Stop telling us, yes. What do you want us to do? Fucking run round? 
No, no, we need to go faster. Or was we chasing the tide, Rod? What do you mean going faster, Dan? We're going as fast as we can. Just because you're fucking amazing and you can run off and you've got grippy shoes. No, they're not grippy. I'm not, I'm not having a go. I'm just you saying. Are, Dan. How are we supposed to go fucking quicker? Can you. Sarah, give me a piggyback, Dan. Will that make us quicker? Can you oh, and Roz go together, you two, and then the, and the lads come with Sorry? me? It just doesn't work. Can we split living, up man. at all? No, no, we're going into group, man. Come on, let's stick together. I know, but it's speed, speed is of the essence. I know, we need to go and try and stick together as much as we can. He's being match man. He needs to chill out. Oh, wait, it just fucking annoys me, like. We suck. You don't tell me to speed up, the prick. Rock hopping might be a faster way to make it around the island, but actually it's a million times more risky. Uh, the tides change very quickly in this part of the Pacific, and if they're not careful, they could easily find themselves stranded, or worse still, swept away. We might have to turn around. What? What? Might have to turn around. Cut off. Why? The group reach a treacherous ravine. Oh, fucking hell. Incoming waves make this crossing extremely risky. I, I don't mind trying it. It's bloody, bloody dangerous. If you get hit by that, you're in trouble. Just got to time it. All part of the adventure, team. Go on, Dan. Climb quick. Nice one, Dan. Go now, go now. Go now? Yeah, right now, right now, right now. Really? Got there. Go, go, go now! <clears throat> you're OK, you're OK. You're OK, good man. How are you feeling about this, sir? I'll definitely give you a good try. This is really heavy with this camera. Yeah. Go on, boys. I can do it, but I just, I'm going to struggle with this. Big, big one coming. Right, step up. Look at it now. Big one! I'll get back! Okay. Get back! Ah. Oh, shit. Shit. It got really big on those waves. It's mental. Dan's expedition party is taking huge risks to cross to the south of the island. Oh, they can't go, mate. Fuck. We'll kill ourselves. That's really dangerous. Fuck. This, this is probably one of the um, sketchiest things we've done here, right? Mm. I don't know. It's so intimidating being here when the waves are this big. We just gotta wait till these big waves die down and then we can get across. Fuck, I'm scared. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The yeah. gnarly's gonna go. last forever. Go, go, go. I reckon, imagine, if, imagine if someone fell. Oh, no, I know. It, obviously, it'll be horrible. It'll um, be devastating. We'd have to jump in. Can you keep an eye out. Yeah. What, well, no, wait, wait, yeah, time is You're all right at the moment. Yeah. Right, go, right, yeah, now go. go. Okay, right. The little wave coming, don't worry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pass me the bag. Nice one. Uh, that scared me. That was scary. I felt like I came off a, a ride at Alton Towers. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Nice one, dude. With a long journey ahead, Dan's been criticising Ros and Sarah for being too slow. I didn't mean to push Rosie and the girls. I hope they're not annoyed with me. Don't you just stop doing shit like that, I reckon. What do you mean, gonna... shit? What have I done so no, far? No, no, just saying stuff like that because it will turn this expedition into something yeah, but I didn't want you don't want it to be. Because they're too slow. They just have so eager and keen to do it. Good pads. Yeah, man, I'm good. Roz? What? Rosie, apologies for saying that. No, it's all right. I'm sure no, it's snap, no. but I'm just like. Roz, I'm. F listen, I live on the coast of Devon. You're from London, and I, I, I realise and that. And these boots are slippery yeah, as fuck, and the sorry, sun's coming sorry. off. Sorry, sorry. And I, I'm pleased that you've come along, so. Uh... Awesome. Love you, Dan. Back in camp, there's signs of incoming bad weather. 
Yeah. Could wipe us out, like, you know. That could kill you, that, if it landed on you. The weather's picking up. It is not looking good. The wind is howling. And, uh... It's just you realise you're here in the elements and there's nothing to protect you. We're standing in swim shorts in a hut made of bamboo tied together with string. It's just really, really scary when the weather changes like that. Um, and we have no contact with the other group. It's going to be a bit difficult. Racing the tide. Dan's group is now confronted by a huge stretch of cliffs. Fucking hell. Walking across the fucking cliff here. How is it looking? It's a ledge this wide, but a drop. I'll, I'll have a look, because it's pointless going round if we're trapped. The girls have to be bloody careful. Just got across the ridge, which we've had to jump for. Now we're literally scaling the side of a cliff. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit sketchy, if you me, but... These cliffs may look like solid rock, but erosion has weathered the surface so badly that it crumbles away under pressure. A fall here would be so serious that the group are now taking unreasonable risks. Roz, three points of contact all the way. All right. Yeah. Just be careful. It's a bit of a drop. You went out looking for adventure. How's it going so far? Great, isn't it? We can scamper around there. But you guys have to be careful. They must get past the cliffs as fast as possible, because the incoming tide will rise far above their heads. We need to really get out of here, otherwise we're going to be in some trouble. Yeah, I know. We need to get up higher. We just have to go up and round. Cliffs are massive. It's a very steep edge. You think we can do it, Dan? Well, I can't see right round. We need to make a decision quickly, because the tide's on the turn and we need to get back. You can't. Jesus. I'll go, but I don't really want the girls to go. It's proper harsh, though, isn't it, round these rocks? Yeah, it is. I'm going to have to do a quick recce and see. Be careful, Dad. A little parkour runner. The shit we are doing. <laughs> Back near camp. The high winds have forced Erica and Alice to abandon an oyster hunt. I honestly think this experience will have psychologically changed me forever. <laughs> this is more hardcore than you could ever put into words. Dan and Ben are mad if they stay out there. He's going to chuck it down all night. Yeah. Oh, shit! What was that? Deadfall. The branches are just falling off the trees. We're yeah. absolutely sitting ducks, aren't yeah. we? Does the tide fill these coves completely? Yes. How long do we give Dan before we get worried? Dan's a ledge, he'll be fine. Dan is in his element. He's loving, like, standing at the front, like, taking the rain, like... <sighs> Right. Thank God. Finally, Dan sees an end to the cliffs. There we have it. Let's go. Woo! Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. Excellent. But there's still one dangerous ledge to cross. What are you saying, Dan? We have to be quick. Right, as we got the thumbs up. Right, let's bum it! Stay there, Roz. Yeah. And then just cut slightly in towards me, and then you see there's the little shelf that you can walk up. And you take my wrist when you need it, Roz, OK? Yeah. Make sure your feet are secure, yeah, Pat. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Super good, Roz. Whoa. That is slippery, man. Is it? Are you all right? Yeah. I think I'm going to be better. I'm going higher and over. OK. Rod, are you happy to do this? If you're not happy, don't yeah, do it. Yeah, it's too slippery for me down there, cos it's wet. 
There is nothing easy about that. There's rain, there's crashing waves, we've got lots of equipment, and the tide's coming in. Yes, Rosie. The boys are so good at helping them. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking yes, that right. is insane. Yes. Sick. Wow. It's How definitely better think? going higher yeah. because it's drier. And then just get your right in there. Just shit. Oh, oh, shit. Next time on the island. <laughs> the sea's too rough to get a boat in. We couldn't be on a, in a worse position. This adventure has turned to a, a trip from hell. How the fuck am I going to get around there? Paddy's f fallen off a cliff. Shit. <laughs> Making such stupid decisions. This is one of the worst days of my life. This unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. Who would size those waves? I've marooned 16 men and women on a deserted island. Like we're in a jungle. They're being stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back a few tools and basic fishing equipment. This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. As tropical storm season rages around them. This island bites. And when she bites, she mauls. No. Will they have what it takes to survive? Shit! Ah. Fill up. <laughs> shit! 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 <laughs> I hate it and this island sucks. Ah! Came out here looking for adventure. We were pretty much found it here. Shit! <laughs> the men and women have been on the island for nearly four weeks. We're literally starving. It's my body. It's withering away. Physically and mentally, they're at breaking point. I oh, speak oh, oh, my You guys all ready today. On, it's good for you. Close buddies Sarah and Patrick volunteered for a last ditch march for food. We're on an adventure together. Led by Dr. Dan. Wow. We need to go faster. We're going as fast as we can. So what do you want us to do? <laughs> run round. While struggling against vicious tides, an incoming storm, and treacherous terrain. Just be careful. Disaster struck. But you scared the oh, wow. Shit! Paddy! Paddy! Paddy's fallen off a cliff. Runs with back. Yeah, what? Elliot, I need you down here now. Get down here now. Move yeah. your hands for me. Yeah, Can you move your hands? Yeah, Lift your legs up for me. Over. Lift your legs for me. We're gonna. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Shit. Paddy, you're okay, mate. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're Trust okay. me. Okay. Please come out immediately. Immediately. We need to get him into the shore. With the tides rising, they have no choice but to move him. Listen, listen. Oh, you're alive. You're moving all four limbs. It's great. Okay? You are very, very lucky. All right? Paddy is now out of the water, off the rocks, and onto the beach safely. Very upset, saying he feels, feels a lot of pain in his legs. Stricken Patrick and the rest of the group are now down in a tiny cove. 
fuck's sake. CR1, CR1, do you copy over? Yeah, copy over. We are on a very, very rocky beach. Huge cliff, very little beach over. Within the hour, the cove will be completely underwater. We're waiting in position for you to come in, over. I wanted you guys to turn back earlier, but you didn't. It's happened, so we're going to have to deal with it. You OK, babe? You're fine. That was really high. <laughs> My rapid response safety team head for the island. Just stand by and keep in communication with us. Out. You feel me touching you there? Yeah. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Squeeze those fingers. Tight. Really tight. This place is unreal. It's unbelievable. Um, so shaken up moment. I think none of us really know what's going on. Um, we just need to get out of here soon. It's tight, it's coming in, it's getting cold. Um, this adventure has turned to a, a trip from hell. <laughs> At base camp, they're weathering the storm, unaware of the dangers Patrick and the others are in. I thought they'd be back by now. It's just so dangerous. He's desperate to stay out. He's out. Yeah. I just hope they're all right. There's, there's logs falling left, right and centre. We don't know when the next one's going to fall. We don't know when it's going to stop raining. If a massive tree comes on here, right, I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to do like that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him, Pads, they're coming. The stormy seas are too rough for the boat to get close. CR1, CR1, do you copy? Do you see us? Yeah, hello, Ben. We've got this one. You were just working out our approach. Over. What's going on? They, they, it's just really hard for them to get in here. The real issue we have right now is that this is the area the boat's trying to get through. Absolutely riddled with rocks. This is a really, really not a good place to be. I don't know how they're going to get in. How many people are in that cove? Over. Five in total, five in total, over. OK, yeah, roger that. With no other option, the rescue team have to swim ashore. Here he comes, here he comes. It's so dangerous. Yeah. Have you caught on the rock? It's very risky for them to come in like that. Look at the sea. There's just, like, savage rocks. No, it's crazy. And if this way is easier, no rocks. Oh. Look at this gap here. Where were you and what did you do? Do you want to tell him, Dan? I'll tell you, mate. On that ridge just there. Yeah. Slipped, fell. Vertically, yeah. did not bang his head, but obviously extremely pale, nearly blacked out. Well, that's pretty, uh, pretty ropey. That was quite, quite nervous coming in and swimming in there. Uh, I think we're going to get her out. Uh, I don't know at the moment. Can't get a boat close enough in it. All right. Okay, you right. Squeeze your hands. Squeeze your fingers. Squeeze them. I've not got X-ray eyes, but your spine. Where I'm pressed, if you'd done something, you would have screamed and shouted at me, OK? Yeah. Felt around your pelvis as well. That felt all intact and as it should do. OK? Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. Problem is, the sea's too rough to get a boat in. We, we couldn't be on a, in, in a, a worse position. Yeah, but at this stage... And not just be selfish, but what are we going to do? They're going to have to get us off as well. That's the problem, because the tide's now coming in. In terms of getting it out, we're a little bit stuck for options. Guys, 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 we've got two minutes to do this. Yeah. I want you to go with Adrian now. Patrick's staying here. We'll get him out. Those waves are getting on. I don't want you to get whipped off all of those rocks. Bye. This way, Annie. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Take it easy. Take it easy. Right. right, we've got to get out of here. The group have no choice but to leave Patrick with one of the rescue team. The other leads them back the way they came along the treacherous coastline. I'm all right, I'm all right. Just a little slip. With the sea this rough, my boat safety team won't be able to rescue anyone if they slip. Shit. Okay. The tide is coming in pretty quick. 
Utah. Pretty quick. Right there? Yep. Well Fucking done. hell. How the fuck am I going to get right there? This is the last push, but we've got to move I know. fast. And I'm trying it. This is literally insane. <laughs> Don't go behind us and rocks falling everywhere right now. It's fucking dangerous, Rosie, right? It's dangerous. Yes, Rosie. Yeah. Yeah. Chopping a tree down. Careful below! This goes bad to worse, isn't it? All right, guys, we're almost at the top here. Well done. Go. Mate, that is insane. Yeah. Well, definitely be a day I'll remember, man. Paddy hopefully has been rescued. We've managed to get around from the tides. Came for an adventure and we certainly got one. Gotta get out of here. It's fucking moving in. Shit. The rest of the expedition trapped in a cove with the tide rising had to scale sheer cliffs to reach safety. Was he all right? All these rocks I know. Well done. Oh, mate, that is insane. Dan, mate. Dan. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. He could have died then. Whose expedition was it? But it's not your fault. You can't be just blaming yourself about this. There's no point beating yourself up. It could have been me, you, or Ben that have stopped it. We should have stopped it. But that's the whole misjudgment with being hungry and tired, you know? Um, this way. Yeah. Oh, my God, what the fuck has happened? Somebody missing? Huh? Paddy's Paddy. missing. Paddy's missing. Yeah. What's happened? Is he okay? Paddy's fallen off a cliff. What? <laughs> he's all right. He's all right, but he's been medievaced out. <gasps> he uh, fell off a ledge yeah. about 20 it's foot. Fine. Shit. Yeah. He's okay. He's, he's all right. He's all right. He's talking, and he's been taken to hospital now for probably a CT and X-rays. But he's all right. <gasps> I think we're all just very, very, very shocked indeed because it, it could have gone the other way. I honestly just can't get that 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 him just falling off the rocks in my head. It's just literally playing off my mind. Um, I've seen a few things, if I'm honest, in my time, but that was really, really, really disturbing. You never think something like that is going to happen. Obviously, I feel responsible. It was my expedition. I should have been more forceful and said, everyone, stop. Let's go back. I just thought... That could have been any one of us, and, like, we're, we're making decisions. No. Because you know what it is now? We're playing with our lives, aren't we? Shane, are you OK? A couple of centimetres more. Head injury. Break your neck. Oh, my God. We are so vulnerable. Patrick is airlifted over 100 kilometres to the mainland for emergency treatment. We performed your CAT scan, OK? Yeah. Because it's a severe trauma, I'm going to check out everything, OK? Thank 
Thanks. Over. Cheers, Ben. The fantastic news is, after a full body CT scan, he's absolutely fine except for some bruising. A miraculous escape, and it could have been a fatality. Still, in retrospect, foolish. It could have been so bloody different. Each day on the island is a challenge, and it proves that. Obviously, yesterday with Patrick Farley, it's not a walking park, it's dangerous. It's us who's asked to be on the island. We wasn't made to come on the island. I really enjoyed the challenge. It's given me a new look on life, definitely. Here we have a near extinct species, the Manchester Chris, or Manchester, as he's known. Frequently seen on mornings, coastally. The species washes itself, primarily from the top down. Sometimes, even defecating in the water, sending what's described by Chris himself as a Manchester hammer. <laughs> Seems pretty pleased with himself today. These can grow up to six and a half feet tall, lived for about 100 years. Living the dream. <laughs> then when he got out, he looked like he was uh, some egg and chips man from Tenerife. It's brilliant. <laughs> Hat, glasses and a pair of pants, why not? Following Patrick's accident and the failure to find food, the islanders have eaten barely anything for three days. What the hell? Loads of them. Yesterday's storm has unexpectedly driven a shoal of fish into the islanders' bay. What the hell is going on? It's mental, isn't it? After seeing barely a fish in their whole time here, suddenly the camp is inundated. He's getting them and then they're getting away. <laughs> this is a magical thing that's happening. We are starving and fish are washing up on the shore. Yes, Tilly! Yeah. Hello, fishies. Have you ever seen this before? Never seen anything like this before, no. So weird, man. Listen, there's no point in rushing. They're not going anywhere yet. Right in the hand. Lizzie got breakfast! Dan's improvised the net to catch even more. I think the doctor's found a new vocation in life. A schoolboy's gone back to a massive playground. He yes. just goes, yes! Fish for everyone. I mean, yeah. it's mental. Want to give him a kiss? That's a big load of fish. That was, that was a gift. Brilliant. That was a gift from Paddy. Paddy's on his knees paying for us. After witnessing Patrick's near fatal fall, this is an important chance for the islanders to move on. Because however bad your situation is, you can't wallow in negativity. You know, survival is about dogged determination and never giving up. Fish finger. <laughs> hey, no. well, after what happened to Paddy, Mother Nature throws us a lifeline. Not only that, but we came together as a group. That is fabuloso. Oh, God, I hate killing you. I'm sorry. I literally just got squirted both fish guts in my face. Hey, it's the only thing you've been squirted oh, in the face Oh, Alice. Lower the tone. Chef Elliot can, for once, serve up a respectable breakfast. Oh, my God! Oh, Elliot. <laughs> Never had, like, a whole fish to ourselves. <laughs> the most important meal of the day is well breakfast, isn't it? So, um, yeah, proper happy about that. It's amazing. What do you think, Chris? Very nice. Yeah. Right, guys, I dedicate these fish to our really good friend, Paddy. Cheers to Paddy. To Paddy! This island can be absolute hell on earth, and then literally within the flick of a switch, it's incredible havens. I love that about this place. It shows how wild and rugged it is, you know? This is true surviving. Next morning brings a stark reminder of their plight. We've been up for about seven hours now, nursing a partner in the pouring wet, freezing cold. But 
whole camp is absolutely fucking grim. All the energy we've got from the fish test today has just been completely zapped by the lack of sleep. Yeah, it's raining. It's wind there, there's no food, but I suppose this island is like a scorpion. Beautiful, but a sting in the tail. Tilly's determined to raise camp morale. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm in actually really good mood. I don't really know why, because it's pissing down the rain. I'm soaking wet, the day sparked, but I'm just having little thoughts in my head and I'm happy. Despite the miraculous fish catch, the group move constantly from feast to famine. And we cannot be the ones that just sit here and just plod on. We need food. I've ensured the island does have enough indigenous animals and vegetation to keep them alive. They just have to find it, catch it, and kill it. I feel dizzy, weak, nauseous. My stomach is hurting like hell from the inside out. It hurts, literally beginning to hurt. Hmm? I'll give that a touch. Nice, that's real nice, yeah. That's that good. has turkey's head written all over it. The group have seen wild turkeys on the island, and the men are keen to try and hunt them down. It's just going out to be a <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Since arriving, the men have dominated most of the hunting, but have usually returned empty-handed. The boys like doing the ego stuff, don't they? They like doing the macho things. I like the way that the dynamics are different with it when you have boys and girls together. Variety is the spouse of life. It's like a mixed biryani. If there is a turkey, I'll strangle it. Strangled a cow before. There's so many books about being deserted on a desert island, and they're always romanticised. It's like Robinson Crusoe, Lord of the Flies, and it's like, wow, I have the opportunity to do that. I've grown up in Devon. I have killed rabbits, pigeons, pheasants, partridge. I'll be gutted if I find out that I'm gathering limpets and berries for the boys. I think I am 100% man enough to do it. Come on, the sugar tits. So I'm feeling really positive. I want to keep going. I want to catch something so bad. Do you like being in the jungle? Yeah, I can love it. Well, it puts hair on your chest, doesn't it? Yeah. Men so often can be cocky. You know, they presume that they're going to be the best at hunting. And they tend to think that being a hero means coming back with that glory kill. We are going to eat half straight away, aren't we? Well, I think we should eat as much until we're full, really. I agree. The boys do take the lead, and we do let them. They are predominantly going at hunting. And I don't know why that is, like... They haven't got any more experience than us. None of us are, like, expert. But they, they are generally always at the forefront of it. That's a little bastard turkey. That's, that's what I heard. Yeah. There are clear signs of prey nearby. I've never yeah, been so, so happy to find poo before. That is smell fresh. It. Smell it and taste it. Our mentality is, go on, boys, we'll put all the effort in, we'll catch one pig and that'll last us a week because we want, like, that trophy hunt. I just feel that there's too many mouths to feed. I know what you mean. I... Shh. What's that? It feels so sketchy down here. Come here. Look straight ahead. Near the water's edge. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, big lizard. Oh, shit myself, mate. It's gone. Ah, fuck this. <laughs> It's like a really shit Disney movie, isn't it? <laughs> Two girls, one log. <laughs> that sounds like a pool now. Yeah. Is that? that is! Two girls, one log. Everybody's like, oh! 28-year-old Tilly has found herself mainly doing the camp chores since arriving. We've just had a really nice little tidy up in the camp. All the clothes, floor's nice and clean. 
joint effort, dust pan and brush here. All your mod cons that you need on the island. Um, the boys are in work. We've gone back to the 1940s. I've got to admit, it's pretty funny that man hunt, woman clean. <laughs> this is what it's like, survival. <laughs> I am a barmaid, a bar supervisor. I really like it there. I'd love one day to have my own pub. That's like my dream dream. I live with my mum. It's just so expensive to move out. I share a room with my older sister. All I have is this bed in the corner and a Jason stay from cut out. It's, it's not ideal, but it's my little room. I think when you are 18, you look, oh, what's, what's my life going to be in 10 years' time? It definitely wasn't this. If I was in the pub right now, going to, so I'm going, you missed a bit there. I don't go out hunting. I don't know anything about fishing. I don't really feel like I have much of a place. So I just plod along and do what people tell me to do, basically. Tilly Billy, I'm going to film the heroes coming back. My tummy's beginning to hurt. I hope they get some here. The boys are back in town. They've got something. No. We've got a fuck all. It's official. We couldn't actually catch a cold. So annoying. Oh, yeah, there's turkeys on the island. Fucking great. How many wild turkeys have you ever brought in your life? Jesus. On the plus side, the girls will clean the camp today, and it looks fabuloso. After the men's failed hunt, the islanders are about to spend yet another night hungry. You know when you meet like a proper fit bloke, and he's just over six foot, nice dark hair, broad shoulders, good strong jawline, and just fit as. And then you get to know him and he turns out to be a complete prick. That's basically how I would describe this island. I think if the group had to stay on indefinitely, we would all die. Ah! I'm loving Chris's pose currently. It's time for Chris's morning ablutions. Does he just go to stay in the water? He's a little breath of normality, isn't he? Hi, babe. I literally just thought it was Daniel Craig. So I thought <laughs> I thought I'd better rush over and say hello. <laughs> I've definitely learned that in real nightmare situations, one of the most important qualities is cheerfulness in adversity, which just means an ability to smile through the hard times. And when it's difficult, you can laugh at yourself, laugh at the situation. I was thinking, should we uh, phone her up and ask him, can we stay on an extra month? <laughs> Chris, have you always been so lovely? Yes. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? Never gets down and never gets stressed, which is a perfect antidote when you're cold and hungry and just pissed off. I've been looking at these pictures and it just makes you really want to go home. I'm really, really missing them. I'll be with you soon, so don't worry. Elliot, tell me what your plans are for today. Go out, get the hook in the water. It's a good time to fish. Bueno. Bye, mate. Good luck. See you in a bit, boys. See you in a bit. Keep it real like Ian Beale, yeah? Always. With nothing for breakfast, Elliot's determined to do anything to feed everyone. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! yes! Nice one, Elliot. Here we go. Whoa! 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 He's got a fish. He's only got a bit of fish. No. No, 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 no. I don't know what kind of fish it is. Is that a puffer fish? If it is a puffer fish, it's poisonous. Oh, oh, it is a puffer fish. Is it? Yeah, look at the size of it. Fuck! Oh, look. It's a puffer fish. Ooh. Yeah, you yeah, can't eat it. Right. Don't bring a puffer fish here if it's not edible. Kills you between 17 minutes and three hours. Way more dangerous than cyanide. Fishing is starting to get on my tits. It's a patience game. We'll maybe catch, like, one in a hundred. If we stop, it will be completely fruitless. Whereas if we carry on, we should be able to catch something. Let's get it back in. While Elliot tries his luck again, Tilly and the women are back doing the daily chores in camp. Same old shit, different day, tidy up, get fireworks. I think, like, when the men came, 
Yeah, they probably did take over. That's just what men do, though, isn't it? Like, they like to be a little bit chauvinistic sometimes. Tells you want to get a fire going. Oh, it's piercing smoke in my face. Get out of the smoke and go Should and I give put yourself... that back over there? Just leave it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but now I need to make that fire again. That one's coming. Now just get some breath. Erica's been helping Tilly get to grips with the art of survival. Talk to me, Tills. Piss off, please. We're struggling with the fire. Tilly's getting upset with herself. Tills, it sounds like you're doing a great I'm job, not, mate. Sorry, I'm doing an absolute wank job. I can't even make a fucking fire. I just feel like I'm useless here. She's not useless. She's just bashing herself up. I don't know why. She's feel completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just seems to be good at something you like, and I just sort of seem to be in a fucking broom in my hand. Do you know what I mean? Me like too. Like Me too. Because I'm like, way to be a cleaner. yeah, but it's... I can stay at home for that. Do you know what I mean? And saved on bikes. Oh, I just want to do myself proud. Yeah. Yeah, and I really, really don't want to fail. Do you know what I mean? Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. Grown up in like two entirely different environments. Me and little farm. Her, a London girl through and through. Fiery at times is a barmaid and wants to be, like, a landlady and she would be the ultimate Peggy Mitchell. Why don't you get Erica to teach you how to make a practice today? Cos I'll be shit at that as well. Shut up. You don't know until you try. And to be honest, Tills, how many people have gone out fishing? Yeah. How many fish they caught? Okay. One, so and it was fucking poisonous. Have some fish? Yeah, loads. I just um, left them out there. Next time. Right, is everyone ready? Yeah. What's happening now? Tilly's plucked up the courage to tell the group about her dream. She wants to hunt down a big kill. Right, I think we need a team out today. Me, Erica and Zoe are going out hunting and setting traps. Sorry, sorry, who is hunting? Ben and I. I'll go and do the traps and get it out to yeah. there. Why don't one, two, three, one, two, three go? I don't think we need that many. We don't need six out. No. I think it's only worth four people, therefore we've got an excess of two. Whoever that excess are should stay here. It'd be more beneficial to have people try and get shit cleared because there's a lot of us living in quite a small space. Now I'm going to do it anyway. What will happen if you... OK, you see it approach the trap? We'll probably do the same as what you would do if you saw the trap, yeah, no. Close call to combat with the turkey. Oh, yeah. So Tilly's just going to be waiting around the jungle and we're going to... Well, we're going hunting today, as well, yeah. we're not just waiting around for a turkey, but, yeah. Just to clarify. I'm furious. Like, what are you going to do when you find a turkey? I'm going to fucking kill it. What do you think I'm going to do? What do you think I'm less of a person than you because you're a man? Tilly has ventured deep into the jungle with Erica and Zoe. Is it a bubble? Yeah. To track down the elusive turkey. I think this is our stakeout area. Should we do a trap then, darling? Yeah. If I can do this, I've got it in my mind that I can do anything. I need to just, like, bite the bullet and do it. We've got to find a hard one. These are all soft, floppy, you know, like a useless man. <laughs> soft and floppy, like a useless man. <laughs> Ever calm. Hmm? When I said that, and they were like, mm, it made me sound no, like I thought it was, it was quite, I thought it was quite a good idea. I think the boys think that we're incapable a little bit. Eric has been an absolute babe today, has looked after me. It's got to be hooked over so that it stays in one place. You know, they're all virile 30-odd-year-olds, and they feel that they saved us. Yeah, I think that. I agree completely. I feel like they just come in and take over. Has it stayed? Yeah. Woo! It's like an extreme version of Blue Peter, isn't it, this? Tomorrow, I really, really hope we find something. I hope it's one of the girls. It would be nice if we could be like, yeah, fuck you. How much do you actually know about Chris and, like, what he does? Right. Tell me now, is this that secret millionaire and we just don't know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? What's your colourful past? You've been in prison, haven't you? Hey, less of that kind of fucking talk. You have been in prison, haven't you? What were you yeah. in for? He's Was it been nice. for being too nice? Oh. <laughs> no, robberies. Robbery. Really? Yeah. yeah. No young, shit. Young and foolish, isn't it? Hey, I'd only married six weeks. Wow. Six of those nuts. Yeah. What, did you rob a house? Or no, no, yeah. banks and stuff like that. Banks? No way. Yeah. 1985, got done for attempted robbery. 
and uh, got six and a half years in prison. Prison taught me bad times, good times. Either way, you, you survive. Life's for living. Comparing kind of your time in prison to here, what, you know... Prison on a one to ten was a three or a four. Yeah. This is beyond ten. So if you had to choose to do four years here or four years back in the Nick, what would you choose? The Nick. Really? Yeah. <gasps> that fucking lizard. Gentlemen, we have a bit of meat. I think we should cook him till he's chewy. Desperate times equals... Killing baby lizards. Who's going to try and eat one little tiny bit of this lizard? But I think most of the middle part is just gut, quite honestly. For now, Erica's the only person to bring food to the table. A four-inch lizard. You like the Delia Smith of survival. <laughs> the Delia Smith of survival. Front claw. Chew them. Oh. Just chuck it all in your mouth. Do you know what? That actually tastes really good. Yeah. The back leg, so that the best bit, probably. I've never looked at a lizard as food. Does it was a tiny... T just a rem reminder, wasn't it, of yeah. what meat tastes yeah, like. Let's have a lizard. Oh, lizard. I'm going to whack anything. But these, yeah. like, sandwiches have... Ooh. Smells so nice. Are they clean? Mm. Oh my god, they're clean. They smell How nice. Oh, nice. oh my god, they're amazing. Did you ever think they'd yeah. smell yeah. tampons? Yeah. Like so and these so as well. Let's smell them. With little food to eat, the islanders find sensual gratification elsewhere. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a panty lining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. Fire is quite an accurate reflection of us right now, isn't it? It's got all the components it needs. It's just something not quite right. At the moment, we are so far from thriving. We are on the brink of surviving. I came out here wanting to achieve more than anyone has before, but it's just so incredibly hard. We need some carbs. Ideally, to find a massive root of yucca would be super. That would give us all a boost. Concerned by the lack of food in camp, Dr Dan is proposing another expedition to the south of the island. To be honest with you, I don't want slackers to come because people that go will have to go at our pace yeah. or they'll be left behind. Food. You can't sit here and just wait for the food to come to us. So I want to go and do another expedition for a day and a night. No way. We're just, like, risking, like, our safety. Like, it's madness, really. Yeah, What's the point? Saying. I'm not asking whether you whether you approve of it. I'm saying, do you, do you, do you want to go? I think you really should, like, re-evaluate that. To avoid the dangerous rocks where Patrick fell, this time, Dan wants to head straight through the dense jungle. Can I ask, hands up, if you are interested in going? I really do want to push on and find some food. I feel like we can find it. Today. As long as we go now, everyone's procrastinating. It's driving me crazy. It's turkey, yucca. Anything. Anything, really. See you later, gang. Be safe, man. Cheers, Dylan. Back into the jungle they went. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing what they may find. Dr. Dan and the boys head off. Trekking through the jungle is probably safer than working your way along that difficult, rocky coastline. But when you've got limited water and you factor in the potential of getting lost, then you've got serious problems. Feel the burn. Oh, I didn't sign up for this. I know. Three hours in, and the thick jungle is proving impenetrable. Ah! Shit! I've slashed my leg open. Fuck! Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's deep. Ah! Oh. oh, fucking hell. That could have been your archery. Oh, bloody brilliant! I know. I've got to stitch it. Really? Shit, OK. In these humid conditions, this deep cut could quickly turn septic. I can't leave it open. I can't tra traipse for four hours through the jungle with all the midges, flies, uh, insects. By the time I got home, it, it would be infected. It would appear that the hunt always has a slight curse to it. We haven't made it injury-free yet. 
but Dan's going to stitch himself back together. And I'm going to be here with Han for him to squeeze. <laughs> that is crazy. You like Rambo just stitching himself up in the field. Yeah, but I've got local anaesthetic and uh, yeah, Rambo didn't. And a sterile pack. <laughs> Feeling all right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah. He's just given himself like three bottles of liquid morphine. Of course, he's feeling. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. You really do want to push on and find some food. Otherwise, that is a lot of calories and energy to have burned for nothing. These are my sleeping knickers. They're Dad's knickers. Get the I didn't know they were that big. They are massive. Well, what we could do if we built a raft, we've got no uh, yeah. spinner. We've got a sail, yeah. so high with these. Tilly and camerawoman Zoe are heading out to check the traps they set with Erica. Well, I'll see you all later. Bob, don't forget to clean my knickers, please. <laughs> But hopefully, it's a big fat turkey in there. Oh. This is just the most ridiculous experience I've ever had in my life. I'm a city girl. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! What? Oh what? my what? god! There's a turkey in that fucking trap. <gasps> <gasps> Despite Dan's injury, Elliot and Dan are determined to push on as the whole camp are starving. Hadn't eaten enough to have enough energy to walk. My God. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, my God. Dan's made the sweetest of discoveries. What have you found up here? I found the garden of sugarcane. Amazing. Awesome. We walked into a sweet shop. So good. Oh, my God. Stick that in your mouth, Ben. That is absolutely delicious. This is amazing. We've just found the sugar cane field of dreams. And Elliot's found another lifesaver. Look at the size of that bad boy. Tons of yucca in here, man. Excellent. Yes. Would it not worth it? The island tried to beat us, but we've, we've come back and we've actually nailed it. Oh, bloody hell. We can be eaten like champions. Oh. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. I'll have to kill this. Yeah, you are. I'm scared. OK. So, deep breaths, deep breaths. Stop him, stop him, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Good girl. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Good girl. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Nora! I can't fucking believe that! That rages! That makes you... <laughs> murderer! <laughs> and right now, I feel like I can... Like I'm capable of fucking running for president or something, I don't know. I need to remember this feeling and remember that I killed a turkey and that I can fucking do anything. Oh, God. How we do it, the girls. Elliot is going to have a field day cooking this. I know. Is that how you carry a dead I turkey? I think so. I mean, I've never done it before. But... What's your bag? Uh, it's the island turkey, 2016. <laughs> Disrespectful, disrespectful, I'm sorry. <laughs> for her to have done that, I just know it will do so much for her, for her sense of self-worth, for her morale. <gasps> She's tiny, but mighty. I feel like a superwoman. I genuinely feel like a superwoman. The lads are back. You right, darling? How'd you get on? Yeah, all right. Not as well as we hoped. Don't worry about it. But then we did stumble across all this. Check it out. Oh, my God! That yeah. is Kane. It will rock oh, your so world. Much oh, my God, you lying bastard! Oh, 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 hi, Elliot. Oh, oh God! God. Bueno. Mm. You don't say anything, isn't it? It's brown sugar. It is actual brown sugar. How sick is that? It's incredible. It's so nice, isn't it? It's been something sweet after all this time. I am chuffed, man. Wow, I think she managed you, won't it? That is delicious. After nearly a month, 
the Islanders are tasting sugar for the first time. And it's going to give them this sudden hit of energy, sweetness, and strength. This stuff is like crack cocaine. Or what I imagine crack to be like. God, it's so delicious. It feels fabulous. God, it's sweet. I love the island. I love the island. Wow. But after consuming too much, comes the inevitable sugar crash. For the first time in weeks, I can feel my stomach actually doing something. Yes, what has she got? Did you wash my knickers? I haven't washed your pants yet. You can't have fucking dinner then, can ya? Oh, you are <laughs> kidding me. Is that a turkey? Yeah! Ah! What? what? Woo! Ah! You got that! Yeah! yeah. It. The ones that we sent, the things around yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you kill it? Shut yeah. Up. You killed it? Yeah, it's still alive. I just macheted his neck off. I was like, eh! I was pathetic. The oh, smallest yeah. girl in the group yeah. as she brings home the bacon. Oh, well yeah. done, Sarah. Well done. Yeah. Turkey dinner. We're the winner, turkey dinner. Yay! This is very weird, isn't it? This is just like Nando's right here and then. Cheeky Nando's. It falls to Chef Elliot to prepare a roast turkey dinner. The turkey's over, Elliot. I feel like a real fool for having doubted that it would work out at the start. But you know what? Tilly's been prolific setting traps and hunting. Overall, I'm so proud of her. There you are, Tilly. It's the first bit. That is proper juicy. First bit of turkey. That's lovely. Oh. So good. All us, I'm really happy that it was you, Tilly, that got that bird. Yeah. I'm really, oh, really happy you. with you. You have put graft in for all of the traps. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. Yeah. Like, daily life, yeah. I'm so fucking happy. It's so good, man. Before I come here, I didn't even know what foraging or foliage was. I'm more like fake tan and fur coat. Now I'm just like, going out hunting. What the fuck? Chris, have you got any trousers on there? No. He yeah. hasn't got any knickers on either. Yay! 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 So, you know in Peter Pan, when Peter Pan says to Wendy that one girl is worth ten boys? That's still, like, my favourite saying ever. Double thumbs, double thumbs! We do occasionally have a laugh here! <laughs> Bob, come here. Next time on the island. I feel hey. weird. We've made it our home, but we've been its bitch. Fuck, man, that's nasty. No, don't like it. I don't like it. I don't no like worries. this. For fuck's sake, this is getting too risky now. The island's pissed at us, guys. I would love one of my arrows to catch a fucking large Big Mac and cheese. It's dead. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Fuck me. It's dead. This unforgiving deserted island is about to become home to a group of ordinary Brits. This time, men and women will be fighting for their lives together. Shit. He would size those waves. I've marooned 16 men and women on a deserted island. Like, we're in a jungle. They'll be stranded alone for a month with only the clothes on their back and a few basic tools. Fuck us! This you look is like Jack Sparrow. Real. With the finish line in sight. This island bites. When she bites, she mauls. Will they have what it takes to reach the end? Shit! Ah! 
I'm fed up. I didn't come out here just to exist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Playing with our lives, aren't we? Oh! It's dead. Oh, oh. oh. me. It's dead. In their time on the island, the men and women have had sporadic victories. A big old shark! I don't think I've ever been so happy in my entire life. I found the garden of sugarcane. But every feast has been followed by famine. I'm so hungry, I had no idea it was going to be this hard. Many of the men are exhausted and simply not getting enough to eat. What we ate was a tiny little bit of food and have not got the nutrients we need. While the women, faring better on less food, are trying their best to revive them. Everyone is so miserable today, guys, aren't we? We are right. so down in the dumps. Right, let's do this. As time runs out, go, 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 go. can they master the island? Oh, it's just insanely difficult and disheartening. Or will it master them? This place is a bitch, it really is. This is what happens when you, uh... <clears throat> when you haven't eaten enough. And you can't. And we're going to to stand up. I'll show you my view. That's pretty much been my view for about five hours. That's when my eyes aren't shut and my eyes aren't spinning. My legs aren't jelly. One of the group's alpha males, Rob, is running on empty. Um... You just haven't been improved, have you, for the past few days, have you, frankly? I can feel my body is empty. He's exhausted. He's, he's, all his vital signs are normal, but he's just exhausted. The boys are, like, dropping like flies at the moment. They went so hard to begin with, like Elliot, Bob, Simon. And now they've just lost all the energy. You're right, dude. So exhausted, man. I've never felt so weak in all of my life. Never. How much have you lost, Rob? I've lost two stone. Concerned by the men's deterioration, the doctors gather everyone together to check their weight and health. I've lost 20 centimetres on my waist. I wonder I'm doing that. In, the wind. Yeah, I think so. in total, the group has lost almost 30 stone between them. You've lost overall 10 kilograms wow. and um, three inches. It's wow. crazy. Girls are really pleased with their weight loss, which um, obviously comes from our Western diet and culture. So, how much weight is that you've lost in total? How much seven total? kilos in total. That's like a stone, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! Right. Woo, that's <laughs> Some of the men have been drastically surprised by their physical inability to cope on the island, whereas girls' bodies, I think oestrogen is something magical. I think we're perhaps coping a little bit better physically. <sighs> wow. So we've got a champagne shiny, Tilly Martini, and Alice in Wonderland. Here New go. upcoming girl band. Fun day out. Let's go. Let's Try roll out. Ciao, guys. Bye. Ciao, guys. Bye. With some of the men too exhausted to leave camp, the women are heading out to search for food. Like, Rob's gone down. Any one of us could go down. Don't you think that the girls are still standing strong? We haven't collapsed yet, have we? I've ensured there's enough wildlife here to keep the islanders alive. But if they want to eat, they've got to find it, catch it, and kill it. Isn't it crazy that this is, like, the equivalent of your trip to Tesco's? Yeah. But, like, it's like, will the shop be open? Will there be anything in the shop? Will it be out of date? You know... I don't care if it's out of date. I don't care. I'd do it just to feel full. Whoa. My head's spinning. I like, I like, 
I went to I went to sit down, and I, and I nearly went on the floor. In camp, Simon is now feeling the strain. I feel okay. weird. Okay. I don't I don't know what it Comfort. is. The male physique has a disadvantage when it comes to starvation. The bigger you are, the more fuel you need. So with more muscle mass and fewer fat reserves, it's no surprise that men are suffering more at the moment than the women. Shit. Simon's just taken a massive turn for the worst. He's a strong, big lad, and this is not good. He's, he's in a pretty bad way. Some of the men are now close to failure. Gonna get those bloody oysters. Where do you want to start today? Well, I'd like to go right to the end where I frustratingly saw them before the sea starts coming in. Okay. Following Eric, it's gonna get me killed one of these days. Concerned about the men, Erica and Zoe are scavenging on the rocks. There's a lot of mouths to feed, and we're all weak, especially the guys. Rob, he's big and he's not getting any more than I'm getting, and he's twice my weight. What a beauty! I've watched big very capable men falling apart. Rob has collapsed twice. It's too hard. Are you tucking that in your bra? Oh, I say. <laughs> Limpet picking and snail picking. Alice, give us a wave. Alice, Alice, give us a wave. There's my girl. Snails are like really shit limpets, aren't they? I don't even feel like they make much of an effort to, like, save their life. No, they're not bothered, are they? They couldn't give a shit. We've managed to catch a few things, but actually, it's not like we can just coast, given that the cracks are beginning to show. Got to remember, God loves a sire. I'm not quitting. I won't quit in a million years. Despite his near collapse, Simon is determined to restore some male pride foraging along the rocks. I just want to crack on now and catch some of because that's what we desperately need. We need a big catch. There's literally fuck all on this beach, isn't there? Why didn't I just do Geordie Shaw? <laughs> all they do is go to the gym and go out on nights out. Why, Island? All right, let's try and build a tower then, like Blackpool, yeah? Oh. Oh. Uh, the last 15 years. I've been doing all the normal things that everyone does, but to do the biggest adventure you've ever done in your life, oh. building dens and, and going hunting and stuff, yeah. it's a chance to prove your manliness. Uh, fucking hell. Ah, uh, fucking fate cuts of ribbons. Oh, fuck, man, that's nasty. Fucking bastard. Stinging. No, Dr. Dan, what's the score? He's got infected laceration, the sole of his foot. Too painful to wash out, so I'm gonna have just a little, uh, uh, little prick. The danger of infection is so high out here, Dan has no choice but to sterilise Simon's cut. Sharp scratch, one, two, three. Sorry, mate. Ah. Is that too painful? Wow, what hurt that? One, two, three, gone. Stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Excellent, well done, that's it, done. Sorry about that, mate. Nice one, mate. Until his foot heals, Simon will now be stuck in camp. You all right, dude? No, I'm actually, but... Sure? Mate, then I've seen you like this. Today's been a bit of a shocker, if I'm honest. i uh, got to try and sort myself out medically and get myself into a position where I feel I can contribute again. You look fucking pissed off. I am. Is me asking loads of questions pissing you off more? Yeah. All right, OK. I'll leave you be, man. I will go this way, that way. Plumber Roz still has the energy to lead a foraging party inland. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Literally the only thing I like eating here still. I'm a plumber. On the island, hopefully, I'm going to be quite the hands-on person that will kind of get things done. <laughs> I've kind of struggled, really, with myself as a person for quite a long time. I had a massive issue about being gay. The main worry, really, was that I wasn't normal. So I'm glad I've kind of got to the age now where I'm a lot more of accepting of who I am. I suppose I am pretty mentally strong. I'm told I am, so it's quite handy, really. No, 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 no! Look, 
Look, come here right fucking now. There is limes in this tree. Is that lime? Fucking limes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, can you see them? Yeah. Can you see them? Pull that down, I'm gonna whack it. God, I'm so excited. Yeah. One foot, one foot, look, 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 look. Just have a look. Oh my god! Oh my god, smell them. Smell them. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a fucking Lenore advert. Oh my god. It's really acid, eh? Mmm. I like it. It's so nice to have a different flavour in your fucking mouth. Camp is going to be very, very happy with this. Let it see me! A familiar taste of home is a huge morale boost. Although lime's nutritional value is very limited. Alice, like the cripple smell. Oh man. Oh, I can walk again. I can walk again. I can't believe it. It is a lot tougher than you think. It really is. You're literally grafting to survive. You know, if you just sit down and just give up, you're not going to achieve anything. Oh, uh, genius. Nice one, guys. Limpets. We're all adding to our energy stash. Although the women have collected a bucket load of snails and limpets, each one is only worth a few calories. It's like winning on the slot machine, isn't it? But not as good. Good job, Alice. Good job, darling. Right, I'm going to chill for a bit. Well, I'm going to pretend I'm on holiday now anyway, with a man of my dreams. I woke up with sunburn and realised that I've only got snails for dinner. Meh. So I just went to check on Rob because um, he looked completely zonked out. I was just going to take him a drink, but it just looks like he's really peacefully sleeping at the moment. It's extraordinary how the men en masse are struggling to this extent. If they don't turn things around, some of the men are in danger of not making it to the end. You have to be really careful. The, the plates are boiling well, hot. If I lie on my back, can you not just feed me? Yeah. The group gather for a dinner worth around 200 calories each. It's nowhere near enough to halt the men's physical decline. This whole day grafting and that for one oyster, the secret is to chew it over and over again and pretend that you're swallowing big mouthfuls. At the moment, my body is telling me I need to, I need to stop. I feel like I'm actually going to get ser seriously ill unless I change something soon in my diet. I mean, a bit of rain, fine, fair enough. But when you're soaking through, there's no sunshine and it is genuinely cold. It's pretty rain. Pretty rain right now, isn't it? It's not a nice place to be. A meagre meal of limes and limpets has done little to halt some of the men's rapid physical decline. Well, I'm actually getting dizzy and tired now. It's just yeah. there's, some, there's some hunger to fatigue, so now it's just general fatigue. Paradise, eh? Paradise. Not the paradise. We look like extras from fucking Annie or Oliver Twist. Or like some sort of homeless Broadway musical. Oi, oi, what's this? Blue skies on the horizon? Yeah, boy. Woo! Oh, my God! What the fuck is going on? Uh, I think this is what we call an iguana. How's he done that? Caught it, but it was dead. Wow. Yeah. You just killed that? No, Where I wish I just killed it. I just found him. While scavenging for food on the beach, a desperate Rob's discovered a potential meal. Amazing animal, isn't it? Look at it. If it's already dead, we still eat it. No. Depends how long it's been dead. That does not look good. Sweet. No, that's rotten. It's a bit stinky. I don't know, he doesn't stink that bad. Give him a kiss a lie. No. <laughs> yeah, but you can't risk it. No. You eat that that's gone off, that will mess everybody up. Oh, you can't do that. Yeah. Medically speaking, um, people are falling to pieces. We know that we need food, but it's just not worth the risk. Oh, well. Come on, Iggy. Aww. I'm not someone who sits around 
and does nothing. Um, and yet I know how I'm feeling. And my body's basically saying no. With Rob out for the count again. I am fucking exhausted today. Yes, I'm right. Plumber Roz is collecting essential wood for the fire. I think you're going to get a new job out of this. Yeah, lumberjack. Yep. Erica and Zoe head out to find food. Please bring some... We'll bring back yeah. something, if we can. Just this small walk is taking every ounce no. of energy. No. It's ridiculous. It looks easy, but we're on our knees doing this. How's it going? All right. Feeling any better? No, not really. Just need to decide what I want to do. Insurance salesman Simon is unable to leave camp after a cut on his foot became badly infected. I don't want to quit because I want to see it through, but I didn't think it would be like this. Yeah. We're so weak, they can't do all. So that's it, you're in a trap now, you're in a cycle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much longer I can last doing this. Just, I'm not surviving, we're just existing. I don't know what I can do. I'm at a loss. I've got this ridiculous tash. I can't even grow a beard. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm the worst Robinson Crusoe in, in, in history, I think. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. It really could be Cayman country. We've got to be a bit careful. I'm going to have this out for the kill. Oh, dear God, what are we doing? Yeah, we've got people collapsing now, big people. Uh, Simon. And we're finding absolutely fucking nothing. Done, boys. Well done, girls. Smashed it, guys. After a back-breaking morning of chores in the tropical heat, Roz delivers fresh water to the ailing men. That's like Britain's strongest man shit, that, isn't it? Uh, Roz, you've got to take me out, officer. Well, she's absolutely monstered it today. Here he is, the laziest lad in Leeds. Simon, I bless him, he's been feeling really shit the last couple of days. He's definitely, like... Moping about, but you know, doctor's orders. Can you imagine if we catch a fucking heron? It's always over there, isn't they? There's loads of birds over there, loads and loads. I love a bird. Talking to Roz has inspired an idea that will keep Simon occupied while he's stricken in camp. I think we need to make start to make a bow and our row because I need to actively go out and hunt stuff. Considering I'm gay, I'm pretty good at handling a shark. Yeah. <laughs> While Simon makes a bow, his new best friend, Roz, has agreed to whittle the arrows. I knew I was gay from the age of six. It don't make you any different, does it? I hung around with guys, but I just never fancied Whoa. them. Whoa! There must be, like, the odd one who you think, hang on! <laughs> then I met this guy called Simon, yeah, and I was just like, wow, I think I've been missing out. <laughs> See now it's starting to bend like a bow should. When the bow's done, I would love one of my arrows to catch a fucking large big mac and cheese. Oh, I'd be over the moon with that and so proud of myself. Knackered, exhausted women battling through the forest looking for yucker. And just one would be great just for tonight, to lift us up. It's mid-afternoon. Erica and Zoe have been trying to find food for the past five hours in a last-ditch attempt to get the men back on their feet. No. Yes? It's so. yucca. I think so. No. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Get the doubts. Shh. Positive thinking. Yeah. This is a yucca. No yucca there. <laughs> it's crazy, utterly crazy. <laughs> Nothing to me <laughs> from <me> again. <laughs> I hate everything. Everything stings, everything hurts, everything. <sighs> Keeps you and away. I don't give a shit that the world's looking at me crying. We all fucking cry bollocks. I want to get off this island. Hot for Doma. Merdi Karalu. Pura. Va, vamos para casa. I don't know what that means. So let's go home. Hey, guys. 
Good news, bad news. Just break it to us, please. Not a yucca plant in fucking sight. So we feel completely defeated and just shit. And the group is sort of just falling apart, especially the boys. They are absolutely wasting away. And every step everyone takes, it's just like, it's in slow-mo. So it's a very dire situation uh, right now. With nightfall fast approaching and no food to show for the day, some of the men are at their lowest ebb. I just feel so useless. It's like, oh, it's a crazy feeling. I've never felt this, this like, it's aching my shoulders to hold them up. Yeah. yeah. If they don't find a way to turn around their fortunes, it may become medically unsafe for them to stay on the island. I can't believe it. Fuck. Why? Why can't we have a day where it doesn't fucking rain here? To make matters worse, the camp is now hit by a five-hour tropical storm. Fires on the brink of going out. It just feels like we're failing. It just feels like we're failing, it really does. Okay, we are not ever having this situation in the No. Diary cam, 7,496 plus seven. Someone said to me before I came out here, oh, enjoy your holiday. Holiday. Fucking holiday. Although desperately low on energy... All right, yeah, go on, mate. ..the camp decides to do something that will improve their lives. It is bloody, bloody difficult. It really is really, really difficult. I and mean, it has pushed us to our limits. I don't want to exist here. I don't want to exist. I, I want to thrive. I'm going to do a roll over that way, yeah? OK. One, two, three. That didn't work out quite well. A good shelter is a basic priority in any society, but it's more than just protection for the elements. A shelter really is about making a home, and it says a lot about where a group is actually at on the sliding scale of survival. Struggling to talk and stand up and think. I'm just wiped out. I'm delighted, but I'm just absolutely wiped out. Is there anything to eat at all? Lunch? We are seriously screwed. After successfully building a waterproof home, thoughts turn again to catching dinner. Whilst I was rinsing out my sanitary pads, I thought, gosh, there's quite a lot of blood coming out here. Perhaps we can use that as bait. If you were an animal, would you go for a tampax or a sanitary towel? I'd go for a sanitary towel. I would, cos there's more of a... <laughs> One thing that could deliver a quick kill is Simon and Roz's new bow and arrow. Took a lot of time and effort. She's very powerful. She can kill you in one go. Uh, the only thing that doesn't go against her is she doesn't talk back. After two days of filing it down, it just remains to string the bow. Don't want to bend it anymore, mate. That's, mind you, that looks absolutely banging, that. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit, what was that? It's gone. Is it gone? gone? The bow's just split. Mm. Fuck. That's annoying. See, it's going to crack down there. Did it snap? Yeah. Shit. Just absolutely devastated when I heard the crack. Um, I'd rather have shot my kneecap than, than snap the bar, but, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is shit. So shit. That is so shit.
Despite the setback, Dan is out in the hope of providing food for camp. Well, well. And there, monsieur, is an oyster. There it is. Oh. My fault, my fault, my fault, stood up too quickly. Dan heads back through the jungle. Oh, my word. Fucking hell. Little Cayman, we found you. I don't want to eat you, but... We're fit to keel over now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess who I bumped into? Mr. Cayman. No, Shut you didn't. Up. I did. No, you didn't. I did. Where? A six footer scared the wits out of me. No. I did. I had this. <laughs> he, was, he was bloody looking at me, the bugger. Can you remember exactly where it was? Exactly where it was, my friend. Shit. Who would kill the Cayman? Have you got the bottle to do it? After a Cayman was seen near camp, Roz is preparing Simon for a critical last-ditch hunt. Fortunately, Simon's leg has improved and he can now fully weight bear, and that's great. Coming in at Bantam weight, the biggest gobshite in the north, it's Big Simon <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Right. I still don't feel 100%, but I'm just going to try and throw myself in it and take it from there. Hate this hill. Yeah. For the worst part Put of you out of breath straight away. Yeah. I'm feeling really, really, really tired. I'm breathing heavy. I can't just power through it because I keep forgetting. I work, I'm just a normal bloke from Leeds who works yeah. in an office. Some of the men are on their last legs and the caiman is the one animal big enough to feed the group for several days. What you can do if a croc comes out of there and just starts charging us? Fucking run there. I've only got to run faster than one person. <laughs> you bastard. In camp, all they can do is wait. The women are beginning to flag as well. Today, I am really fucking struggling massively. You bastard! If we catch a payment or even just a big haul of fish, you can start enjoying things around you. And at the moment, I'm not doing that because I'm just concentrating on fucking being hungry. It's nothing. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Simon and Ben are desperately hunting Cayman crocodile. Fucking hell, where's it gone? I fucking see one. What? I fucking see one down there. Where? Straight ahead. Oh, yeah. Shit, the bird. Predator number one in the jungle. Fucking hell. Feeling a bit nervous, but I'm having it. All that Simon and Ben have to subdue the caiman is some string. Oh, I really hope that noose and that rope is strong enough. Where has it gone? God. Oh, it's coming. All right. You OK? Let's go for it. The Cayman stays perfectly still, but they are masters of the stealth attack. Ben, it's dead. <laughs> oh, Ooh, fuck, here it is, there it is. Whoa, fuck me. It's dead. My fucking ass. OK, go, go, go. That's it, noose it, noose it. Get that on tight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Need to keep, keep hold of his jaw. Oh, shit. You got him? Yeah. 
Just keep it, keep it there. And I'm Come in. on, mate. I know, mate. I've got to just put this camera somewhere. He's moving away. He's trying to keep me in his eye, in, yeah. in his eye line. Okay, I've got to... just... The only way to tackle something as dangerous as a Cayman crocodile is with total commitment. You have a moment's hesitation, it can move like lightning, it will grab you, death roll, and it can literally rip your arm right away from your shoulder. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm about to do this. Yeah. Fucking hell. Three. Two. You got him? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Come on. OK, I've got him. Oh, yeah. Shit, he's strong. I'm worried about he's just going to whip his tail out, and I'm fucked then. You need Ooh, to be fuck. swift with this, mate. Well done, mate. Well played. You're shaking. Have you ever done anything like that before? Uh, no. There's a big old storm coming in, guys. It's coming in quick. Why? Why won't you just leave us alone? Guys, if you got anything out here, come get it. Why do you hate us so much? The main concern at the moment. The boys are out in the jungle, because they need to come back soon. Watch it on here, mate. This is treacherous shit. You, what is that? It's, what it's what a is caiman. Oh, my <laughs> days! Yeah. Oh, my bloody oh, days! Oh, you! Oh, Simon! <laughs> They put a fight up in there. Oh, fucking oh, 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 Never ever in my life packed right, myself as much. Literally. They were thrashing about. Oh. I thought if I don't keep bold with him, he's gonna eat he's gonna eat Ben. This is the best fucking day ever! Best day. I'm proper chuffed that I've done it. Scariest thing I've ever done in my life, but yeah, proper, proper buzzing at the minute. We're eating like kings and queens tonight. Yes! Good boy! Well done! Very good. Here we go. This caiman is their biggest meal since arriving on the island. It made me feel today like, OK, we are starting to win here. We can now survive here. We can do this. At the end of the night tonight, we're all going to be really full, like, properly full. Do I chop his head off now or leave him for a bit? Tilly's got a taste of blood. She wants to hack everything up. I literally cannot believe I'm doing this. Here we have to hunt and kill to eat food. Cheers. 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 We eat, sleep, drink together. We're like this sort of pack of wolves. How is it? Really good. <laughs> it's like gooey, slimy, bulky. To see the guys' faces when we brought it all back. The euphoria are doing that, it's, it's something special. Oh, man. Yeah. A croc, a shark, a turkey. Is there no animal that is snake? <laughs> Loads of meat left. <laughs> 40, 40 kilo of meat left. <laughs> that crazy. The next morning, a surplus of food brings high spirits to camp. Can you bracelet? <laughs> you only have it if you've been on a desert island in Star, but that's all you need to do to get this lovely little bracelet. And now this is what you call <laughs> a jungle dildo. It might look a little bit bent, but actually, that's to get to those extra special spots. Is it tried and tested? I thought that was very vulgar. It may be tonight. <laughs> very vulgar indeed. Absolutely copy that. Thanks. Their month on the island is almost over. I'm going to pick the castaways up tomorrow. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to our last ever meeting yeah. on the island. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait to leave. Ah! It's so sad. Right. Okay. We've done it. 
We survived, and it feels incredible. It's been an incredible emotional roller coaster. Stuff like this don't really happen to people like me, and, and it has, and I've managed to stick through it. Hey guys, so it's our last night. Aww. Ooh. We've done well. We have. We've done really well. Yeah, well done to everyone. I think this experience for me would have been so different yeah. if it was just us girls. Yeah. And I think no, we're no. bonded for life now. No, you, no one else is going to understand this experience as no, much as no, the 13 no. of us. Boz has got a lovely poem she wants to read. I do like the poem. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Right. So, so, here we all sit, the last 13 remaining, on this curious island I call The Thing. Go, go, go. Uh, just need you to pass me my leg, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. We've starved, dehydrated, been very elated. <laughs> it's a beauty. Woo. But look fresh dressed, eating in bins. Whoa. There's been trial, tribulation. You're doing my fucking editing today. Come on, it's good for you. Many feet crustaceans and oily poos to go to. Yeah. Where's the pain now, Paz? This is in my bum. But the person I've become. Yes! Ah! Even with sand in my bum, who has truly been amazing too. This is the fucking beach, mate. Oh! This is a little poem. I write to you all, as I shall miss the laughs and all the evenings we've had. We do occasionally have a laugh here. <laughs> but if a contract was given for me to do this again... Shit! ..you'd have more chance of me banging your dad. <laughs> Come on! You're being pulled away! I've been inspired and felt warmth off all the mates that I've made. There. Without being too soft, I've felt humble. And from the bottom of my heart, and no joking aside, I would sell you all off for some apple crumble. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you are kidding me. Oh, brilliant! So farewell, you beautiful island. My life now has great things to come. And for any person that moans and says this were easy, you say two words, and that's your mum. Yeah! It's on my way to pick up the 13 survivors from the island. Started off with 16. To be honest, it's pretty impressive that 13 are still here, because this has been the toughest one we've ever done. And for those that have made it, good for them. Wow, they've earned this one the hard way. They're going to be 13 very smiley faces. We're just ordinary people on this Pacific island with no rules, no knowledge, nothing. Even though this has been really hard, it's one of the best experiences of my life, and it will forever stay up there as one of the best experiences of my life. I can't believe the experience so far. We eat, sleep, work together, spoon together. We really are like a family. Here he is. Here he is, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. Come on, Look at you guys. Good to see you. As I said, this island will take you to the edge. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Honestly, it's just been absolutely soul destroying, but exhilarating at the same time. Survival is hard graft. You are fighting just to get a drink of water, but every mouthful of food is so rewarding. That sense of achievement just like starts to well up. I come in now after 33 days, and you're different. You realise actually. It's relationships and family that make your life amazing, and that's the great thing about it. Imagine if you could do this island in a tablet and you give it someone. How many relationships would it save and how many families would it save? You've worked together, you've loved and cared and for each other. And we've done it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's a final task before leaving the island. Thank you for the warmth. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the water. Thank you for being the heart. Now piss off. Now piss off. OK, let's get you guys out of here. Look at that. It's done. We dropped them as two groups, the men, the women. And there was no guarantees they'd ever even meet up, let alone stay together. But they understood the strength in numbers, man, woman, using each other's strengths. And that's what they did. And that's why they survived. Come on, all the way along. Oh, my gosh. This is really, really sad. Oh, my island. Bye. pleased that like so many of us have got here together really. I kind of don't want to leave but at the same time I'm just desperate to run away. I'd love everybody to have that realisation that we're all running around like chickens without bloody heads trying to earn a lot of money when we could be at home making pizzas with the kids and laughing and you know having a really joyous time. I'm going to spend an awful lot more time with my family realize here how much you miss them and how absolutely precious time is it has broken me and made me again i think i am a determined person i am a strong person this very moment right now i really feel like i can take on the world i feel like i have taken on the world i've taken on this island it's a pretty big deal <laughs> You're definitely whiter than me. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Whoa! Mad! I did not think I looked like that. That is literally like my real. Your waist is so small. The islanders have had no contact with home for over a month. Ah! Hello! Hi! <laughs> Rose, I just can't wait to pick you up. I can't wait. I can't wait to miss everything. I can't wait to live the rest of my life with you. At the end of the day, they really came together, and it's a real sort of testament to all of their tenacity and their teamwork, that they're all together at the end, smiling, positive, so proud of all they've achieved. It is the best feeling eating all this. Fantastic. Oh, my God. The pineapple is it's just sweet. like... I can't believe how much our taste buds have changed. Having been stripped of any luxuries, they're finally reintroduced to the modern world. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It feels weird. <laughs> oh, some crisp boxes that I kept clean. There's no raindrops coming in. There's no sharing. There's no scorpions on the floor. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Everybody should do this, and we'd all be better people. The end of it, what for me shines bright, is their courage and their kindness. And with that, you can survive an island and conquer the world. We'll fuck 
fucking make it, girls. I didn't come out here just to fucking exist. I came out here to thrive, to do stuff. Oh, 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 oh shit. Shit. I've no idea where all this. Rise and shine! I genuinely feel black superwoman. Once again, Ireland, bring it on. Ha! Ago, I said eight ordinary British men. Go for it. And eight ordinary British women. Go, go, go. An extraordinary challenge. <laughs> to survive on a remote Pacific island. Shit, 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 shit. Filled with dangerous wildlife. Oh. And lashed by tropical storms. It was just like when we used to get moored in Iraq. And for the first time, I wanted the men and women to survive together. So this time on the island, we're undoubtedly shaking it up in a way we've never done before. I'll just talk first, yeah? If you want to talk, put your hand up. Men, really, f*** you. What will happen when they're really under pressure, they're fighting for every breath and bit of water and morsel of food? Look at this f***ing boy, he's skin and f***ing Tonight, I discover how the men and women really coped. It is the most scariest place you'll ever be. And the secrets they used to stay alive. Here we go. Ta da! <laughs> Find out how island life affected them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I was that far away from quitting and jacking. <laughs> and how it felt to finally leave. <laughs> <laughs> One month after dropping everyone off on the island, I returned to see who was left and how they've stayed alive. In this way. Here he is. Here he is, Mr. Mr. Bear. Bear. Mr. Bear. I'm so excited to go and pick these guys and girls up. But what's going to be interesting is to see how having boys and girls together for the first time, how that's affected their collective ability to survive. Woo! Here he comes. Look at you guys. Good to see you. About no 30 problem. days late, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Total respect to you guys, honestly, for what you've been yeah, through. Well done, guys. <laughs> Come and show us your camp then, yeah. Colin. I dropped the men and women off as two separate groups, but once they'd met, they decided to face a challenge together. Our humble abode. Those are looking pretty good. The camp they built was basic but it was enough to protect them from the ravages of a particularly nasty tropical storm season. So how long did it take you to figure out to make a good roof? This was built about 10 days ago. This is a lot more waterproof, do you know? That even when it's been absolutely silent it down, it's not come through this. OK, so this has worked? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God! Look how flooded the whole camp is. Now. When the first rainstorm hit, it was a real, real wake-up call. The frequent torrential downpours took a huge toll on the group. My hands were like a 90-year-old woman. I cannot tell you how, like, deep the skin went. I was just like, what is happening to me? The skin is starting to sort of break off um, and form little ulcers, which is obviously really shit. Keeping the elements at bay in such extreme conditions was no easy task. We did build ourselves a shelter that leaked like a sieve. We'd all just sort of huddle around and it'd be leaking, it'd be leaking, it wasn't big enough. I can vividly remember sitting around that fire for literally days on end, 
It's just relentless. These guys are managing to sleep somehow. I don't really know how. After weeks of suffering, they finally decided to make some home improvements. We like done a done an extension. We're doubling the size of the shelter essentially. The difference between having that shelter where once we got it doubled in size and when we didn't have it and the team spirit and the morale and the attitude was actually quite significant. That took so much of the pain of when it rained away. Nice, isn't it? It's just, that's covered that now, which is great. Yeah. You'd think this would be an early thing to do, yeah, the yeah. key thing to do, and it's going to improve your life. Yeah, we didn't Was do it that. like you didn't think of it, or just...? I think it's more alive. sleep think... deprivation, food starvation, yeah. your mind's starved. Knowing what you know now, what would you do differently? Would you do this communal day space, one while you yeah, got energy? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Get a space, good communal space, good roof, cover the fire, the fire. something yeah. covering the firewood, Everything. and then that's it. Beds? Yeah. Let's have a look in here. Does anyone think of maybe using some palm fronds to pad it out a bit? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Slept on that for, like, 29 days. Your back gets used to it, you adapt to it, you, you suck it up, basically. Yeah. Would you use your collective warmth? Would you yeah. really yeah. huddle in? Yeah. Back to back. We all have a snuggle, don't we, guys? <laughs> With men and women living in such close proximity, there was bound to be a few sparks of physical attraction. I mean, I was hoping it might be mixed. I, I, I brought the smallest bikini with me just in case. I did fancy quite a few of them. I thought Ben, Ellie and Rob were all pretty hot. And Paddy is very easy on the eye. Paddy was 10 years older. Yeah, I, I definitely would have, you know, maybe pursued that on the island. It's quite nice to have a little flirt and stuff as well, like... Oh, yeah. Love a good flirt. So do you have a girlfriend, then? Sarah might have been the only girl that was a bit like, ooh, boys. Ah, ah. Patty kind of, I think, had a little bit of a crush on Alice when we were out there, which is kind of very sweet. This is almost like a holiday, Patty. Oh, no! <laughs> he did. But Patty's just like my little brother. He's so cute. He's so just lovely and so sweet. It wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Nobody got together, there was no relationship. No, was, no, that, no. that is so far off the agenda. I, yeah, I, I exactly. don't even think I've had a sexual thought for 33 days. All I've had in my head is surviving. You could have put Candy Swamp Pearl here, and okay. I won't look at her twice. The one thing everybody thinks is that if you're going to put men and women together on an island, it's all going to be about sex. Romance is the last thing on your mind when you're starving, you're hungry, exhausted, stressed. The island is like the antidote to libido. The last thing on your mind was, was kind of sex or the opposite sex. I genuinely haven't thought about no. sex for a month. I literally, my pins has inverted. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, like, my, I swear to you, it's like a tenth of the size it normally is. Yeah. There's just no point in having it. I pee like once every two days. It may as well just sort of be a little hole. Yeah, a little hole. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need, you don't need the shop. Imagine having to have sex now. I'm not being funny. I'm fucking exhausted. I literally, I would probably just lay there yeah. like a sack of potatoes. It's weird because you're all like practically naked as well. So you think that everyone would just be like, oh my God. But you're just like, get away from me, you stink. I know, it's all these women with like multiple lacerations and bumps around their skin. It's so sexy. Oh, not to forget the smell that both of us are emitting. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's like a nightclub in South East Kent. This was the first time I'd put both sexes on the island together, and I wondered how they'd tackled the business of survival as a mixed group. What do you think the difference between how women approach it and men? The blokes, I think it's our competitive streak. We all wanted to go for the caiman, the shark, like the big kills, and we don't care if we don't eat for a week as long as we get that one big kill. The boys definitely did start be those macho people going out to hunt, etc. Smack me right in the head. <laughs> it does make you feel like a hero, bringing it all back to camp and everyone's going absolutely nuts. <laughs> but that sort of changed. The girls would fight to go hunting. They would fight to do some of the more macho things. Me, Erica and Zoe are going out hunting. What will happen if you, OK, you see it approach the trap? We'd probably do the same as what you would do if you saw the turkey, Elliot. 
And like, what are you going to do when you find a turkey? I'm going to fucking kill it. What do you think I'm going to do? What do you think I'm less of a person than you because you're a man? By the end, gender didn't really come into it. The girls well, hunted just as much, didn't they? It's yeah. not like saying that the boys wanted the glory moments. I think the girls yeah, exactly. did as well. Tilly's determination eventually paid off. The spot we're going to now is where Tilly found the turkey. It was just here. Zabi was like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I was like, like I didn't really know how to break his neck or anything, yeah. so I had to chop his head off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, it's moving so much, great. help me! It's great, she turned like, feral, I love it. I was like, I just didn't even know It would have been a huge like... mistake to think that the men should do the building and the hunting and the women just sit in camp and tend the fire. Men and women are interchangeable in almost every arena. Having a poo in the rocks. They certainly shared the same dilemmas when it came to their daily ablutions. I've got the worst diarrhoea ever. Ever. Talking of toilet, how did you figure that out? Just went, didn't you? You had to get over Just it. Go, wash in the sea. sea is Wait, a good in the sea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the sea, yeah. Sometimes you'd be sitting there for like 20 minutes, you dug a little hole, you're waiting for it to go, but you can't go in case anybody goes past you, so you're just sort of standing there you waiting. You're so polite. Yeah. I know, right? You're just what are you waiting for the, it's like waiting for the cistern to fill yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were a few that did it in the sea and it popped up next to them. <laughs> they weren't expecting that. There's nothing fresh about sea poo, is there? It, it's not nice. Sea poo, it's like, the only way I described it is, it's like having a poo, but you're in the toilet of the water yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're the wrong way. It's the wrong way around. Yeah, yeah. it's like you're too small and you're yeah. falling in the lid. At one time, I was having poo and got washed over by a wave, and ended up like in the shallows with my poo. It was just like, how has my life come to this? Something that constipation, I didn't think, would be too bad, but that became a major issue. Some, some haven't been since since we landed. Well, some, so some people here haven't had a crap. They did one, one on day two, and that's it. Really. So who, who's that? Chris. Uh, that's Chris. Fuck off. Chris only had one poo. No, that's... How? No, that's impossible. I swear he's lying. I've got a bit in the bank, haven't I? And he's been having tummy pains, and I said, well, that's because it's just piling up and piling up and piling up, my friend. My goodness, so, wow, yeah. Yeah, he's... yeah so there's going to be a storm somewhere. Yeah. He only had one poo. I, I had a poo after about three or four days when I went on the island. And then that was it for me. My God, where did all the food go? I just didn't have a poo till I got off the island. But wow, did I fl flipping know about it. It must have been like a, uh, a cricket ball. When it came to dealing with constipation, some of the women had a technique not available to the men. I've had it up, yeah, I have. You know, with a bit of assistance, Bear grill sort of style-ish. <laughs> what did you do? I, I have a way of getting my poo up, oh, thank no, you very much. Yeah, God. <laughs> you just fill me in. <laughs> no? Okay. There's a certain entrance somewhere where you can do it, give it a little push. Oh, well I marooned eight men and eight women on this remote Pacific island. Here he is, Mr. Bear! A month later, I returned to see how the survivors fared. Look at you guys. Hey. Good to see you. Did you have any times where the fire went out? No. No. So 33 days you've had a fire straight. Yeah. It's pretty impressive considering the amount of rain you've had. Yeah. Making fire was one of the men and women's most important survival priorities. But marooned separately, each group had to do it for themselves. Oh, fuck off. We didn't just spend hours and hours, we spent days trying to get a fire going. Bear taught us how to make it, spark it up. I know how to do this. That, that sort of spindle, this sort of da 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 da. Do this, we did great. In the field, not a chance. Ah! Ah! Oh. The women got their fire going with far less trouble. Yeah. Put it down, yes. it's time! I was being called to teach them how to do the fire. I literally have lived in the bush, so I learned a lot of things like that. Erica, it's safe to say I don't think we would have done that without Thank your you. very Thank important you. input. Erica is a character. She was awesome. She was a bit fucking hardcore, like Jungle Jane. Did they actually do it in 20 minutes? Did they? Oh, God, that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> We've just seen a group of people. What the fuck? When the men and women did finally come together... I've got my heart pounding. 
amazing. <laughs> the men were eager to prove their masculinity. I win, you stupid piece of wood. There was a few alpha males in there who were like, you know, we're strong big men, we need to build stuff. I think the guys dominated, we, we just imposed ourselves. I mean, I see it so often that men, you know, approach things very cocky. Shane, no, I'll, I'll lift that for you, doll. Pumped with testosterone, desperate to prove themselves. <laughs> but actually, survival is always a marathon, not a sprint. And the worst thing you can do is burn yourself out. Men think like that, don't they? Ah! Slam dunk! As the experiment wore on, the men having 10% less body fat... I feel weird. ..quickly started to suffer. If you get up too quickly, you just pass out, as, like, quite a few people did. Paddy passed out more than once, actually. <laughs> Jobs were allocated to whoever was capable, and gender became irrelevant. When you're on there, whatever you can do and bring to the, uh, bring to the island, you, ju you, you, you just do it. Smashed it, guys. I was quite shocked I was still carrying in uh, jerry cans to the end. <laughs> well chuffed. By the end of it, the women bought exactly what the blokes did. Um, and some blokes were weaker than the women and some women were weaker than the blokes. It's not about gender, it's about individuals. It's a, it's a numbers game, really. I think it doesn't matter if it's irrelevant to the gender. I think it's just about having enough people to do everything and enough hands-on. To yeah. me, it's about character. Character, yeah. yeah. yeah you know. Exactly. I ensured the islanders had enough indigenous animals and vegetation to keep them alive. They just had to find it. Is that lime? Is that lime? Fucking lime! Catch it. Oh, come on, fall on it, rugby tackle. And kill it. OK, I've got it. It was tough going, but ultimately they found just enough to survive. I'll chew on or on a bone, if I may. No, my word, that is, that is small. Right, so this is for everyone. Bear, we prepared one for you as well. The group invited me to join them for their last meal on the island. Oh, that is amazing, isn't it? Mm. Yucca, toasted coconut and sugar cane. Well, you guys are going to understand the power of that. Yeah. When you're deprived of sugar and you need energy, that must have been like a great, great day. <laughs> it also goes through you like a Porsche. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like a fool. It was a humble yet filling feast. I haven't been starving for 33 days and I can really appreciate the taste of that. It's good, honest, wholesome food. And uh, for you guys, thank you for going to so much effort and sharing that with me. For the first time since I've started this experiment, the islanders didn't have fish to offer me. Usually the ocean is a good source of food, but not in an El Nino year. It feels like we're pissing in the wind a little bit. There's no bloody fish. El Nino causes the sea temperatures to change, warming up the East Pacific. And the fish that normally swim in these waters swim off to find somewhere cooler. Right, you fish bastards. This going to get you. Ah. I thought the waters would be absolutely teeming, so I was like, we'll go out, we will catch lots. Fucking hell. I really had this image that we'd just be there, like... <laughs> Fishing all day, coming home, having a massive fish dinner. Nothing. Oh, yeah, man. I caught loads of puffer fish. Oh, it's a fucking puffer fish. But you can't eat them. Well, you couldn't, and you'd die. The lack of calories meant the group experienced dramatic weight loss. Right. We have scales, people. I don't think any of us need scales to know we've lost weight. Yeah. yeah. Between them, they lost almost 30 stone. Billy Martin! 55. Ah! The girls were like, yes, I've lost, like, three kilos. The boys were like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Elliot, how much weight have you lost? Seven kilos in total. Woo. Right. Woo, that's fucking bad. Dude. You know, lost quite a bit of weight. Your total weight loss is 10 kilos. Shit. When I was on the island, I lost three stone, man. That is just, like, I'm buzzing about it. Although they can laugh about it now, enduring starvation always puts a huge strain on the group. One of the things I said to you when I dropped you off, I said, remember the value of kindness. Yeah. And a few of you looked at me like, huh? Yeah. But do you understand that now? Yeah. yeah, totally. You notice how, like, morale affects the camp of one person. So if one person gets upset or angry, then it affects absolutely everyone in your community, and it's, like, it's magnified, isn't it? We've got fuck all set up apart from a fire. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. 
When you live in a closed-knit community in harsh, extreme environment, fracas can erupt about the most ridiculous things. Yeah. Doing fuck all while everyone sits on their hands. I'm being a fucking I'm, strong just because you can't. I didn't do just because it's not your Ever, race. Ever. It takes a lot to to get me going, but because mentally you're so gone, I just switched. Riz, Riz, Riz. Oh, I'm not bothered. Everyone can do whatever they want. Fuck off, mate. Who the fuck are you talking to? Yeah. Dickhead. One person particularly struggled to keep their temper. Ah! Fucking boots right next to the fire. Erica was just an absolute throat pot. Shitty fucking brains. Fuck off, Erica. You're doing my fucking egging. In the wild, when people are under pressure and your life is on the line, you've got to do all you can to keep a group cohesive and together. Because when it's together, it's strong. It's not strong when it's fragmented and broken. So some of the most important people on the island were the peacemakers. I think she's struggling. Yeah. And I think if somebody's struggling, you don't fight fire with fire. Erica ran the risk of being ostracised all the way through just because of the way she's fiercely <laughs> independent. She wound people up, but in the normal world, people do wind each other up. That's what happens. Sometimes you've got to cut people a bit of slack, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, and if you want to get on as a group, then People like Erica, she's definitely unique, slightly cantankerous, but that's that's part of her. Yeah, I'm a bit, I, I'm quite independent. I've, I'm a self-employed person all my life, so I bite my tongue quite a lot. But they've been all lovely. I mean, I can't complain. It's been fantastic. It was vital the group did pull together because this environment is so dangerous. They needed each other to survive. My biggest fear on the island is always the same. It's about keeping these guys safe. At the end of the day, these guys are there totally on their own. They're operating at the limits of their fatigue and physicality, and stuff happens. Even the vegetation was potentially lethal. The fruit from the manchineel tree, known as death apples, would kill if the islanders hadn't spotted it. Hey, 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 hey! Who's put their trousers on there? That's what? a death apple. They look like lime leaves. If you go along, there they are. And I just hung my trousers. You did, and they're all over. They're the death apples, so everything's poisonous. The foliage, the stems, the fruit. Leaf. Wow. Well, that was stupid. So, did anyone get bitten by scorpions? Yeah. 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 Three, people. Three, three people. Three people. Oh, my God! Ah! Yeah. Can someone grab a knife really quickly? You just watch the venom literally going through your vein up your arm. And I was thinking... <laughs> OK, darling, I'm going to do an injection now, all right? <laughs> but just for a split second, as that hot heat hit my vein, I thought, oh, yeah, oh, stop it, stop it! <laughs> Is it going to kill me? Well done, sweetheart. Well done. <laughs> there you go. This little critter sitting right under Erica's pillow that she used last night, so we don't want to him it around the camp, so... Bugger. That's how fast they are. One of the keys to survival is to judge when the risks outweigh the rewards. To set their fishing nets, there was no option but to brave the vicious rip currents around the island. We're drifting out, we? The sea could look incredibly calm and peaceful and just like, oh, this is nice. And underneath the water, there is a really strong current. I think you should come back. You're being pulled away. When you're in it, and you may be underwater, Mother Nature has got you by the balls and it's dragging you down. You tend to forget how close to danger you are. I mean, we, we pushed the limits on a number of occasions. There's no, 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 no doubt about that. Fuck, where's Rob? I've no idea where Rob is. The way I was feeling while this was going on, it was very calm. It was only afterwards it was quite a shock of how close I could have come to drowning. Mother Nature, man. There's our beach. Oh, here he is. Yay! It was such a massive relief. I was just so happy to see him. Force is insane, but really, really scary. Really scary. A month after marooning eight men and eight women on a remote island, I returned to find out how the survivors made it. You remember the rule of threes we taught yeah. you in the training? Yeah. Three weeks without food, three days without water. water. Three minutes without air, three seconds without thinking. Literally. Yeah. You know, and you witness that. 
While on an expedition to find food with the group's youngest member, Patrick, the islanders found out the hard way how bad decisions can quickly change your destiny. It's strange how you don't realise what sort of stupid stuff you're doing. Fucking hell. Like climbing along cliffs with big bags and no safety harnesses or anything. Right, you oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Paddy, you all right? Paddy! Paddy! Stay there, Paddy! man! Oh, my God, he's going white. Oh, my God. I feel like sort of heat go through in sort of part of your spine, and I thought this is what it felt like to break my back, and that was terrifying, like, utterly terrifying. My safety team was on call 24-7 in case of emergencies. But even they were at the mercy of the elements. You need to be in the water to understand the power of the waves. You're like a rag doll. You have no control. I'm a former Royal Navy commando. I don't scare particularly easily, but I don't, I don't mind saying I had a moment of doubt whether we were actually going to survive this, this whole experience. Oh, my God, what the fuck has happened? Paddy's missing. Paddy's missing. Yeah. What's happened? Is he OK? Paddy's f fallen off a cliff. I think that was probably one of the scariest moments for me on the island. It was a, a real shock. And I think we realised, you know, we're all so vulnerable here. Remarkably, Patrick was found to have no lasting injuries. To fall from that height, it is amazing that I got away like, unscathed. I mean, I had a bruised bum and an achy back leg. This could have been different. I could have been wheeling around in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. Really sad. And I miss my team and I want to go back on the island. Because that's where I belong right now. You don't realise how good it is until you don't have it anymore. And then when you come off, you're like, wow, that was actually insane. I wouldn't change that experience for the world. Like, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. This place is beautiful, as everyone knows, but the, the fact they can turn around and just bite you in the arse so quickly. Well, it's why good survival is actually very undramatic. You don't take a lot of risks. Mm. You know, you manage yourself, you're efficient, you conserve energy, you know? Yeah. It's not so exciting, but it's how you survive. While physical injury is an obvious danger in this kind of environment, it's easy to underestimate just how much of a psychological toll the island can take. Are you all right? Sure. Hannah, that's her. Red. don't like it when it's overhead. The violence of the tropical thunderstorms triggered war veteran Hannah's post-traumatic stress disorder. We're in the eye of the storm! Woo! That was just so heartbreaking. She was in so much agony and we couldn't really do that much for her. <laughs> in order to get Hannah the help she needed, Dr Dan radioed the safety team... I share one, do you read me? ..to request an immediate evacuation. I thought I had beaten um, what happened to me in Iraq in 2007. I realised I haven't quite beaten it just yet and that maybe, I, you know, maybe I might never fully beat it. And that was a bit of a shock, actually. Despite having to leave early, Hannah did take positives from the experience. Yes! I'm so glad I did it. If I didn't give it a go, I was never going to learn what my limits were as an amputee. Never thought I'd be able to do something like this, ever. It's made me go and go and get some of those coping skills and so that hopefully in the future I'm going to be a stronger person from it. Never, ever taken my youngest daughter, who's won swimming, ever. And since I got back from the island, I was brave enough to take her on my own <laughs> to the swimming pool and get in the water with her. I had to, I had to really feel confident to do that, because she's a baby. Came back from the island and thought, you know what? I can do it. I know I can do it. To cope with all of the islanders' medical issues, I put two doctors on the island, Dr Alice and Dr Dan. 
So, Dan, you've been the, the doc for everyone on the island. So has that been pretty full-time for you? I know coming into the jungle, I, was, I, I tried to prepare people to look after their feet. And then one by one, they all went down with trench foot. Trench foot hit almost everyone in the camp. Oh, my God! You, too, could date a girl like, with feet like this. Trench foot is essentially when the outermost layer of your skin, the epidermis, just gets a bit saturated and boggy and um, stagnant. It's delicious. You can't treat this nasty condition, but you can prevent it by maintaining a strict hygiene routine. You have to have your dry set of clothes or your clean set and your wet set. And during the day, you can be wet as you like, and in the evening, you have your dry set. Otherwise, you will get problems. Look at Dan. He's on clothes dry already. That man never stops. His stuff has to be pristine constantly. If there was an award for the cleanliest, um, well-kept, Dan would win them hands down. In the end, I was the one having the last laugh. Although I wouldn't laugh at them being a doctor. That would be unfair. The only downside of being an island medic is that if something happens to you, ah! Shh. you've got to treat yourself. In that situation, you are so tired, accidents happen. I've got to stitch it. Really? Oh, he's fucking deep. He's going to stitch himself back together, and I'm going to be here with a hand for him to squeeze. <laughs> you have to improvise and just make do. Is he like Rambo, just stitching himself up in the field? Yeah, but I've got local anaesthetic and... Uh... Yeah, Rambo didn't. And a sterile pack. That's nice. Oh, perfect. I would say you've done cross stitch before, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Job's a good one. Well done. One of the biggest sources of irritation came from the smallest of culprits. On the island, basically everything is out to get you. The worst, top of the list, is the sand flies. Like, absolute bastards. I can't stop itching everywhere I go. They're just all over me. They're ruining my fucking life. They're everywhere. You just see them and you're like, you little shits, stop taunting me. Oh, my God. There is no worse form of torturous hell on Earth than being eaten alive by bastard sandflies. Oh, Jesus. Fuck you! For some people, multiple bites from sandflies had a particularly nasty effect. Oh, God. These ones all over here have now turned into one massive blister. Dan's like, Mrrr. it was like a filler video. My fingers have swollen and I can't get my ring off. I'm completely stuck. The island has found a creative solution to keep them at bay. So, yeah, this is the classic island sleeping look. First thing you're going to need, socks on your hands. Second thing, you're going to need a piece of underwear. My sports bra that I brought with me is now on my face. Is there a trick to dealing with them that we just didn't work out? It's just a reality, but you're going to get hammered and you need to man up and woman up and it's just, it's just embrace it. Cat Wing, can you just suck it up? Good for you guys. And you can't describe to a viewer what it's like just day sand after day getting yeah, devoured yeah. by sandflies. But your faces tell a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering just how unrelenting and punishing this environment is, the final secret of survival and the greatest was just the sheer ability to keep going and endure. It was way tougher than I ever expected. Way, way tougher. As I sat on the island, I thought to myself, what the bloody hell are you doing here? I long to see my, my wife and children. So how did the islanders who made it to the end manage to tough it out? Maybe three or four times where I thought, you know what, just jack it, but in the back of my mind, I just thought, you cannot do that. It's the chance of a lifetime, and, and I'd let everyone else down back home. I was really surprised at how well everyone kept it together. I found the one way to get through things was I used to just take myself, if I could get there, down towards the beach, sit on a piece of wood and just look out to sea and just deep breaths. A lot of us were kind of like climbing the walls. You realise um, how the human brain needs stimulation. Do you know what I think we should do? A rain dance. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Please stay positive. 
Yeah. yeah. And take those moves that you have normally at home, times them by a million because the environment you're in, you're going to start having a few mood swings and up and down. And I try to be proper chipper all the time and keep people's spirits up. I want to cry for some reason, I don't know why. I know it's hard dealing with Southerners. Look at them. I know they talk funny. I know they're really weak, like weak bones, muscles, everything. <laughs> you're just going to have to grin and bear it. You might even like one of them. On Christmas Day, when it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and everyone's a little bit drunk and a little bit tired, and then someone really forces some games down your neck. I was that one. Go on, girl! Just to try and just break the boredom a little bit. I did role play in my head, having a uh, little chat to my wife just about inane stuff, you know, everyday sort of stuff that you. What I wasn't getting. Uh, and for five minutes, I'll put myself in my kitchen or a nice little place that I'm, I'm used to and then go, OK, that was a nice conversation. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with the day now. And that was a little slice of normality. And a, a little slice of normality goes a long way when you're, when you're 5,000 miles away. After a month on the island, the 13 remaining islanders have made it through to the end. They were about to return to civilization. There's no doubt, and I've seen this year after year, and we're now in the third year, the island really dramatically changes people. It gives them an appreciation of the important stuff in life. You guys have been stripped right back to the raw bones, yeah. and it's inspiring to see, and you guys don't see it yet because you're in it. But I come in now, and you're different. It just really makes you appreciate how great we have it in the UK and how lucky we are. It makes me appreciate my family more than yeah. trinkets, money, anything, family. And it just clears the mind of all the other shit that you don't necessarily need in the Western world. And you realise, actually, it's relationships and people that make your life amazing. And that's, that's, the, that's the great thing about it. Imagine if you could do this island in a tablet and you give it to someone. How many relationships would it save and how many yeah. families would it save? Your challenge is to really hold on to these things. Because as you're right, if you could take it in a tablet, you'd change the world. But you would, not everyone you would. can do this, you know? Yeah. OK, let's get you guys out of here. It felt a little bit sad because it was the end of something. But, oh, the relief. Yeah, baby. Guaranteed, the mood of most people was like, thank God for this, we are done. I just want to get off now. <laughs> But the sense of achievement was massive. And to achieve it with such lovely people as well, I think it was a real sense of unity. Oh, goodbye, Ireland! Bye! Bye. Bye. Oh, God, it was so heartbreaking. We'll never go back there. But at the same time, just like the wind in your hair. We were just so excited that we'd done it. Them people made that experience for me. They were fantastic teammates and fantastic friends, and I'm glad that out of everything that we've been through, I'm so glad that I met them. <laughs> On dry land, a special welcoming party awaited them all. Shit, it's fucking Paddy! Paddy! Injured student Paddy. Well, I absolutely loved that. Um, and I was so glad that I was able to stay and see them come off. Hello. You. You stopped my heart for a moment, oh, you shit. It had been a month since the islanders had had any contact with their families. <laughs> All the way through the island, the one thing that I missed more than everything else was my husband. And it was just like, oh my God, you know, there's my best friend, everything's going to be all right. Duff! Hey. God, is that you? That's Hi! Hi! It's I'm me! Yeah, I'm away! I can't tell you how nice it is to hear your voice. You're like a little warming rock in my heart. Hello. Hi, Mum. Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I really missed my family. Uh, it was just like opening a floodgate, really. Now, that was a beautiful phone conversation. 
when you've got used to surviving on the most basic of diets. There's vegetables, there's vegetables. Becoming reacquainted with everyday food can be overwhelming. Vegetables, I love you. Nothing can describe the feeling of having that first bite of real, proper food. I will never forget it for as long as I live. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, you're welcome, body. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, you deserve it. I could just feel my body light up again. It's like someone's turning the dimmer switch up. Mm, so it's awesome. This chicken that we had, like, I thought it'd been spiked with something delicious, but it was just fried in a pan with a bit of salt. Your taste buds are just exploding. It's like a fruitgasm. A fruitgasm. 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 Mm. <laughs> so their bodies could adjust. The islanders were advised not to overindulge. Everyone went against the advice, though. No, we eat Snickers. <laughs> we could talk about Snickers for ages, even if we could have a bite. Look, Tilly went to the shop as well and spent about, like, $100 on just, like, loads of processed sugar, biscuits, crisps. We just sat and gorged. It was awesome. Come on. I've been starving for five weeks. I'm not going to go, oh, I'll have a grape. You know, <laughs> whatever. Fast forward 24 hours, I was, uh, yeah, drunk, stuffed, and in agony in my stomach. <laughs> After so long surviving on virtually nothing, the most basic things become luxuries. Here's to us. Sometimes the best way to appreciate what you have is to be parted from it. <laughs> on the island, we were so devoid of anything sort of sophisticated or refined. Everything smells so clean. Getting back off the island was like discovering a whole new set of senses again. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, my God! That's insane! That's amazing, look. Look. <laughs> oh, my God! That was amazing. Oh, my God, it smells clean. It feels weird. There's no raindrops coming in. There's no sharing. There's no scorpions on the floor. It feels like I'm on cloud nine. Everybody should do this and we'd all be better people. OK, come in, OK. I could go to sleep now. Wow, wow, wow. It's really great. It's so great. Oh, my God, I'm such a loser. <laughs> Back in the UK, after a 5,000-mile journey, the islanders are nearly home. I'm looking forward to just smelling my mum. I know that sounds really weird, but, like, you know, when your mum, like, wears, like, a certain perfume and it reminds you of, like, Saturday night as a kid when your mum used to go out or something. I'm glad to be home. I've got butterflies, actually, and I can't wait to see my mum. I'm asking myself, did I really do it? Or is it, is it just a dream? And the only thing is, I'm looking at you with the camera, so it, so it, so it can't have been. Just those few seconds of my wife op opening the door and seeing her and my children there made it all worth it. <laughs> I just craved seeing them for so long. And I could just see how proud they were of me as well. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's like a better feeling than seeing your mum if you've not seen her for that long. <laughs> oh, well done, darling. Well done. The island is the most horrible, amazing, evil, joyful experience it's your worst nightmare and your your greatest birthday all in one go Simon, well done. 
anything can happen, and this is an extraordinary thing happening to an ordinary person. Go on, boys. I kind of went on the island a bit scared of stuff. Like, I never really lived out the, the things that I wanted to do. <laughs> I came off just genuinely believing I can do anything I want now. I think I'm more confident in that I'm sure that I can do things. I can't fucking believe it! It's outrageous! I'm a strong person. I should be ashamed to say that. I genuinely feel like a superwoman. The solitude on the island gives you great clarity. There are no distractions. Time goes so quickly and you just have to grab life with both hands. You really do. Um, okay, this is right. fucking dangerous. Fucking really. hell. I definitely think the experience makes you reevaluate everything about your life. Nothing matters except for the fact that you are safe and healthy and with the people that you love. Hi. Oh, free five. For me, yeah, this experience isn't about survival, it's about transformation. And all of them want to go home, hug the people they love, say sorry to the people they're wrong, and, uh, and live with a bit of calm, a bit of peace. And that's a great lesson for us all. Yeah, <laughs>